So, for those who don't know what this game is, I played this in closed beta. It's called Meet Your Maker. It's currently in open beta and completely free to play right now, right? And um, it is Mario Maker plus Doom. That is the best way that I could possibly describe this. I played the hell out of it in closed beta. I played the absolute hell out of this game. And the, the reason why I enjoy it so much is it's a trap building... Like, you build a dungeon, right? And then after you build a dungeon, players go through your dungeon and they die. And you get to watch them and laugh at their failure. So, you also get to run through other people's dungeons and they get to do the same to you. And it's really, really good. How dare you. So, let's see the prologue. I actually haven't seen this. This wasn't part of the closed beta, actually. It's got some, like, storyline stuff. Extinction envelops this planet. Can you feel its grip upon us? It has taken so much already. Ugh. Ugh. The age of humanity is nearing its end. Meet woman, yes. The disease tore through them, destroying the genetics of the infected. Civilizations built upon their shoulders died with them. But hope remains in the dead. The chance for a cure in those with uncorrupted genetics Uncorrupted genetics. The key to humanity's salvation. Feed it to the weird fetus baby. We must kill for it. Yes. Die for it. I'm gonna die a lot. We're gonna, we're gonna die constantly. Bring it to me, custodian. Hmm. And I will save this world. Hmm. Oh, and I... Yeah, you're talking about the Harry this Potter game? Tomorrow. This sanctuary is our fortress in a land of death. Activate it. So, when I played this in the closed beta, I played for 400 hours. I played the living hell out of this, dude. And it's... It's got one of the most compelling gameplay loops that I've seen in a game in a long time. This is by Behavior, the people who did Dead by Daylight. I am not paid to play it. I'm, it's not a sponsor in any way. I like this game a lot. A lot. It is. It... It's pretty moist. I have to, you, I agree with that. As... As you can see... It's rather moist. Where's the lever? Oh, there we go. Gross. Arise! Yes. Corrupted genetic material out there in the bones of the dead. We Very need cool. it. But other sanctuaries will kill us for it. Well, we've opened your the windows. Your advisors are at your command. Clones with special immunities. Mm. Proto, Metamorph, Chroma, Prosomogi, Elpida. Through them, I will take the next step in evolution, and a cure will be born. Genetic material lies deep in the wasteland. Seize it. Opus. Opus. Relationships are fleeting. Game launches are forever. That's, that's the best advice I have for you. <laughs> Do whatever you want, man. If you want to incur the wrath, that's up to you. You know, like that's gonna that's gonna be on you, man. I would incur the wrath. I'm just saying. Just saying. Also, these guys in the closed beta all had the same model and the same voice, which is really funny. They all have unique models now. They look really good. I have to visit the command center. 
Let's go build a base, dude. Conquer the wasteland, custodian. I will. Stop at nothing to find a cure. I will. How dare you. How dare you. Thank you for the 100 bits. Yes, I know all of these things. Whoop. Whoop. Yes. It is the gen mat. Look at it. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. I gotta change my hotkeys. Mouse and keyboard. Melee. Primary attack. Secondary attack. Mm. That's not the right. Hell yeah. Keep it going, dude. Keep it going. Absolutely, man. It's got to be right like that. Why didn't this save? Thumb mouse button. There we go. Yeah, God. All right. Hold up. I don't remember if the tutorial world actually has any of these, but yeah, dude, I'm really glad. I'm really glad you enjoy it so much. Um, I'm glad you have so so much fun here. Legitimately. And it feels good, the kind of place that we've made here, honestly. It feels really awesome. And I'm really happy with, like, the the game jam. I've actually been going through your guys' game jam stuff, and it's been awesome. Is this the demo? Yeah, this is the, clo this is the open beta now. We've finished the closed beta. The closed beta is over. Months ago, I have been dying slowly in the desert with no vitamins from this video game. Because the amount of hate that you can get from a player is just mm, delicious. I don't like these blocks. So these blocks can sometimes disappear, and if they're a if they're a hologram, they wiggle. But these ones aren't wiggling, so I'm not I'm not too worried about it. But I played this a lot in the closed beta, so I'm not too worried about this. Okay, a little bit of a panic there. I think this is just the tutorial game. So I'm not too worried about it. It's got like the lamest traps too. Like, look at these. Like, look at this. Look at this trap. Useless. Useless traps. Is ammo unlimited? No. No, it's not. So I have two shots, but then I gotta go pick it up. So you gotta go get them. Ammo is limited. And you really gotta pay attention to where it landed and pick it up as best you can while that's going on. And let's see if we can't find any secrets down in here. There's also sometimes these like little skeleton guys, and the skeleton guys actually give you bonus points, like a lot of them. It gives you like a lot of bonus material stuff. But I don't know if there's any in this tutorial world. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I don't think so. And I'm out. <laughs> Trying to make dungeons? To trick the player into wasting their ammo's key? Oh yeah, it is. It super is. Alright, we're not building an outpost first. We're gonna go raid a little bit. The reason why is because I need to level up our guy that allows me to get fire traps. That's the biggest thing for me right now. So, I want to do Prota. Prota is this guy here. That's the that's the symbol for the trap guy. So I'm going to try and get as many points for the trap guy as I possibly can. So we're just going to raid this thing, man. Because I want fire traps, and I want long-range dart traps. Those are the two biggest things I want right now. So this clearly wants me to go this way, but the little dude is walking this way, which means that this way is faster, which means this guy has a leak somewhere in his dungeon. Maybe some kind of an inconsistency, or maybe it's... Hi. I don't... I don't think so, bud. Not today. 
The thing is, is you, you kind of start to get faster and faster at this, and your reaction time is really what picks up. Also, I hate that little climby dude. I hate him so much. Nope. Did I miss that? Did I actually just miss that? I'm a failure, dude. Let's fix that. I think my grenade killed him. I do believe all my grenades just killed those guys. Although my grenade didn't just kill him, which is a huge problem. And I don't have any more bullets. There we go. Alright. So this guy looks like he's relaying on a lot of basic enemies. Doesn't seem to be anything else in this room. However, one of the things that can happen is when you pick up that gen mat, which is that thing over there, the gen mat can start what's called a phase two. Now during a phase two, you can have a whole bunch of different traps and monsters and all kinds of stuff that only activate during that second phase. Which is really why I'm checking out the whole area to see what kind of walls can be in here, what kind of enemies can spawn, all kinds of stuff. Also, I really want to look down here because there's a chance that he's got his secret stuff down here. Didn't do anything with it. Everything one-shots, yes. You have to play perfectly or you die. And that's it. Every single hit is a one-shot kill. There's no fall damage, I don't believe, anyway. Alright. Looks like we're probably okay. See that? <laughs> Cheeky. Alright. So it looks like a trap activated up there. And that's about it? Maybe? Ah, not today. Not like this. Take a look over this way. Anything there? No. See something there. It's Dunzo. Any kind of wiggly walls? No. Now the thing is, see how I had to do, like, to get my bullet back? He could have set something up here to shoot me when I landed there, right? All kinds of little stuff like that. You start to learn these different patterns and ways of, like, screwing with the player and making your dungeons really, really annoying. There's a good example of that. There's another good example of that, and I think we're home free now. I'm gonna give him a fun commendation. Are the enemies hard to beat? Or get away from? They can be. It depends on how you've upgraded them. You can upgrade them with armor, uh, being able to explode, all kinds of stuff. Can you upgrade your weapons? Yes, you can. Everything is upgradable. Absolutely all of it. Everything, everything. So I'm gonna do this again so we can upgrade our trap guy again. Alright. What is this one? I'm only doing the normal maps right now, the really small ones. Then we'll get into the Brutals later after I've upgraded my weapons a couple of times. Because I'm going to need the three-shot bullet uh, main cannon. That's like a absolutely mandatory for a lot of stuff. Okay, let's go search the perimeter here and see if this guy's made a mistake. No mistakes yet. Sometimes people forget to, like, fill in the floor or stuff like that. And because of that, you can get into the base in, like, really awkward ways. 
But I don't know if this guy messed up. Doesn't look like it so far. That's true. Funny fact. Why are you like this? Fun fact about this? All of these levels are built by players. Okay, made those two traps kill each other. Got both my bullets back. We're good there. No holograms. Is it a hologram? They changed the holograms? Yeah, I'm not seeing any holograms in here. Almost didn't get my bullet there. All right. Melee guy. Boop. Headshot. Headshots give you bonus XP. Always worth it to get them. Always, always. Okay. Is that it? Is that, is that all your dungeon has? Just a little bit at the end, huh? Nothing? Okay. You never know what it's gonna have in any of these either. Probably something near the exit. Doesn't look like he did, man. Now we've got well level one on this for Proto. They're all player men. There's only one tutorial base. We already did it. And then this is... That is a player made. Everything that you see in this is player made. So now that we've gotten enough points, I can go to Proto and we can build this up. And the way we do this... So many sanctuary projects failed. Now we are left with just one. Hey, uh, I'm ready to like, like juice you, my dude. Are you, are you ready? I gotta strengthen In the chimera first. Mankind to the we're gonna we're gonna juice him. Look. This process is what I agreed to. Juice them. Juice them. Are the devs players or the players devs? Yes. Yeah, juice, dude. Juice. There are things I have forgotten. I don't know what you forgot, but I. Other it's in the chimera now. Us. So it has come to this. Okay, so traps advisor that we need. We need to actually go back and learn new traps, which I don't remember if you do that Early on the traps on, advisor themselves. A bit of arts and crafts for you, yeah, there custodian. We go. So the ones that I want, we already have a corrosive cube. We already have a bolt shot. We need to get the incinerator. Now the incinerator, they've added new material types, it looks like. So I need to get whatever these material types are. This one needs to be upgraded. And the way that I upgrade this one is probably going to be an overshot. Overshot is amazing, but it looks like we can't do this yet. Still need more points. So... Let's get out there and start killing stuff some more. What do we Defend get here? Our resources with brutality. It is the only All right. language of the wasteland. Let's go into a brutal dungeon and we're going to start picking up some good stuff. We'll do Proto. This is going to get a lot harder real fast. A lot harder. Two person is way too intense about all this. I mean, the two person... I don't really know what they are, right? A little grim. How do you pick up new stuff? 
by doing this. Running dungeons, my dude. Hey, buddy. Glad we could be friends. Not today. All right. These dungeons, this is a brutal level dungeon. Brutal level dungeons have a lot more points. More points means higher difficulty. Unfortunately, it looks like that bastard fell down there with my spear sh shot in his head. So I only have one bullet for the rest of the dungeon now, which is really not the best, right? That's pretty much the opposite of what you want. So I'm going to trick all these traps into doing this stuff and then kill them. But yeah, that's not... That's not good. That's not good at all. Looks like the dungeon's not that deep, though. So that should be fine. Come on. Anybody else? Anybody else? Nope. We may have a problem. We may have an actual problem. I missed! <laughs> I missed and I backed up to the cube! Alright. I'm gonna try and do this where I don't lose my spear this time. Hey, buddy. I see you're still there. I'm gonna wait for you to come all the way out this time. God, you fly a long distance. That guy I didn't like very much. Yeah, running out of bullets is a big deal, dude. Running out of bullets is, like, really bad, actually. Okay, none of these guys have the death explosion. So there's also a buff you can give them, and what the buff does is it makes it so that when they die, they blow up. That's not a fun one. That one leads to you dying constantly. It's great. I wasn't paying attention. I forgot about that. Hmm. You ever just not pay attention in your life? You ever do that before? You ever do that? Anybody ever do that in your life? You ever do that before? Do that. That guy wasn't paying attention. He's dead now. How did I miss him? I, I feel depressed about that, actually. It's kind of gross. Made by devs give a lot of stuff. I'm going to look into that. Yes. Yes. I'm going to die a lot in this video game, because that's kind of the name of the game, is, is, is dying constantly, so... No. <laughs> this guy, though. Sir? You're gross. That guy also gross. Alright, so... That's a thing that happened. What? What the hell is that? What? Who would do that? Why would you do that to him? What? This poor man. That's just rude. That's just rude. God damn. All you've done is fill this entire room with a whole bunch of sad people made into weird clones and a bunch of pits that waste people's ammo. You're a goblin. Oh god, there are goblins everywhere. No! No! I have one bullet now. I have one bullet left. Deeply rude. That's what I find this. I find this incredibly, incredibly rude. The whole dungeon.
and I'm proud of them, for making such a rude dungeon, actually. Not today. I'm out of bullets. So anyway, we're down to using a sword. I don't have any more bullets. There's spike trap bullshit everywhere. But I have grenades. You big bitch. He's dead. Very cool. Nice little trap. So I've got a problem. My problem is that I'm out of bullets. And there's dudes up there. And I don't like those dudes. So I'm gonna throw a grenade, and I'm gonna miss. And we're gonna act like I didn't miss. That's how that's gonna go. That killed that guy, but it didn't kill the other one. I didn't think that guy was around the corner. It's not the best. No! <laughs> I got shot in the leg. Alright. Learn new things. Learn new things about this dungeon. What I've learned is, I hate it. But also, I'm gonna get a lot better at it in a minute here. A lot better. Just slowly but surely. Right? You know? Just kinda... Just kinda figuring it out. Learning what I like about the dungeon. Trying to kill as many of these horrible things. It's a good dungeon! It is! I hate it very much. And I keep forgetting about that spike trap. Why, hello. Why, hello again. Why, hello number three. Why do you exist? I keep forgetting about that guy, too. We're gonna wait for him to come all the way around. Yeah, you keep your XP. You do. Yeah, you keep the XP between runs, so you can just go and kill a bunch of stuff and get XP from it. That's totally fine. Nothing is going to stop you from that. Which is good. Ooh, piece of candy. Alright, I have all my bullets. I'm not dead. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Don't like that. It's a bunch of free XP there, so that's good. Wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it. Hey! All right. All right. What's over there? What's up? What's over there? Anything goes over there? I don't think anything's over there. All right, I'm gonna grenade. That killed one of the guards. A grenade. That killed. Look like another guard, maybe two. There's another one on the right side there. Somehow didn't get that. Got it. Alright. 
All right. I'm ready. This is gonna suck. There isn't... There's no downside. Now, we've seen the rest of the entire dungeon. Reflex is good enough. All right. My reflexes were good enough for that. That's not a homing one. Sometimes they have homing, homing stuff. I'm just gonna, you know, I just feel like doing one of them. Easy. All right. Looks like they've done a whole lot of other crazy bullshit on the way out. Let's activate that. Not a homing turret. That's good. You can actually get bolters that home in on enemies. So I'm just going to trigger all of these, which is fine. You want to destroy as many of them as possible, though, because if you destroy them, they're worth XP, which is great. Kind of like that, right? Defense backfiring actually gives you more XP, which is really nice. Just like that, see? He's put so many traps in here. I gotta upgrade my suit, man. I gotta upgrade my suit really, really badly, actually. Jesus Christ. All right. We did it. We did it. That was fun! And brutal. I enjoyed that. Good dungeon. Let's gain some points. There's a full level for Prota. Probably some bonus level on top of that. Nice. Not bad at all. Got a bunch of bonus XP. Some Synthite for the XP. And I'm gonna get back to Sanctuary now and I'm gonna go upgrade Prota again. How hard was that level? Not super hard. I have reached um, a new stage of evolution. We've done it. A new stage of evolution. Extinction preys on the weak. I am grateful for advisors. Juice the advisor. Understand the importance of More these cells. contributions. Juice the advisor. Hey, I got two full levels out of that, actually. That's a pretty big deal. Oh, look, the chunks, dude. The chunks. I think they're missing textures. What's happening there? <laughs> These didn't used to be white. Oh, he's draining them, dude. Uh. All right. Progression rewards stuff, evolution rewards. These are all new. So we have daily bonuses now. Earn a bonus for the first tribute completed daily. That's cool. Evolution bonuses and tribute bonus. Yeah, this is all new, man. This menu is new. That looks great. That looks really good. On it. Watch out for fire. These suits, 
They can't handle All right. the I need to upgrade. We don't want this. We want our suit upgrades. This one is more for melee, and this one is for range. I'm going to upgrade this suit, and I want to see if we can do this. Magnetic Link is amazing. Increase the range that ammo can be picked up by 75%. And then this one highlights your bullets, which is really good. And then this one makes it so you can shoot faster. So I can't do any of those yet. We don't have the pieces. Then I got to go look at my weaponry advisor here, because the weaponry advisor will have everything for our gun. Right here. What is... Wait, what? Vault Lancer is what I use. What is this? A fast shooting, lightweight crossbow? It only hurts guards. This one doesn't hurt traps. That's a new weapon. I like that. Sledge Blade was there before. Oh, it's so expensive, dude. Oh, it's so expensive. So that gives it one more ammo capacity. That one's really good. I have abandoned... Consider yeah, six shots is a lot of shots. Save you in times of trouble. Same stuff they had before, no worries there. We use as little genetic material as possible to what? make these things. What is that? <laughs> That's new, dude. What is a cannon back? Holy shit. Look at him. Look look at his terrifying arm cannon thing. A subclone equipped with a cannon that lobs explosives. A bolt shooting subclone that specializes in mid rage combat. The only ones they had before were these three before. This guy's new, man. Alright. Upgrade the guard. We're gonna give him not bloodlust. Dead man switch. So I have enough stuff now to be a jerk. So what I could do is I could fill an entire dungeon with explode exploding guys. The dead man switch. But I could also give them a bunch of plating. I don't know which one I'm going to do just yet. But we really need the incinerator. That's kind of all I care about right now. The Chimera project. And I can get it now. You see, the incinerator has a superpower. The incinerator doesn't run out of ammo. The other traps only fire once. But the incinerator keeps firing over and over and over again. So I'm pretty happy with that. Alright. We're gonna go change this. Now that I have this, it's time to build a dungeon. It's time to build. We're going to claim a burial site. I need a big one. Oh, wait. You need... Oh. You need parts to claim a burial site now. That's interesting. All right, well, we need to go run more dungeons. That's totally new. You didn't need to do that before. That's pretty sick, man. Also, you can see who owns these, like who's made them, which is pretty neat. So you can see every Steam user that's made these things before, which is, I think that's very cool, personally. Dude, I'm... I'm really excited for you. That sounds awesome. I hope you're able to get it, man. Hell yeah. Thank you for the 100 bits, by the way. Happy Monday. Happy Monday indeed. And it is a very good Monday. Because now I can finally play Meet Your Maker on stream, which is something I wasn't able to do before because it was in closed beta before, but now it's in open beta. And it doesn't look like anybody has any of these cool little skeleton guys like we had in closed beta. I don't even know if those are in the open beta, to be honest with you. I don't know if they're still there. They were really neat. And I hope they didn't take them out. But basically there's like secret spots, right? And if you break the secret spot, you get extra points. You get a ton of stuff. And 
they're neat because you don't know where they're going to be placed when you make your dungeon. Wait, is that one? This. See how the synthite I just got in the bottom left? And 250 XP? If you can find those in the dungeon, you get them. And the, the person who builds the dungeon, you can make, like, cool traps and stuff around it to, like, incentivize it. It's like a bonus for the other players that go through your dungeon. You hear it? There it is. Yeah! Bunch of stuff! Just got 500 XP for that. If you die, do you have to collect it again? You can't. So, once you get it, it's done. Those ones are done. You can kill traps. Really? You're gonna use the plasma balls? No one likes the plasma balls, dude. Oh, the plasma balls. I hate the plasma balls so much. It's constantly harassing, super annoying. They don't even really do anything very well, right? The plasma balls suck. They're just mostly annoying, to be honest with you. They're mostly annoying because they're constantly doing stuff like that. Whatever that is. What is shooting at me? Where are you? Is he all the way up top? Oh, he's up there. I missed! I'm out of bullets! This is bad. Alright, let's think about this. So it looks like we have to go up, up, and then across. So anyway, that room was filled with pain. Um, let me think about this. Okay. Okay. So. If you're having an issue like that, what you do is you contact Twitch, and you just let them know. That's it. And they, they get rid of all of them, man. Yeah. I've had it happen before. Almost every streamer's have it happen before. Every once in a while, I'll just get like 300 of them. You know? And it can be super annoying. It can be. But like, it's not... It's not that big of a deal, thankfully. Got, a, got one of my bullets back, which is what I wanted. Shit. Finally got killed by one of those damn things. So he's got a kill box in this room. But we can get some of them to destroy each other. Which is good. That's all we really have to do is get some of these to blow each other up. Just cheese it. I wonder if I can just cheese run this, to be honest with you. I'm gonna try that now that I think about it. Now, there's no way to good cheese run this. Maybe if I go back into the right. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a cheese run, dude. I really do.
Jesus. I don't think not just die. There's, God, there's so many of them, dude. Because you can just dodge these. You can just move around them. And it's not a big deal. The problem is that there's just so damn many of them. <laughs> there's so many of them, dude. Oh my god, there's so many of them, dude. Can you deflect stuff? I don't think you can deflect plasma. Jesus Christ, dude. How many guards does he have? There was another one above it! Okay. There has to be a way. Can you just skip this dungeon? I could. I could skip this dungeon. But where would the honor be in that? Where would the honor be in skipping a dungeon? My dude. Okay. Where did the little man go? I'm gonna wait and see. Where's the little man? The little the little robot dude is gone, man. Sir? There you are. Alright, I want to watch this dude's path. We're going to watch that guy's path, because I want to see... I'm pretty sure I have to go that way. Like, right there. Since I killed that thing, I, can, I think I can... probably do this in a really obnoxious way. Let's kill that thing real fast. That was weird. I got hooked on the wall in a strange way. That's not what I wanted. Oh, he goes off to the right. Okay, you know what? Let's do an exploration here. That's where it is. Okay. So. That one I can kill. I understand now. I think we can beat this. I think there's a weakness. And what the weakness is is over on the right side there. Little robot is what tells you where the gen mat is. We don't need him now, so we just need him out of the way. The problem I have with these stupid plasmas is they have a delay. And the delay is just so time ruining and obnoxious. To be honest with you. It makes it really annoying. Yeah, that's one of those down. That's two of them. So now that I've gotten both of those, I need to go over there and to the right. There we go. Told you it had a weakness. 
Sometimes you just gotta find it, man. Sometimes you just gotta find the weakness. Takes a little bit. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, lots of defense backfire and XP on exit too. I love this game because of that dude, because we get to go in and like find the weakness in other people's you designs. Have made this breakthrough possible, custodian. Hell yeah, make the the chimera stronger, dude. Become powerful. Why is your face such an Many odd shape? Of the chimeras would kill to be the progenitor of a new species. Oh, but also in game? Cuz you're like a robot. Why are you like this, bro? Dude, I'm so excited this game finally came out, Kronos. I swear to God. I was dying. I guess the point of the harvester is to check the map being possible? Yeah. Yes, feed him. Feed him the fish legs. Oh, it's so gross, dude. Alright. Now we gotta claim the barrel set. I don't have enough for a big one, so I think I'm gonna just get to do another one. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna do... What is that? Champion outpost. Your first champion outpost is available. Complete this outpost. What is it? Holy shit. This is by the dev team? Done. 100% done. Uh, absolutely, dude. The dev team made one? This one's probably going to be bonkers, to be honest with you, because of the fact that I don't have the upgrades that I normally would have in the closed beta. I don't have any of my upgrades, so... We'll see how it goes, man. Oh, hi. You're a friend. That guy's already got armor. That's not good. Well, that just killed him or not. So when they have armor, you have to hit him in the head or the shoulder? And if you don't, well, you get nothing. Where did the other one just fall? Oh god, he went all the way down here. What could possibly be trying to shoot me down? Oh, they have flying guys. Oh, they have flying guys. I saw one of them. So the dev team built this one. I'm trying to listen for those secret tombs. There's one. Oh, hi. How you doing up there? God damn it. Oh, there's the other one. Yes! Four second tombs! Yes, I will, actually, Kronos. I will be playing that. Um, probably tomorrow, isn't it? Isn't it tomorrow? I think it is. That being said, this whole week is just gaming, my dude. And you're dead. Because, like, Meet Your Maker's out. The Harry Potter game comes out tomorrow. Yeah, I'm playing tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, the deluxe one comes out tomorrow. That's when I'm playing. So I'm down. All right, looks like they have a couple of weaknesses here. He had armor on his head, and my sword did nothing as a result. God damn it. We have to kill him. Head armor. Head armor. Who puts head armor on them? Goblins, dude. No, I didn't miss. It made the tank noise. Ah. Funny. Rude. Alright, I got two of my bullets back. Oh, they pattered the whole thing out, too. Wait for that thing to fire. Killed it. That thing's down. Oh! It's got a hook, too. Okay, we're gonna drop the hook. We're gonna crush that. We're gonna wait for the fire to go off. Chain fire and crusher, actually. Now we got all three. 
Really good trap combination there. All right, bud. I got a sword, you got a sword. Oh, got him. He, he had the dead man switch. The man exploded. What the hell is that? I don't even know what that is. I've never even seen that before. What the hell? That was not in the closed beta, whatever that is. Plasma AoE residue? Are you kidding me? I don't, I don't want any of that. It was in beta? Nobody ever used that. I've never used that. Hey, uh... Alright. Well. Well. So anyway... I started cheesing. I really didn't like those. Where did that even come from? Okay, hold up. Let's go this way. One of our bullets is there. Hello. Would you like to be friends? God damn it, it hit me in the foot. Alright, we can go around the outside. How many skeletons can you put in a level? It's based on the amount of points that you have. So the amount of points that you have determines how many of these types of things that you can put into a level. Oh, Jesus. How much of this stuff is all around this, dude? He's got all kinds of things over here. That's not great. Let's see here. I'm trying to see even where the gen mat is, because clearly this is going to be the better approach right here. I hate that they have armor. What the hell is that? <laughs> what is that? Holy shit! I got my bullet out of him, it's fine. We don't have to think about it, guys. We don't have to think about it. Don't worry about it. That happened in the closed beta too, by the way. It's quite funny. It's like a physics error. All right. All right. I think the gen mat is inside of that. Which means I think we have to go around the other side. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's inside of there. Oh, look, there's a dude all alone. That's weird, Miracoon. That's weird. Thank you for the 100 bits, by the way.
I blocked his bullet there, by the way. My first hit did not work because my first hit hit him in the armor. And then my second hit, I blocked. Killed him. I'm now out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. Son of a bitch. But why? Ah! Alright, where did that corpse fall? I know you're down here somewhere. There it is. Yoink! Sometimes you just need your bullet back. That's a little ridiculous. Yeet. Alright, well. Hello, friend. You're, uh... I'm looking good today. Alright, that one's dead. Slowly dismantling this. How does multiplayer work? It's a co-op. Yeah, it's co-op. Oh, that guy's got the long sight. Didn't get my bullet. Ugh, oh, unfortunate. Didn't get my bullet. Not good. Because that's a little bit too hot for me to go back in there. Got it. I really gotta get rid of that sniper, man. <laughs> I can't stop looking at it, dude. Okay. One of them bombs, dude. It's just one of the one of them bombs, you know? Like one of them bombs. We are we done? Alright, alright. Are we good? Are we are we good? I think we may have dismantled most of this. My guess is that that room is going to have a big old kill room in it. Hit him right outside the armor. Now we go pick up that corpse. Nope. This is a well-designed dungeon, to be honest with you. And it's not even over yet. Where does... where does it go? It's pretty weird. How dare you? It's your birthday! I don't actually know where this guy is going. Thank you, by the way, for the 100 bits. It's very nice of you. It's got to be, like, back down here, doesn't it? You sneaky bastards. Now for the really hard part. I don't know what's going to happen when I touch that, but it's probably going to be bad. Now...
All right. Okay. Where's my bullet? Well, I did it. What's the advantage of making a map? It drains resources passively over time, and you get bonus resources. You get bonus resources every time a player dies in it. Oh god, this place is a death machine. Passive income and more content for the video game. What if I just... Yeet! Yeah! <laughs> uh, uh. Look at how many advisor points I just got, dude. Like, across the entire board. Feels pretty good, man. Yeah. Yeah. Does the game feel the same as in beta? It actually feels better. Um... You have made me stronger than I ever was. It feels better because there was a lot of stuff in beta, in closed beta, where, like, these guys didn't have custom models or anything like that. Um... I remember when they first built you, custodian. They all had the same voice too. It was just like kind of like a like a monotone sort of dude. Advisors have suffered for this project. I knew he would not let me decay. There's also a lot more voice for like the chimera. The chimera actually talks about stuff, which is cool. It's just a lot more story driven feels, which is something we didn't really have in the closed beta. So I like this. I really like this a lot. Also, what a name you have. You got bronze around level five? Is the ranking system for raiders or the ranking system for dungeon owners? I was raiding. Interesting. I'll never forget seeing my first mushroom cloud. Yes. Couldn't believe those fools did it. Yes. Give me another ammo. Give me another ammo. All right, good. All right, we've got another point of ammo. That's exactly what I want, to be honest with you. And I want to go see if we can upgrade this suit yet. It's been centuries, but you know, sometimes there is a split second. The fire rate is pretty cool. Magnetic link is really what I want. I don't have enough parts for it. We're going to get more blue stuff. Got bronze one, two, three, four, then silver one. Interesting. I like that one. I'm gonna do that one. Yeah, I did my first champion outpost, which is cool, but I was I was heavily into the closed beta, man. I played for like 400 hours. And like, yeah, I gotta get a suit upgrade, but I, I wanted the three bullets first. That's such a big deal. The three bullets is huge. And also the sword swinging. The sword swinging is also kind of a big deal, so that's kind of cool. I never saw these guys in the closed beta. Did they add those at the end of the closed beta? I don't actually know, to be honest with you. The cannoneer dudes? What is that? Yeah, the cannoneer dudes, did they just blow themselves up? I think they did. Genius, dude. We're late in the beta. Yeah, I stopped playing after a certain point because I had to get back to, like, work, you know? Oh, it feels weird shooting so slowly. I think that's the one thing that I've noticed so far is, like, I'm shooting really slow. Because they don't have my upgrades yet. But getting back to three bullets was... Mm. Mm. Hello, sir.
This is just like a total melt fest. The other thing I don't have yet is my magnetic link, so I can't pick up my bullets from far enough away just yet. Which is sort of not the best, right? I gotta get used to that until I can get magnetic link again. Nothing? This thing's gonna have so many traps on the way out, man. Also, you hear that? The bonus is under the floor here. I wonder if they sealed it in. I hope they didn't seal it in. That would be kind of a dick move. Really? I hate those. I hate them so much. But they're also like super easy to kill, so it's fine. See you, nerd. Oh, bomb guys. I am now out of bullets. Alright. I now have one bullet. What? <laughs> Did he shoot me through the wall? <laughs> what just happened there? Oh, that's awful, actually. You know what I think it is? Their bullet moves really slow. I think I didn't realize he fired, because I didn't hear the firing sound. Yeah, I think he shot right... I think his bullet had slow travel time. I think that's what it was. There. That's what I'm after. That was the one I heard before. Let's get all that stuff off of it. There's got to be another one. So the brutal levels always have two of those guys. We just got to listen for them. this one. When will be the next Hitman stream? I don't know yet. I'm not sure. But Meet Your Maker is something I very, very much so enjoy, so it's probably going to be this for like today, and then Harry Potter comes out tomorrow, and that means that's going to be like that for a couple of days. Literally this whole week is going to be games, dude. Which is not... That's probably the most I've played games on stream ever in the history of the stream. Literally ever. Because like... I don't... Play game. I make games, right? Okay. I don't even know what trap just went on. Oh, is this stupid thing? Hello. He tried so hard. I 
want to go get that, actually. Dude, I'm so glad we can stream this game now, too. You have no idea. You should always, always get these, by the way. Like, every single time. Because it's 250 experience every time you do it. It is so worth it, no matter what. It is so, so worth it. Yeah, see how slow that is? That's exactly what it was. You hate him. Supposed to do the little leap, but didn't do the little leap. Bombers, dude. Not even once. Alright, that's dead. Stop that. Stop that at once. Ugh. Ugh. very moist no noise it's true all right i think we've killed everything in the room i need to get my bullets back <sighs> now we got the problem right we don't know where all the traps are going to exist there could be one there there could be one here i don't think there can be one there so I think the best option... No? Nothing? Nothing! I'm a little disappointed. Out of, out of everything that you could have done, you chose instead to do nothing. What? Why? Is there anything in here? Is it just, fr is it just free? Why would you do this? Why would you give to me nothing? Maybe it's just one at the end. Dude, is there really nothing in here? Maybe he didn't do it. Maybe he doesn't know. He might just be new, yeah. Maybe he just didn't know, dude. Alright, well, you know. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna leave, I guess. Oh, you see that? That's just disrespectful is what that is. That's all that is. That's disrespectful. Outrageous. He knew. He knew. Disrespectful, dude. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Who does that? What a goblin, dude. Straight up goblin, mode. You will be rewarded for empowering Yes. Make it grow. Let it circulate through me. Juice the advisors. Get juiced. Can't get me a bottle of bristle first. No, you're getting juiced right now, dude. There you go. Juiced. 
I think it's great that like you distill the genetic stuff through them, and then and then they get juiced. Hello. Can I make this even bigger now? Can I have four bullets? No, no. Let me go look at my. I don't want to claim it. Okay, I can claim a burial site too. We needed the sanctuaries to stay unified. Instead, we're fighting for the privilege to survive oh, one more Let's day. think about this. Let's think about this. We need to get magnetic link first, but I need 450. So let's go build a dungeon because I have 1,045, which means that I can build. We can claim a really big burial site. This one gives weapons of 6,000. That seems like the way. That's, that's a good one. And it's also the three size one, which is what you want. So yeah. Given a synthite to claim a burial site on it, you will build a deadly outpost that kills other players. Nope. Don't need a building tutorial. Done this a million times. Can you build a level? Yeah. All those le levels we've been doing have been made by players. Okay. The one thing that I asked for before, the one thing was a clear all. Did they give me a clear all? Why is it making me do this tutorial? I don't want to do a tutorial. Ugh. They're making me do it. They're making me do the tutorial, dude. I don't want to do it. Wow. My bullet had a lot of, lot of arc there. Oh no, I got it. I'm bad at the video game. I did it, guys. I did it. I did the tutorial. Oh wait, I have to do another one now. Oh no, there's a guard now. He's very spooky. Holding F on the guard. I'm making him walk around. Look at me. I love doing that, by the way. It's honestly the best. Let's make you look further with your eyes. Your special eyes. We I'm really glad that you had a good time. Honestly, even if you even if you don't submit anything for the game jam, you learn a lot of stuff if you try things. You know, I mean that's that's really it. So yeah. I'm glad, man. I'm really glad actually. My right click button is not deleting this highlighted block. Which normally it would. So something is wrong there. I'm really glad though, like legitimately. I was just saying the green block? Oh, the other highlighted block. Uh. Oh no! Oh no! I keep forgetting this is a tutorial. I just want to make my dungeon. Oh, it's traps. Yes.
Hey, look. It's as if someone came into my dungeon and died. Free stuff. We love free stuff. Also ads. We have to wait for the ads to be over. I don't see a delete all button just yet. But we gotta wait for the ads anyway. Once the ads are over, we'll go and check. Because I have... I have an outpost that I bought now. I just need to build on it, right? Yeah, I speed ran the tutorial. It's done now. I, I could have done it through the ads, too. By the way, Hyperjerk, thank you for the Prime sub. It's very nice of you. Give me just one minute. One sec. Grab some. I have returned. I have returned. I don't know if they actually added in a delete all. Oh, they added in a delete all, guys. I'm going to show you the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Delete all items confirmation. That was... <laughs> that's a bug. And I know that's a bug. Did you hear how loud that was? There's a sound that happens when you play something and you get rid of it. I think it played the get rid of it noise for every block it just deleted at the same time. I think that's what it just did. Which is ridiculous. Okay, where's the gen mat in this level? The gen mat's all the way up here? Oh my god, dude. That's a lot. Also, whoever just did that, that is a lot of money for that. So thank you. Holy moly, dude. Oh, they added in medieval blocks? What does that look like? Oh, that's freaking sick. Alright, so... We're gonna do the good old steel factory block stuff. I'm actually gonna do factory block. Yeah, we'll do factory blocks. I don't really want the caged glass right now. And I want to do probably some ramps going down. So we're going to do one of these. Now the reason I'm going to set it up this way is I need to set up some death traps on this in a fun way. So these right here are actually going to be lava traps. These out the side are going to be second round uh, dart traps. I'll probably put a hologram second round there as well. Should be fun. Should be fun. Now the big thing is you got to make sure that there's no gaps. And you want to use the least number of points as possible. You will. True. Yeah. No, it's too late, bud. It is absolutely too late now. All right. So, there's a reason. There is an absolute reason. One sec. Which button was it again to do the different style of this? I forget the way to do the style of the block. To make it like a ramp and stuff like that. R. Change shape. There we go. There's a reason that I went and got the fire trap first. And the reason why is because the fire trap fires forever, over and over again. Also, Anthony, for Linden, thank you for the tier one sub. It's very, very nice of you. You're awesome, dude. So what I can do is do kind of like a thing like this, like a ramp, right? And we'll bring this all the way back down to baseline in a second here. This dungeon doesn't have to be long. 
It just has to be brutal, right? So now that we've got this, I can make a platform out here and we can kind of build it all out. So I'm going to grab this. Now, why would I do it this way? Oh, you're going to like this. Oh, you're going to like this. We're going to bring it to right there. Mm. Right to about there. And I think this is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. We can set up the traps that we want to set up there. That should be good. So it looks like this is where one of our souls is. So we'll need to put something cool there. And there's another one of our souls out here. I'm probably just going to leave that one as a freebie for them. I just realized something. One sec. Test, test. Can you guys hear me? I was hearing the audio out of the wrong ear. On my headphones. It's fixed now. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. That's very nice of you. Can you click drag multiple blocks at once? I don't think so. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh yeah, it looks like you can. But it doesn't seem to be doing it the way I want it to. Yeah, it didn't seem to be doing it right. But, uh, yeah, it looks like you can do that. Oh, there we go. Oh, you can. Hell yes. That makes life easy. That has the same sound bug. You hear that? It's doing the sound for every one of the blocks instead of for the action. Bug. Mistake. Also, thank you very, very much, by the way. For all of that. You guys throwing subs like that is very, very nice. Seriously. Dong. Yeah, that's loud, dude. Loud and ridiculous. Oh, no! I accidentally did it one, two, tall. We want to save as much capacity as possible so I can make the best kill room I possibly can. Whoop. Whoop. It's happening. The great nightmare of our time is being built. I'm pretty sure I could build the design that I normally built before with this setup. Pretty sure. We're going to have to wait and see. And then we're going to go through and decorate it. Because decorations aren't just cosmetic. Oh no. You see, decorations make it so that it's harder for people to see your traps. Which is really funny. And boy, is it annoying for them. Which is also really funny. Okay. So.
Bloop, bloop. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. What do the little box bots do? They have to reach the end or you can't release the level to other players. That's what they do. What the? All right, now, trap time. Unfortunate. I have to redesign a little bit. Ah, no, we'll put it there. Just hit open beta today. Is this a game I'm making? No, this is not a game I'm making. This is open beta, my dude, and I have been waiting for this to hit open beta for a while. And the reason why is because I love the hell out of the closed beta so much. So very, very much. And what you're seeing now is you're seeing me create a dungeon. And that dungeon is absolutely atrociously obnoxious. And when I'm finished with it, other players can go through it, and they'll die in it, which will be funny. And boy, do I love this dungeon design, because I used it all through the closed beta. You see, fire traps can just keep firing forever. They don't stop. They're really annoying. And it's very funny. Very funny, actually. What do corrosive cubes do? They kill you if you touch them. That's what they do. They kill you. This stops them from just going through, which is great. Now, where are dudes? You, Enforcer Man. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. Boop -boop -boop -a -doop -a -doop. Why do we set them up like this? Why do we set them up in this way, guys? Who knows? Who knows the reason? Because it's pretty funny. It's a pretty funny reason for this. Actually, I think I'm supposed to make this one deeper. If I remember correctly, I may have done this wrong. I did do it wrong. Do you know why we set him up like this? Yeah, the guy squanders the bullets. When you shoot one of them, they fall into this, and the guy can't get his bullet back. Pretty sure I did this. That's what it is. And then it might have been larger than this now that I think about it. I'm pretty sure it was. I think it's one more to the size. We can try this though. This will be our first dungeon attempt. Oop. It was more. Yeah, it was one more. That's exactly what it was. It was one wider than this. I think it was one wider than this. You couldn't see those guys. Have to think about this. No, this was the correct size. What was it that I put there? It might have been these on these ones. And then impalers on these ones. I mean, that space contains a trap. How could that space possibly con- Oh, wait. It totally was just a bunch of fire in here. I remember now. 
It was just a ton of fire. That's what it was. Yeah, because fire traps won't kill each other. Bloop, bloop. And now, where's our nice little industrial wall stuff? You. Machinery. I love the machinery. We love a machine. We love the machine. Build the room with machine parts. And then, you cover the floor in girded steel. So they don't know if it's a trap or not. There we go. Then we go on the outside. We take these blocks. We put them just like that. And we take these traps, the impalers, and we put them underneath each one of these. So if they do try to go melee these guys, they get hit with spikes. The thing is, is these machines make noise. The more amount of noise and visual chaos that you can give to the enemy player, the more obnoxious it becomes. And it gets rough. It gets so rough for them. There we go. What is the capacity? Top right. That is the amount of traps and other bullshit that I can put in the environment. The thing is, is that you have a limited amount of stuff you can put everywhere. But you should definitely use it all. Like, use everything you possibly can. Oh, this is new. Oh, that's new and awesome looking. I love that. Oh, that's so good. I bet it makes noise, too. Let me just make a bunch of those. Yeah, let's do those over the top of these. Yeah. Love it. Love it. The machine. I call this dungeon the machine. Uh, gotta get our ventilation fans in there so that our little men can- can eat the air. Actually, breathe is the word I would be looking for. Yeah, let's do that. Let's give them some air, right? There we go. Breathing is good. What else can we add in here? That's been seen before. The vault door is something I like to put on. Maximum number of packs used. So they have a certain number of texture packs you can use, it looks like now? Because I used to add these computer panels in here. But I guess... Medieval Siege... And Industrial Ruins... Yeah, I guess there's a limit. That's interesting. Because I would always put the vault door out here. And put it, like, right there. And it was neato. And then I'd put, like, the vault door on this. Weird. Can you test well with developing? Yeah, you can. There's nothing wrong with that. What? Alright. First room finished. Second room. Actually, how's this one gonna look? It's a good cheese. I like that. Don Goobs, what's up? How's it going?
that was your stream. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Tell me about your stream. What were you streaming? I see you're going to bed. Good, good. You need to sleep. It's probably for the best. Okay, so... This area doesn't really have a whole lot of use right now. It looks like the harvester path is bad. But I need to find out why. There's something wrong. Where is it wrong? What's wrong with it? This looks fine. Hmm. I don't have the second waves on these. So I need to give a second wave to all of these. We'll use Bolt Shot for now. Until I can get second wave on those other ones. So you can see the little marker there. It's on first room. What's on first room? The bad path is in the first room. I'll probably check it out then. So I'll take these and put them up here. It looks like they made second wave super cheap too, which is great. I wish I had... I wish I had the hologram cubes. I don't have them. Because what I would do is I'd add a hologram cube here on all three of these, and I'd do second wave and long shot on this one. Which is what I would be hoping for right now, but I don't have it yet. So we'll just have to deal with that one later. Alright. So, next thing. Get a bunch of dudes. So this is a really funny one. And it evolved so far. Already two hours of seat. Good. It's great, man. It's it's just the way that it was awesome in closed beta, but better. With more options and more cool stuff, right? And that's really it. That's really what it comes down to. It is the same, but better in every possible way. Which is what I was hoping for. So they've done an awesome job. They're doing really good. Don Goobs, thank you for the tier one sub. Stream good, but ran Bloodborne today. Sadly, I had plans early morning to end it, but overall it was pretty good. Nice, dude. Well, I'm glad you're having a good day. You go get some sleep, man. And thank you for the raid. Seriously. It's really, really nice of you. Let's go see what's wrong in this first room. Oh, is this not... Is that not pathable? Interesting. Okay, so that new block is not pathable for the little dude. That's the issue. I thought it was a pathable block. F. So my old way of doing this, I didn't follow that very well, but it's because we were kind of cramped in the beginning, which sucks. But basically, I would have done this one step out further on all of these sides. So that'll probably be the next next way to handle this. So, fun thing about these... They'll hit a guy in the top of the head if you do it right. <laughs> really enjoy those. You can set it up just like that. And then, where's a bolter? Do I have any bolters? I don't think I do. Let's go get this bolter. You set a bolter there to grab their attention. Bolter there, bolter there. Maybe one of these, actually? No, that won't work. So both of those are going to work there. I think that'll be good. And they have nothing to hookshot to on this side. They have to actually run through that. 
Do the dungeons reset, or does damage done by people trying to clear them persist? Dungeons fully reset. Fully reset. There's you, you lose nothing when someone runs your dungeon. In fact, you want more people to run your dungeon, so if more people like it, then more people will run it, and you will get more points. That's the whole deal. So yeah, you want as many people to run your dungeon as possible. That one's probably going to be a long shot when I'm finished with it. This room, I'm probably going to leave the way that it is for right now. Let's get his recon guard patrol, and what we're going to do is take him all the way up here. And have him stand here, and then stand guard. I'm going to do that with every one of these. The reason why is we'll get them all masked up at the back. And eventually, when I teach them armor, they'll be really, really annoying to kill because you can't throw the grenade upwards very easily while they're all shooting at you down this hallway. How many dungeons do you own? I believe in the closed beta it was like four or five. Maybe it was six. It's not... You can't have infinite. At least you couldn't then. I don't know if they've changed that, you know? Can you beat your own dungeon? Probably. I could probably beat my own dungeon. But also it'd be really, really annoying, right? The whole idea behind this is that my, my dungeon is annoying to beat. It is super annoying and obnoxious. I'm using things that I know worked in the closed beta. Things that I know are deeply annoying and distressing to fight against. So that should work there. And I think I have enough for impalers. Okay, I've gotten enough for impalers all along this. I think we're good there. I think we're at it. There we go. There we go. Always put stuff around the corners. Every time. Anytime you have to get them to go around a corner, put stuff around the corner. Let's go indeed, dude. How's it going, workshop? Actually, I kind of want to... I don't want to do one of these. What if we did another kill room? Ads, by the way. There's ads happening, but don't worry. It'll be it'll be fine. We'll survive. We will survive the ads. Dungeon is evil? A little bit. Lit small bit evil. Minutely evil. Okay, I think we're good. I want to leave enough space for later. So we're going to start doing some of these. Nice machine noise going on.
it looks like this isn't even a problem. Weird. That doesn't even cause an issue. Oh, now he's now he's updating. Can you not walk on it there? It looks like they can walk on these sometimes, but they like prefer not to. Yeah, look, he won't do it. That's weird that these aren't pathable. It's actually really strange that those can't be pathed on. Like, really strange. I wonder if players can't path on those. It's weird that the robot can't. But I don't know if... I don't know if players can't. Weird. Very strange. Just getting there. Pretty happy with this. We've got very little left that we need to do. Got a lot of coughing guys, it's the best. Mm, I don't think I want to draw attention to that just yet. So one of the things that you could do with these, which is really interesting. Let's get rid of that. And we can do this. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of all the spikes up this. Because one of the things that I like to do before was this. Because it just looks cool. You know? It just kind of looks cool. It's going to be a flying harvester path. I want jump puzzles. So you can't really do jump puzzles because the... This dude needs to walk along the entire pathway. That's something he has to do. But you can do stuff like this that's, like, visually obnoxious. Where, like, they can see all the way up there, and it's blinding. And they don't realize that this thing's there. So you can do stuff like that. Do all kinds of things. I do like my visual noise. I'm just saying. Visual noise is kind of good. Yeah. Sort of nice. When you can add that in. Gotta make sure our dudes can breathe. Get those vents running in there. What else we got? What is that? Iron laid tile? What does that look like? That looks weird. I don't like that. Uh, probably add some gear works up here. That's cool. Kind of adds to the aesthetic there. Do these guys have any augmentations yet? No. Ugh. This looks good to me. Put that in the secondary. Now. Now for the funny bit. Eventually, what I will want to do is make it so that on the second round through, when you activate this, some of those melee guys will actually come out of here and immediately want to leave that. I've done that before, and it's really funny. So these two spots right here are set up specifically for that. But I don't have them unlocked yet, so we'll have to get those unlocked later. Can you have two lights overlapping? I don't think you can. If you're talking about these ones, I could do it like this. Like there, and then another one like there. Like,
Like, we can do that. Which is sort of cool looking. Like, I kind of dig that, right? Yeah, it does feel like a missed opportunity. It needs to be pathable for the robot there. For, for jumping puzzles, I totally agree. But then we get this rock, right? I don't really like the rock. I do like the idea of using more light, though. Alright, next bit. Do we have any blood stains? Where are my blood stains and stuff? Yeah, blood stains. Give me those blood stains. It's pretty good. I don't know where I'm going to put blood stains on this. Oh, there's like gross stuff in there. A warning to raiders. No, I think I'm gonna put that back. I think I'm gonna put it back the way that it was. All right, we've got a lot of visual noise. We've got a lot of obnoxious traps. I think. I think we've got a couple more pieces to put in here. Just a few more. Kind of like that. That should be good. Should be good. There we go. box is created. I do believe we have everything we need. I do believe this is it. If people die to your dungeon, what happens? You get points, my dude. You get materials. You want them to die. People dying in your dungeon is the best part. That is exactly how you want that to be. So I guess we can have that all over the walls and the ceiling without there being a problem, right? I kind of like this. It's got kind of like a you're stepping into the machine sort of feel. probably done it. Maybe. Yeah, I think we've probably done it. Anything else we can do in here? And this leaves me open to kind of upgrade this later on, too. 
Hell, I could even add more traps to it right now. Yeah, I could just even add more traps to it right now. We've got a bunch of points. I'm just gonna... Oh, I'm in a capacity now. All right, hold up. Hmm. Uh. Those are cheap. Those are cheap. I think we're good. We have a little bit more points. So I'm going to get another one of these guys, and I'm going to put him right here like an absolute goblin bastard. And another one like right there like an absolute goblin bastard. And then I'm going to take this and make it so it goes on the second round. Nobody likes an absolute goblin bastard? Oh, they do. We're not going to do that one second round. All right, we're at 4483 out of 4500. I think we're good. <clears throat> I think we're good. I think this is it. I think we're good. How do I activate this thing? Is it active? I don't even know if it's active or not. It looks like it's active. Now, there's no clear check. There's nothing you have to do with that. Once you select active, it's active. I wish there was some kind of fanfare for that. You know what I mean? All right. I feel like there should be like a, you did it. It's turned on. No, there's no clear check. You don't have to clear check it. No clear checking. As long as the little robot can make it to the end, you win. You kind of hate that there's no clear check? I do not. I find it to be very fun. No test run? No. Do you know why? We're going to watch other people go through it and die. And if they get past stuff, then we'll fix it. You see this thing? The replay station. I can actually watch people run through afterwards. Every time I get replays, it's very funny. You are the only one I can trust. What about those guys? You know, they are also here. Let's go kill some people. That's true. That is true. First person watch or third person watch? You can do either, actually. And it's very fun. Oh, it's super fun to watch. I really, really enjoy doing that. I like I like watching people die in my dungeon, alright? It's a I have a simple life, you know? I like putting out a bunch of dungeons. I like watching people die in them. I like raiding other people's dungeons. I like not dying in those. You know, normal stuff. Let's go find those tombs. There's the first one. So, this is funny. Because a lot of people don't realize you can do that. You can hookshot through that, but... How do the robot...
This has got to be a secret. You see that? That's a hologram. Where be the HP or whatever? You die in one hit. There's no such thing. Yeah, there's no such thing as HP in this. You die in one shot. You either don't die, or you do. That guy made a secret entrance. Which is really interesting. But also, like, a great deal of weakness for his dungeon. So I'm kind of wondering why he did it. Like, I don't think he realized there was a back door. Maybe he did realize there was a back door. But it's... It's still strange, right? Like, why would you do that? I guess you'd go through it backwards. Kill it. Sort of just free, free lunch, man. Yeah, it was a free lunch. Oh! <laughs> cheeky cheeky. A lot of people don't realize there's a free lunch there. Very deeply rude. Look at that. He gave a free lunch entrance and then gave a bunch of sneaky stuff around it. Look at that. Look at this man. I love that, actually. I love that. I wonder if this dude was actually a, um, a player that closed beta. And my guess is he was, because very people, real, few people realize, I guess at this stage of the game, that you can hookshot through those those cubes. It's just free XP. I'm just gonna farm it, sorta. What? I could just leave, but also I hear the clarion call of that, that secret tomb. I hear the tomb. It's up there. This is what I wanted. All right, now I can leave. Shit. That was not the way I went before. Was it? Oh God, I'm all turned around. Free points. I love free points. I feel like I'm basically just disrespecting this dude's dungeon at this point. Which feels fine. You know, I mean, if you're gonna build a back door, I'm gonna use it, right? I am definitely going to give him accolades for that, though. That was fun. I like that. That's cool. You get points. I sort of dig that, right? Dude's gonna be so pissed watching me run it. Probably true, but you know, eat it, I guess, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Annihilation streak. I get bonus XP for that. That is true. If your dungeon doesn't kill anyone, eventually you can't run the dungeon anymore. Because it runs out of points, runs out of stuff. We do this for the future. So you constantly have to be creating new dungeons. That is a thing. Oh? We have six deaths. Let's go watch. We get a replay. Somebody died six times in the dungeon. Let's see what he did. And let's see how he beat it. It looks like he... 
may not have beaten it, actually. His first death is coming up now. And here it is! <laughs> the room turns into an oven, dude. Look at him, he's not even moving! He's just like, what? 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 I think he's contemplating if he should just leave right there, dude. What's the apple's name? I have no idea. Look at this poor man. Look at him. He's like, all right. He's like, all right. Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna, we're gonna make it through. We're gonna make it through. Oh, God. Oh, God. And dead. Look at him, dude. He tried to cheese. The man tried to cheese. Proud of him. Proud of him trying to cheese. The oven got him, dude. The oven got him, dude. Almost made it. He's not even to the death room. Look at him. He's looking sadly at the desert floor. He's like, well, maybe if I just... Maybe if I just think about this for a minute. Maybe then I could... Maybe if I had aim, maybe I could do this. It went through the guy's legs, dude. He literally missed. You're out of bullets. Oh, oh, that's just... Oh, oh, that's just rough to watch, my dude. Do you want to know what the way to beat this, this level is, by the way? Do you want to know the actual way to beat this? Grenades. He doesn't have any. See how his loadout is missing grenades? That's the reason. You draw them out and use grenades. He doesn't have grenades. Grenades would clear this room in a second. Always bring bring grenades, dude. He quit in the end? I think he did. Oh, oh, oh. How does he die? I feel like he got robbed there. I'm going to be honest. All right. Let's wait. See how he does this time. Wait, did he rage quit? I think he may have just rage quit, dude. Our first rage quit, everyone. Well done. Well done. We did it. Look at him standing there, rage quitting in my dungeon. First run, first rage quit. Mm. 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 And he leaves. And that's it. Yeah, you rage quit, dude. Never rage quit. Because then I get vitamins. Okay, how do I... How do I go and pick up my points? I need to go in here and pick up my points. Oh, I have to actually leave. We have to go back to Sanctuary and then go back to building this place and pick it up. Travel to your outpost, Custodian. Yes. And look upon the carnage you have wrought. Look upon the carnage. A rage quit. What a devious architect you are. This isn't even the correct kill room, by the way. I remember my design was different before. And I remember how to do it now. Oh my god, look at all the bits. We love a bits. Killed by Enforcer. Killed by Enforcer. Yeah, so you get all these parts when they die in your dungeon, which is really nice. That's 100% what you want. 100% what you want. So I think what I need to do is I actually need to make the second floor. So, if I remember correctly, this pit actually went deeper, is what I think it was. I think this was actually a ramp down. I think it was a deeper pit. But yeah, we got all the bits. I think he just died six times. Oh, what's that one? Incinerator death. Yeah, he didn't even get to the, the kill room. So, now we can leave this. And now that we've got all the stuff, we can go and upgrade our things now. So you, when you set up these dungeons, you're basically setting these up over and over again to do exactly what I just did, right? 
So now what I need... Each advisor's genetic donation should someday unlock true immunity in the Chimera. And then we have our cure. I hope. There we go. We get overshot. So now I can go back into that dungeon now that I have overshot. And now that bolt shooter will shoot very, very far. Which is exactly what I want. So let's go build on that again. And we're going to upgrade. It's already time to upgrade, guys. It's already time. Reminds me of Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. Oh, yeah, it is. It's like that, but Doom, right? It's like Doom mixed with that, which feels really good to me. So this doesn't need an overshot because it's very close range. But this one up here specifically does need an overshot. So what overshot does in this case is it makes it so that when this thing activates, it's going to shoot him all the way here. These ones are going to shoot him right here. And these ones right here, if he tries to duck for cover, he's going to have to fight both of these things at the same time, which means he won't have enough time to react to all of that. Usually. And if I really wanted to be rude about it, I put a bunch of cubes there that are hologram cubes, so the moment he picks this up, hologram cubes open, and that shoots there. The only way he can possibly get through this is by turning, hookshotting this way, deflecting that bullet, and maybe hooking up there. That'll probably be it. Which is why... I think that's the only way out. I think it's probably the only way out. There is a way out. It's just really slim, right? Good upgrade. I'm not sure I want to play with people like Thor making dungeons. You ain't seen nothing yet, dude. Wait until... Wait until I get even more upgrades. Because it's going to get stupid. I'm going to get so much garbage. You have no idea. And I'm excited for it. Do you ever wonder how many of our clones are out there? No. Are they even like us anymore? I don't think so. Let's see, magnetic link. I can't get it yet. I need some more more stuff. Can I actually dunk you? So no, I can't. I can't juice. Grows within me. Can't juice yet. Humanity has a chance. Can we upgrade again? No. Swing speed increase is definitely something I'm gonna want. We don't have enough cells for that. Many tried to kill the Chimera. That is why you were made. I'm gonna make ten more blast grenades, because we love a blast grenade. Hold your head high, custodian. You're an important symbol to the advisors. I need plating for these guys. So plating is gonna make them even more annoying. Like, ridiculously so. The other thing I need is on our traps. It's hard to think of myself as a clone. I feel oh. the first Emma's memories as if I lived them. So I need this. The reason why is when those shooter guys hit one of those cubes, it splashes out and kills them in a funnier way. Is there a penalty for dying too much or cowardly leaving the attempted dungeon? No, I don't believe so. I don't think you actually... Yeah, I didn't even know that there was a ranking system because that wasn't part of the closed beta, so that's kind of cool to see, frankly. I think that's really awesome, actually. Hey, look! Look at this. New champion outpost. Let's go do it. This one's made by the devs. So it should give us a lot of points. I love that they added the champion outpost system, by the way. Can I put the level in overdrive since it's unbeatable right now? No. So, overdrive is a double-edged sword. It will give you faster resources, but if your dungeon runs out of resources without killing enough people, you don't get to work with that dungeon anymore. It dies. I didn't like overdrive in like, closed beta, so I don't really want to do that. I want my dungeons to live a long time. It was the one big piece of feedback that I had for the closed beta, which is it doesn't feel good when your dungeon that you invested a lot into dies. It's like losing a character in an RPG. So I'm going to try and forgo that as long as I possibly can, if that makes sense. Only said you lost Gen Genmat. Genmat is that, Chainus. That is its health bar. So you would lose part of its health bar if somebody succeeds. And that's the issue, right? You want it to be up there for as long as possible. Like, if I overdrive it, that health bar reduces faster. Which is the problem. Oh. You had to do that. Really? Oh my god, it's one of these. Ah. Oh. Plasma Bastard room. Oh, that is a long Plasma Bastard, too.
All right, so we got a really harsh kill room in here. We got a really, really harsh kill room in here. Got that guard down. Doesn't look like there's anything we could do to get rid of traps by hitting each other. That's what I was trying to do first. Anything over there? No. Okay. Those plasma things are really slow, though. So that's kind of like my boon right now. That's the thing I really got to deal with. It looks like there's a couple more dudes in there, but we can start piecemeal taking this apart. It's really not so bad. Wondering where that screaming is coming from. That's enough out of that one. Okay, there's one up above. Jesus. All right, let's think about this. That one's down. I don't have any more bullets right now. I don't think you can actually shop plasma. Sneaky. Really sneaky there. Yeah, this one's made by the devs? Yeah, it is. Gotta time it on every one of these, dude. It is one hell of a tedious one, though. It's just really complicated, but I'm slowly starting to tear it apart. I don't think I actually got him with that. Nope, too low. I can't throw that far, unfortunately. Didn't get him either. What about down here? This actually might be a good way to get around this. Oh! Thank you for the Prime sub. How can you tell it's a dev room? So dev rooms actually say that they're a, like a champion room or whatever the hell it is. It's got a special marker. It says that it's made by the dev team. You- it seems like you unlock them after a certain amount of, like, doing stuff, which is interesting. Got one of my bullets back, that's what I was after there. What? Where is he from? Alright, so we've gotten most of this room cleared. Oh my god, they got all the dudes up there on the edges. I hate that. Nobody likes that. Why would you do that? 
Eat it. Alright, so there's still a couple more of those stupid cube things. Got it. That one's dead. Alright, I got two more of my bullets back there. That's good. I hear a flying guy, but I don't see the flying guy. But I'm starting to... It looks like I've cleared out almost all of the little shooty guys on the sides, which is good. That's what we want. Could be outside. That man exploded. To shreds, you say. Needed my bullet back and it was inside of his body. Yoink! Sniped that trap. God, there's so many of them up there. That one's down. Yeah, why won't you die, asked GLaDOS. Exactly. Always live, never die. Those are the rules. Always live, never die. There he is. He's all the way up there. You see that? See that bullshit thing? That thing's bullshit. I don't like that. God damn it. God damn it. The tiny holes, man. I got debated so hard there, dude. Debated. I got 100% debated. I got 100% debated there. I was like, oh, I'm safe. No, I'm not. Not safe at all. So, I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. There's a lot of bullshit everywhere. That's great. That's what you want. Right. Whoa! Shoot at me. Shoot at me again. Rude. Deeply rude, sir. Alright, so this is a safe zone right here. Let me stand there. I have a bullet. I'm gonna use it on you. Because you're obnoxious. just like, you know, you ever do that? God damn, there's too many of them in there. Alright, I see a blue flashy over there. That means that one of my things is over there. Snipe that out. Alright, alright, we're starting to, we're starting to tear it apart again. This seems fine. Everything seems fine. We're doing it. We're doing it.
Oh, that one. All right, got one of my bullets back. Rude. Got him with a headshot, too. It's another one of those damn things down. The guards are the scariest part about this room, by the way. The guards are straight up the scariest part about this room right now. I think that is the most horrifying aspect of this this room is the guards because you don't know where they are. And they're in a really, really prime position. It looks like you put the eyesight mod on all of them. Which is pretty obnoxious. Love that. Hi. No thanks. Alright, let's think about this. I'm gonna have to shoot that. Alright, wait for him to shoot, and then... Got one of my bullets back. We're gonna use that to take out another one of those guards. Feeling safe? Not yet. Not yet. Not feeling safe really at all, frankly. See what happens when I do this. All right, that's cool. I got another bullet right there. I like bullets. Where's that coming from? Cube? I don't like cubes. All right, next one is all the way over there. Ah, God, that's weird. I love these just weird geometry locations you put out there, dude. He exploded. You. You can't throw grenades on them. Because they're on ramps. That's obnoxious. That's so annoying. I have one bullet again. I'm on to you. I'm hunting you now. Where are you? Where are you, little man? Got you. In the face, no less. Where did his corpse go? There we go. All right. Okay, we're getting in a new area now. This is good. This is fine. Everything is cool. Snipe that trap out. What do we got now? Okay, so there's a little one of those flying hunter bros. They're flying and I hate them. You done? Where'd you go? Where'd he go? Flying hunter, bro. I just want to talk. Good talk. Very good talk. Alright! I think this room is... 
effectively effectively disarmed, maybe? There's definitely still some traps. There's one there I can see. That's one hell of a little kill room, dude. I like that. Okay, don't want to pick up the gen mat yet. I want to go get my bullets. This dungeon was definitely very fun so far. Anyway. I have one bullet. I feel like I should have more. Also... The underbelly. all the stuff. Alright, good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, my precious antique bullets, dude. I gotta go pick them all up. They belong in a museum. Uh, I think one of these guys died like... Maybe he's up there? Nothing there. Right? I really don't like this. Okay, I have two bullets now. Where'd my third bullet go? This is why I need the upgrades. One of them will show you your bullets like through walls and stuff like that. Do you think he's gonna put a trap there? I feel like he is. Nothing? No bullshit. I don't trust you, developer. I don't trust you, behavior dev. There's always some kind of bullshit. I'm on to you. Thank you for the tier one sub, by the way, Wilford. I had to get my other bullet. No one to leave it behind. Alright, maybe he didn't have... Maybe they didn't have, like, a secondary thing in this one. Maybe it's just... Maybe it's just the one. Honorable. Honorable, honorable dungeon. Fun and brutal. Love that. Honorable dungeon. Doesn't do the second round. Finally resorting the tilt IRL head to check corners who started? Dude, you have no idea. <laughs> I'm just like... Every time. I don't even know why I do that. It doesn't make any sense. Like, it makes zero... Effectively zero sense to do that. But I, I do it anyway, right? There's no... There's no reason for it. That was a lot of points, by the way. That was a lot of points. Very happy with that. Death litters your outpost, custodian. We have a replay. As it should be. We have a lot of replays. And no one has beat the dungeon yet. At all. This guy didn't die at all. Let's go look at him. Oh, wait, no, he did die. Something's wrong with the replay, gentlemen. Are you... What's going on there? Is it not playing? Why does it say empty to pause? Oh, it appears the replay broke. But no, he's got four deaths in there. So it appears the replay on that one broke. That's a bug. Yeah, it's 100% a bug. Yeah, it showed zero deaths, but he had four deaths in that replay. I think the replay broke. Oh, it deleted it, too. Interesting. 
Is the open beta free to play? Yeah, go download it. Play it, man. Oh, here we go. This guy may have actually won. Maybe. Never bring a sword to bingo. Why are you like this? What is he doing? What is this guy doing, man? What? You're not gonna dig through the wall, my dude. What is he doing? What is... What's happening here? Finally, someone uses a grenade. This man made a critical error. Oh boy. Oh. You can see he's angry too. Look at this. That freeze, that weight. The weight of rage. The moment of hesitation. Of I hope nobody saw that, but it was totally recorded. Out of bullets. What will you do now? Now that you're out of bullets. Alright, use... Use that as cover, I guess. You have no bullets, you can't shoot that. <laughs> I almost feel bad. Oh, I almost feel bad. To the weight be the Actually, you might be right, the weight might be the load screen. This sitting at the death, though. That's that's that man dying for real. That's that's him dying in real life after he died in the video game. That's what that is. Alright, let's go look at the next one. Oh my god, there's so many of these, dude. What's your most deaths in, deaths in a raid? Minus 14. I think four? Might have been four on one of them so far? I played a lot in closed beta, man. Like, I'm wa we're watching people go through my dungeon right now. Oh, this was cool. Guy's checking the area out. He's playing it easy. He's like, wait a minute. What is that? That room is bullshit. I'm leaving. That's... <laughs> Immediately just nope. I don't think so. He's like, I don't know, I don't think I don't think that's happening. They always go up. Good, smart, smart move. Very smart grenade. Did you see that grenade? Was was good. It was a good grenade. There was an attempt, right? Should put a trap on the roof? I might. A second grenade, good. They're starting to learn the grenades are the way. Because they are. He probably should have used that to kill the, the slew of enemies in the in the floor there. How does that happen? You do all of that, then you hook shot into the cube. Into the cube. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. It's so good. No, grenades don't get killed by the corrosive cube. Alright, we washed them all. Pretty good. Alright, let's go let's go to our dungeon. We're gonna go check. We're gonna go see what it feels like. It's quite funny. Yay cube indeed, dude. Mm. Oh, remember that one? Funny. Look at all of these delicious items. I think that was it. I don't think anyone got past that point, man. They even gotten into room two. Free stuff. Alright, so... Let's look at the prestige here. Accolades and kills. We've got brutal on that. Prestige your outpost to reactivate it. Refill the jammat pool and kill more raiders. So, we can definitely prestige this. We have 90 of 85 prestige points, but here's what I want to do. I am going to overdrive it. And the reason why is because I have enough points to prestige. Because it says prestige your outpost to reactivate it, refill the jammat pool, and kill more raiders. So we're definitely going to overdrive this now. Because we have enough to refill the entire jammat pool. 
So now it's time to go, 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 go. When you don't have enough to re- like, to do the prestige, then it's time to not do that, right? Let's go upgrade the Chimera. Those Gotta do who it. ran this facility have no yes. Someday the genetic sequence will be complete. Someday we will give you enough fish food where you can fully reform your body and not look like... Well, that. Whatever, whatever that is. Very grim looking. Deeply upsetting. Even looking at you makes me sad. A crazy Hello. idea, but maybe our science experiment shouldn't be calling the shots. Oh, I need magnetic links. I need that very badly. Magnetic link is so good. What's the lore of this game? The world is destroyed. You are not alone, and custard. you have to feed genetic material to this thing to, like, create a cure for the virus that killed everybody. That's pretty much it. If there's a problem with your weapons, it's the bloody machine's fault. And it's fun. It's a fun game, right? Hardly anything left to mine on this rock. Soon you'll be tossing tin cans at raiders. That'll give us four bullets, which would be amazing. Actually, can I upgrade the sword yet? No, I can't. Okay. Well, let's head back out there. What are we going to break this time? I think I should probably do this. Read outpost on the map to unlock the champion outpost. Cool. You hate the chocolate milk, Ed? It's stupid? Chocolate milk is never stupid. It's never stupid. Rude. You ever just... You ever just regret? You ever do that before in your life? You ever just be full of regret? And immediately lose two of your bullets? To the beginning of a dungeon? Because the dungeon master is exactly like you are and a complete and total and utter goblin? You ever do that? Well, it can't be that long, so... We're just gonna let that do whatever it's gonna do, you know? Have you not seen the Twitch chocolate milk ad? No. I'm gonna be honest with you, nobody that I watch on Twitch has accepted the ad incentive program, so I don't get a lot of ads. I will rage against the dying of the night. I'm sorry? Why are you sorry, Opus Meg? Think of the hundred bits. I'm just, you know, I'm just out here with one bullet, slicing stuff with a sword. It's cool. Oh. I can already tell I don't like this room. It's already one of those rooms I'm not gonna like, you know? It's, al it's already one of the rooms I'm really not just... What? What are you doing to yourself? Why? Those are the things that just hook over and over and over again. But this is going to be funny. I killed a lot of guards. So let's think about this. I don't really have to worry about any of that. That was a little bit weird. That was a little bit weird. I was trying to go forward and it wouldn't let me go forward. Not this time. Not like that. Alright, we're not going to lose our, our bullets this time. Which is fine. We 
got the one kill out of him, but that's all he's gonna get. That's all he's gonna get. Gonna make the defenses backfire there, so I get a lot of bonus XP. And I'm gonna make those ones backfire as well, getting a lot more bonus XP. What's with the box hearing guy? He tells you, he basically shows you where the, uh, the stuff is going to be, right? Where it is that you have to go. You can just kill him, right? Hello. Easy free XP on that one. That's fine. So there's no easy way to do what I'm trying to do in this room. Because it's just gross, right? Like, it's just a lot of, lot of grossness there that I can see. And it looks like... And I might be wrong... It looks like there's going to be a thing right there. How did that one hook me? Okay. So, the thing about grabbers is they move at angles, like 45 degree angles. So, after it locks onto you, it waits a second and then it shoots in a direction, right? And that's exactly what it did. Grabbers are incredibly strong. Like, really, really good. What even happened? I got hooked by the grabber, and it pulled me into the wall. Yeah, it's a really good kill room. I like that. I'm pretty impressed, to be honest. With you. I like the design, because the design is annoying. It's like a really, really annoying design. Annoying design's kind of like... Are fun to me, right? Yeah, grabbers gave you an idea. They should. They're good. I only have one grenade left, which is into the pit. Gonna make that trap backfire there. Still getting a lot of XP and parts and everything from doing this. So it's pretty good. I know I could beat this. How do you dodge grabbers? You kind of don't. That's the biggest problem.
Alright, good. They're all dead. So now what I have to do is the really annoying thing. In order to dismantle this room, I have to do this. Slowly but surely. One bit at a time. And eventually, after doing that enough times... I should be able to get through this room. It is just a slow and really deeply annoying process. My double jump didn't work, because apparently it didn't work off that wall. That's obnoxious. I was hooked to the wall, and the double jump just decided I'm not reloaded. No double jump for you. Yeah, well, one slip-up will kill you. I won't let this dungeon beat me, though. That's not going to happen. We have to beat it. There's no way around that. I'm not going to allow it to win. Not now, not ever. I will never back down from a dungeon. It's never, ever going to happen. And I'll slowly just get better and better at beating it. That was not the way to do that. I forgot about the hook. The hooks, man. The hooks every time. Three deaths. You can craft grenades at the hub sanctuary place. I'm aware. I played 400 hours in the closed beta. <laughs> Unfortunately, I used all of my grenades during this run. But now that I know the dungeon, I don't need grenades anymore. Thank you, though. Can you explain the backfire EXP? Is it from friendly fire? Yes. Yes, it is. Thank you for the tier 1 subs. Very nice of you. Yeah, so if you can get the, the traps themselves to kill each other, you get bonus XP. 400 hours in the closed beta. Opus Mag. So what you do is you get the traps to do this, and they blow up. But you seeing I'm only getting 3 XP now? It's because I died too many times. So I'm not getting a whole lot. Where'd you get all those hours? By playing the game? Because I wouldn't put it down? I didn't put the game down the entire time. Like, I, I literally played it every day. Every day that the closed base was out. It was for a while. Alright, let's go. That was not the button. Goodbye. This is quite funny. You'd never have the patience for this? I have a thing, Felix. It's incredibly powerful. It's called spite. I don't give up because I won't let it beat me. That's it. That's all it is. And each time I run it, I just get a little bit faster. And a little bit better. Until eventually, it has nothing left. Where's my bullet? There it is. So you can hit kind of on the corner like this. And then you can pick it up farther away. Yeah. If this was your dungeon, how would you improve the guard setup? Um, I would probably put a ramp on this side so that there was a ramp for each one of those guys so they were constantly shooting. And I wouldn't put six of them or I'd put three there. And I would probably put one there and one there. And I'd probably put, like, two more in the back over there, so that they were always able to see. 
I think it's the biggest problem. It's like the those guys' placement isn't very good. It also leads, because it's got a flat top instead of an angled top, it leads to you being able to use grenades. You can't use grenades when it's a flat, like when it's an angled top. Also, because there's these pools right here, these, these death cubes, if you had a ramp there, the corpse would fall into that. Which means you wouldn't be able to fight it with your, your bolt shooter. Because they'd fall off, right? Which is not really what you want. I miss that. I suck. I almost did that again. Almost died the exact same way. You know what I might just do? No, I think this is going to be the safe way to do this. I was spamming the shift button and it went click and then waited a while and then hook shot it away. Did they change the timing on the hook shot between closed beta and open beta? Mm. I think they may have actually changed the hook shot. Because watch this. I think I'm just going to do that. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do the, the weird Spider-Man thing. This guy's going to be weirded out by the replay? Well, I can't let him win, dude. We can't let him win. That is the biggest thing. I'm gonna try the... I'm gonna try the Spider-Man thing. The thing is, is those grabbers are just immensely powerful. They're so annoying. Three. Four. Five. Six. I guess he's got nine. Ten. I guess he had ten. There's ten dudes up here. Jesus. It's so unnecessary. It looks like one of them actually killed one of those grabbers this time. It's quite funny. How did that grab me all the way down? Did you see that? That's what I'm saying, dude. Grabbers are bullshit, actually. Look how far it grabbed me. It grabbed me all the way through the wall, all the way through the floor down there. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, dude. So I think... I'm gonna cheese that room. I'm over it. We're cheesing it.
So many bombs. Dude. To see how many of those it will actually kill. It looks like it's killing some of them, but not very many. a cheese plan. I think what I want to do those hooks will get me anywhere. So last time we did this I got hooked and pulled over to this side. Right? My guess is these are going to turn into dart traps. That one there, and that one there are the danger ones. So if we kill that one, and we kill that one, I might be safe. Nope. It was the second one. So next time we do this, I'm going to kill the two second ones, because those ones can catch me, and I don't think the other ones can. I think that's what it is, is we can cheese by doing that. What's safe to you? It's not really safe. It's just like... We just have to determine where the gap is in that defense. And I think the real gap in that defense is, is literally that, that hook. The problem is, is I, I don't use, I didn't use hooks a lot, ever. So because of that, I don't know the best way to defeat those. But to be real with you, it makes me want to use them a lot more. Because they're brutal. Like, I didn't realize how brutal those actually are. But they're brutal, and I like that. So I'm probably going to start using those in my dungeons. But I'm definitely not, not giving up on the dungeon. Ever. That is not a thing you do. Giving up on the dungeon means the dungeon master wins. I can get a bunch of deaths. I don't care about that. I care about beating the dungeon. Interesting. And this isn't giving me a lot of XP, because I've died so many times, but I'm still getting parts. Like, that still gave me parts in Synthite, so I'm happy with that.
All right. So I think I got grabbed by that one there. That one can't grab us because it's too close. That one can't because it's too far away. I think those are the two danger ones, right? Right? You know what I mean? And I guess for good measure, I can destroy that there, just in case. It's like one of those maybe ones. I do believe we've solved it. Do believe we've solved it. That being said, now I have to get back out. Which is... Not the best. Yeah. So... Eat it! Eat it, you big bitch! Alright. We're heading out. All right, all right, all right. We're doing it, we're doing it. All right. Did he put any bullshit out here? Is there any more bullshit? I don't think there is. It's true. It's true, Ziazi. You only have to beat them once. They have to win every time. I will win eventually. There's no way around that. It will eventually happen. Seven deaths. That sucks. That's probably the highest I've had so, lot, so far. Got a lot of XP though. Worth. Seven deaths. Ugh. Good dungeon. Kills another. This is how we save the world. One death at a time. They collected the gen mat? Nobody collected it up until I did... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. How's the game jam evaluation going? Good. I've got about 75% of them finished so far. Okay. This guy gets in and out with no deaths? Yeah. He is doing it slow and steady. fix this weakness. We're gonna fix this weakness. Almost got him there. fix this problem in this kill room. No, we won't fix it with more fire. But we will fix it. Kind of reminds me of Doom. It's because it is. It's like Doom and, Me and uh, Mario Maker at the same time. This guy is correctly dismantling the dungeon. The whole thing, the whole issue, was actually that first room. That first room we have to fix. That's the biggest problem here.
Let's wait to see how he actually does the final room. Because I think that's the thing that I'm most interested in now. The name is the player, yeah. that whole thing. Smart. This guy's just good. He's just good. What if he's someone that saw me make it earlier? Totally fine, to be honest with you. I think this is great. It's still hard to dismantle one of these things, man. Nice reaction. He didn't see that, either. Really fast reaction time on that. You love to see it. Yeah, dude totally beat it. Really impressed, to be honest with you. So, let's go fix this problem, because we can fix this now. Our grip on the wasteland tightens with each corpse in your outpost. Let's fix this, because I can understand how we have to fix this now. The problem that we have is my shooty guys are walking out of the room. Ooh, we can't fix that part, can we? What if we shift the entire dungeon back? Because that guy was able to beat this by shifting all those guys out. So what if... What if we did this? put this here. We gotta rebuild this entire room, dude. Like this. Put that one there. And then this will go up like this. But like there? Or one closer. We'll probably do one closer. I think I can fit all this. I might have to make it go up and then go into the skill room. Yeah, the orange boxes are basically lava, yes. Because what I want to do is I want to set up a thing that's like... This. And then there's a block. But that block has to be in line up here. So it needs to be down here. that. So they can't leave. Like that. See that? We need to move it one forward because this platform has to move one forward. And then this one's going to be kind of in the way. I guess that'll work. 
Like this? We are going to be missing out on at least one of these death cubes. You know what I mean? Like that. That's how that has to go. And we can't change that one there, which is super annoying, actually. Ugh. That block sucks. It'll have to be like that. This is not the best room. Not the best room for this at this point. You know what I could probably try to do? Is make this go deeper. Like, what if I just took all... The problem is, is these. These suck, dude. They're the blocks that I can't move. So what if... What if we got rid of that? That cube we can just keep like that. It'll be an oddity in this room. That's fine. We have our dudes come back up on top of here. This area is just going to be like this. There's not really much I can do about that. So it'll sort of be like that. You know what I mean? We can have that like that. So we can have our guys like this. This one I can't turn it into one of the lava blocks. Actually, you know what I can do? So when they shoot him, he can bounce back into that pit back there. And we can do the exact same thing here. That should work. So now this... If they go to shoot, will cause those guys to fly back into the pit back there, or this way will cause them to fly into that pit there. So that should be a little bit better than our current design. stayed on the ceiling there. Put that there. Should be here, actually. Actually, 
actually not even close to going over right now. So I think that's probably good. I still need to add all the traps back to these. That's going to be the next bit. And we can add all the tramps down here as well. This is starting to look correct. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're getting a better design here. This is better. For sure, this is better. Is dropping the paint going to... Stop them from getting their bullet back? Yes, that is exactly it. We want to drop him into the pit because it stops the dude from getting his bullets back. And you don't want him to get their bullets back. Because that could lead to a death really early on. Because they could be like, oh crap, I lost my bullet. And now they can't get past the stuff that comes after it, you know. That's sort of the idea. Trap is here. What's in the way? Was it that? Now we put that down there on the floor. And I think you can make this floor out of something interesting now. The only difference is this cube block there. Which is sort of weird, right? Can you use a hook to pull people into the room? I don't have the hook unlocked yet. But I probably would, to be honest with you. Because the hook is obnoxious. So I feel like that would definitely be the play. But yeah, I don't have it unlocked currently. Shit. That's not what I want. That is a much better dungeon there. I'm pretty happy with that. They can't get out now. The room is much more dangerous. Everything in here looks nice to me. This is going to be a good update to this room, for sure. Those are nice. All right, let's take a look in here and see what we can do with this, this room. Let's get that floor covered up first off, because that is ugly. All right. That's good. So this one is a long shot one, which is good. We've got two of our sniper guys. You know what they actually need? They need the adrenaline augment. That's what I've forgotten here. I forgot the adrenaline augment, because the adrenaline augment is basically attack more faster, basically. It's kind of what it is. Another cook room. And then I think we are out of points. Ooh, we're out of points. So... Can't do both of those. What do I want to put on the back end of this? What do I want to put on the back side of this? Because I have 95 points left. You know what I could do is I could get rid of this. But I feel like that's something I want to have in there. I feel like that's something it would be good to have. 
Trying to think of what I would get rid of. These are probably going to turn into grappling hooks up here, by the way. Can you increase your max points? Yeah, by prestiging it, but I don't want to prestige it until I run out of stuff, right? I run out of gen mat that's in there. When I run out of gen mat, yes. 100%. I'm going to turn that into bolt shot. And then I should be able to fit... Maybe two bolt shotters here? Yeah, okay, there we go. So that should be good there. And we've got, what, 15 points left? I don't think there was anything wrong with this in here at all. I think this is just fine. Can you test your own dungeon? Yeah, you can if you want to. I just don't want to. Because I want to run other people's dungeons, frankly. That is, like, the way. Let's do Slaughterhouse. And I'm going to do it for, like, the floor. Like they've exploded, right? And then we'll do... Oh, can I not put both? What if I did... I guess we can't put both. It's sort of lame. That looks good. We got gratings all over it. starting to like this. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> I'm starting to like this. This is looking good. little bit more brutal. I think that's what this is. We've got a little bit more brutal going on. So I fixed this so these guys can't run out of the room now. We've added a few more traps to this room. This is a little bit better where if they if they want to try and hook shot through, they can. And they enter another extra world of pain when they do. This room in here has two of these guards that are kind of whatever right now. These guys are up here. They're pretty good. What I'll probably end up doing is switching all these guys out for a bunch of melee guys that'll be up here. And I think that'll be nice. This is still set up to be secondary and shoot. Secondary and shoot. Spikes from the ceiling, secondary and shoot. I think that'll be nice. I think it's really good. And that's it. We should be good now. All right. Outpost is saving. And let's exit it. So that is the V2 of that one. Is this the new Orcs Must Die? Pretty much, dude. But yeah, I want to get the hook unlocked. I don't have it unlocked, and it's super devastating. Let's go strengthen the Chimera. I am born virgin, and you have always been good to me, custodian. Yes. All right. What else we got in terms of replays? Hey, somebody failed in it. So that's good. The dude from my chat, Dead by Fleshlight, apparently jumped in. Very cool. It's interesting that you guys can actually target dungeons, so now that you know how it works. That's really interesting, actually. Is there an in-game currency for bu buying building materials, or is it limitless? There's... No, it's... You, you get it from running stuff. Still killed him. Still killed him. This is one of the people who's watching the stream, so he, after seeing me build it, wanted to go and run it. Cooked. Deeply cooked. He actually gets it on this one, by the way. 
which I think is quite good. Nice. Not bad at all. A man's out here speedrunning, dude. Very good. Not bad. Not bad. Good run. Still got two kills. Fine with it. You are my champion, custodian. All right, I let's go look at the dungeon hope. real fast, and we're gonna go pull stuff out of it. Think they'll add doors or bosses? I don't know. They said that they wanted to keep adding stuff, so like, we have no idea, right? How do you stop that? You don't. You don't. You have to set up more ingenious stuff. Probably hooks is most likely what I would end up doing. I probably set up hooks. This is a good one for this. So this is kind of a slow down room, right? Um, what I could do is I could probably put one of these cubes here, and these are going to have splatter. When they have splatter, he can't hook shot through them anymore. So that'll be something that I set up. The splatter will stop that from being a thing. I'll probably set one up in the middle of this room, right here. And that'll be another splatter cube. So right there will probably be one of those. Yeah, splatter cubes are going to be the next big upgrade. That's what I have to get next. Splatter is a big deal. Can't hook shot through that. The demo is... It's, it, this is on uh, on Steam. And it's called Meet Your Maker. And it is free because there's a, an open beta right now. So you can go play it. Piston hallway for speedrunners. Pistons are pretty good. The problem is, is they just always die. They never really kill anyone, right? They slow you down, which is useful. So I think that's probably a good idea. Yeah, no registration, nothing, man. You just go play. Open beta, open. Fully open. Yeah, maybe pistons would work. We I might do pistons. With the sanctuaries we now fight. Because we could do a piston. Yeah, we might do a piston. That is actually a really good idea. I don't have enough points to do both. Splatter cube. Oh. Splatter cube is so good, though, man. The splatter cube is so good. Hollow for the surprise ending? No, we're going to do splatter cube. I'm going to do splatter cube. Splatter cube is freaking amazing. Splatter cube is hilarious because they don't expect it. That's the biggest thing. Fight, they never expect the splatter cube. They're like, oh, I'm going to go right through it. And then they go to hookshot through it, and they dead. Funny. Very funny. I love the splatter cube for that reason. It is really hilarious to me. I do. I go above the monologuing the evil plans. It's true. So this one, splatter. Now we have exactly 4,500, so I need to... Find a way to get rid of some more points, I think. How are we going to get rid of some more? Just going to get rid of that. Then we're going to come back here, and we're going to say splatter cube. And splatter cube. And then we'll come out here, and we'll make this a splatter cube. And we'll make this one a splatter cube. And we'll make this one a splatter cube. Now, the reason I'm doing all these ones with Splatter is if they get shot, if those guys shoot, actually... I don't think they can shoot. I don't think they can. Because this new design... Shid. Think about this. It's this. This is screwing it up. Have you taken all the random blocks, placed off the map? Oh yeah, absolutely. That stuff sucked, dude. All the random blocks are just dumb and everywhere. So I think what I'll end up doing is maybe... Simplify this here. Not yet. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Oh, 
at capacity. Okay, not yet. All right. This should be a better kill room. Now, the other thing that I would probably end up doing is most likely setting up, like, closing off this room and setting up as pistons. So they can't just leap through that room. Maybe move the cubes in one. No, I think these cubes are fine. Actually, you know what I could do? Get rid of splatter on that cube, because it's not necessary. And then we can have a cube here. And put splatter on it. That should be good. And then this actually doesn't need overshot. Actually, you know what? I don't want a cube here because I want them to have overshot. Yeah, we're going to get rid of that. Because this thing has overshot. Perfect. With that thing having overshot, now we're actually way better than having cubes there. Like, way, way better. Because this overshot is going to shoot all the way down this hallway. Which is going to be great. And they can't hookshot through this, so they have to go around. And that act of going around is going to give these guys more of a chance to hit them. The next thing I would be doing is getting the augment for uh, adrenaline on those guards so they fire faster. I have no idea what any of this does. These are incinerator traps that shoot off a big fire. These are spike traps. These guys shoot bullets. These kill things when you touch it, right? It's like lava or acid. Um, this is a bolt trap. It shoots, like, spears that go super far. Yeah. Remove safe spot to land when they collect the main item at the end. Splatter cube. I could put splatter cubes underneath those. We could put them under here. Is that what you're saying? That's a good idea. The problem is I'm at 4,500 capacity, right? I think what I'll probably end up doing for now is just leaving it like this until we get more points. When I prestige, I will add that. 100%. I think that's going to be the prestige bonus, is making that end piece more annoying. When I went for lunch, did anyone beat the base yet? Yeah, two people did, actually. It was pretty good, too. And now I've upgraded it. See, this is the whole point of the gameplay loop for somebody who wants to do the dungeon building side like more than anything else, is you watch people play it, and then they get better at it, right? So this guy died twice, and he didn't get the flag. So let's go look at this. Let's see what he did. Can you have multiple bases? Yeah, you can have a whole bunch of them. Farming all at the same time. Yeah, this guy rage quit. Let's go watch him rage quit. Okay. You can, in fact, hook, sh hook shot the ground. That's true. So this is before we did splatters. Before we did the splatter effect. Third time they're challenging the same map. It looks like it. I think he's doing the old version. Yeah, he's doing the old version. I'm gonna skip to the next guy. So he made it into this room now. And then dies to that. Alright. Yeah, I wanna- I wanna see people do the new one. You know? Can I attempt this just by searching your name? I don't know. I don't know how to do that. To be honest with you, we didn't have that before in the closed beta where you can just, like, choose a dude's thing. So maybe? But I'm not really sure. Let's go to... Luddington. Maybe Luddington? So. What do you lose gain if you succeed, fail your course? So if they die in my, my dungeon, I get points. If they win in my dungeon, I have it overdrive right now, which means I lose gen mat, which is like the health bar for the dungeon. What I'm trying to do is wait for the dungeon to be completely health barless, and then we're going to prestige it. Prestiging it allows me to get uh, more build points on the dungeon and resets it to level 2. Af after a certain amount of prestiges, you can't prestige it anymore, so I wait, right? Rude. You see that? You see that? Who, who is rude like that? Who does that? How rude? How rude do you have to be to do such a thing? Right in the beginning. Out of like a fourth corner. Like that, you know? Look. Look at this guy. That is disgusting. I love that. 
Oh, I look at that. Look how bullshit that is. I love that. This guy's all about it, too. He's like, I found out you could attack through fourths. So my whole dungeon is attacking through fourths. I thought you should know. My entire dungeon is attacking you through quarters and fourths, dude. Or quarters and, and halves, rather. Is there something on the other side of that? Cool. Don't like that. Look at this. His whole damn dungeon is doing this. All of it. That's why I need the, the melee upgrade. I tried to hit it again, but it hadn't reloaded yet. If I had the melee upgrade, it would have hit it. This guy's good. I like this dungeon. I like this dungeon a lot, actually. It's all kinds of cheeky, it's all kinds of bullshit. There's so many different little angles like this. I'm loving this, man. It's always cool because you never know what kind of player is going to build these things, right? Like, all the dungeons are so different. They're so, so different. And that makes it really fun. Good. Jesus Christ, dude. He's got a trap for every trap, and I love that. Oh, there's gonna be another one of these things, isn't there? Yeah, backfire. Nice. Double defense backfire. Bonus XP. Feels good. No. I don't think I will. This dude's got traps everywhere that I'm not expecting. This? This is great, dude. Like, look at- look at how ridiculous that is, man. I don't even think I can get in there. I can't even get in there. Oh, I can hookshot into it. Interesting. What- what mad- What madman does this? Who does that? You can't even crouch. There's no crouching. There's hook shots. No. Not my birthday. No. No sevens. No. Why would you do this? That man just run away! What? Don't you sevens. Don't you dare sevens. How dare you. Alright, the defense is backfired. This is good. Oh, shit. Come on, bud. Just come on. Come on over here. I missed. I missed a bed.
God, there's so many of them, dude. We got a problem. Got one of my bullets back. What? What is that? Why is there another flying guy? Oh my god, dude. He shot his armor off. Got a bullet. All right, killed that one. Oh my god, dude. No! Why didn't it swing him, dude? How did the sword not do it? Did you see that? How close do you have to be for the sword to actually hit? All these are player-made levels, dude. Everything you see in this game is player-made. I don't understand how that one didn't work. I actually, I'm deeply upset about that one. I feel like I got robbed. What made you this way? Who made you this way? How many of those did you eat? Little hand. How many- how many would you say that you just ate? Alright, I've got- All of my bullets right now. Events backfiring is good. Did I, though? <laughs> Who made you this way? I guarantee it wasn't me. No. I'm meeting it. Currently. I'm actively meeting my maker. Some guard that is, right? Like, look at him. We're just gonna wait. Jesus Christ. Oh my god.
Jesus Christ, dude. They're trying to shoot me through the ceiling. They're trying to shoot me. Order C? It's my grenades that I don't have any left. Don't worry about it. I don't have any, so it doesn't matter. It's where I would put my grenades. Oh, I keep forgetting about you. Why you like this? Who made you this way? It wasn't me. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, little ham. You're five memes. Maybe even six. <clears throat> Maybe even six. Maybe more. This is actually outrageous. We love a backfire. Does it though? Does it though? Oh! You hate it. You hate to see it. You hate to see all of that. Whatever all that was. So many guards. Well, I got one of my bullets back. Gotta wait. He had armor. Hi. You wanna like you wanna like come over here? I guess not. Where's my bullet? It bounced off him and stuck in the wall. Oh god damn it. Oh god damn it. <laughs> There's so many guards, dude. I need grenades so badly. And I don't have any. Got him. Every time I look, there's more. Every time I look, there's more. Every time I look up there, there's another guard. Dare you. 
There's another one down. I got a bullet. All you need is one. God damn it, he has armor. Oh. Hi. How you doing? You don't have any legs anymore. You can't fly without legs. That's the rules. bullets. I feel like I should have another bullet. Where's my bullet? Son of a bitch. There's so many of these. There's so many little guard men. I hate little guard men. Oh, he's all the way over there. Okay, I gotta wait. I gotta wait. I'm gonna wait for him. I'm wait for him to do whatever it is he's doing. Going away. I feel like my bullets are missing. Oh my god. How many of you exist in this hellish torment? Who builds a room like this? Thor hates little ham. I don't hate little ham. I don't hate little ham. Is there a campaign or is this just PvP? Every dungeon is made by a player. That's the way that it works. Okay, I got two blinkies. Where's my third blinky? Did I forget it? I did. I did. I had to kill Brian. Where's my third bullet? Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Where's my third? Where my third bullet is. Hey. How dare you. Sevens are neither anonymous, nor need support. Around the corner? Oh, it's around the left corner there? Is that what it is? I think we only have two left. It's all the way over there. I see. I see. All right. All right. We did it. Now I just have to not die to whatever the hell else is in here. Of which there is many, many things, you know. Just take it slow and steady. Slow and steady. Yes. Is there something you can do? Oh, yeah? Yeah? Hmm. 
Is there something you need? You smell. You smell heated churros. How dare you? Look at this. The cheeky bastard put this at the end. Look at him. Look at how rude that is. Oh, they're everywhere. It didn't let up at all. Good. Good. It'll feel so much better when the dungeon is mine at the end. When I absorb all of its XP and cackle to myself having defeated his dungeon. I'm not even going to do that one. I'm not even going to risk it. I might have some other weird bullshit in here. Look at this! All right, all right. We're doing it. All right. You can see, like, the life force draining out of the dungeon, though. Fun. Very fun. Oh, what a dungeon, dude. What a dungeon, dude. I liked that. That was enjoyable. Died three times. Worth it. Percolator, thank you for the 100 bits. It's very nice of you. Yeah, this new Minecraft update is pretty insane, I have to say. I would agree with that. Yeah, dungeon design for D&D. &D. Oh, I got bronze 1 plus 130, so I guess we now can start gaining rank, right? Which I don't know how the rank system works Blood just yet. spills in your outpost, oh. custodian. And through it, you sustain us. One death, and then gives up. Let's go see what his death was like. I could get Brian to always read seven as a bad word, which would be funny. So this guy is on the non-splatter version. That one's a splatter, actually. No, these are the splatter ones. <laughs> he threw a single grenade in. Oh god, it's so obnoxious. You see that on the ground? That's the splatter. My grenade flew past! Or his grenade flew past, he didn't even get it in! Oh, it's so annoying! <laughs> this entrance very much looks like your own dungeon, because it is! This is my dungeon, and we're watching someone die in it and then rage quit. Very funny. He died once and then stopped. Worth. Other sanctuaries want yes. I am grateful for advice. Eat it. Eat the bits, the of these contributions. We're feeding our fish, guys. We're gonna feed the fish. One moment. Feeding the fish. You're a seven, dude. You're five sevens. Look at this. Perhaps you need to hook them into trying more times? No. This is way funnier. To me, this is the funniest thing it could be. I like having just a big, brutal challenge in the beginning. What is that thing? Um... It's my fish. Don't... Look, he's saying hi. She... It's kind of cool, right? It's a rare... It's very rare, that fish. That's what it is. Let's make a lot more grenades. Let's just... Let's just make, like, 50 grenades so I never run out again. Ever in my life. There we go. 
This uh, sanctuary guards is advisor. Let's benefit. see what we can do with this. It's unlikely someone would risk heavy losses to take us on. Why you like this? Who made you this way? Now an adrenal converter makes his attack. Oh, that's the enforcer's movement speed. It used to be attack speed too. Did they change that? I think they might have changed that. Because it used to be attack speed as well. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you just need to download the demo, dude. That's it. Could boost the induction generator on your suit, but uh, it would literally cook your brain. So let's not. It's definitely true. It's hundred percent true. You figured it out. However, did you find that out? You're not supposed to know. <gasps> a dev team one. It's a dev team one. I'm gonna do it. It's all about doing the dev team dungeons, dude. That's the way to do it. Taffy Day just gifted a tier one sub to seven 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 seven. How did you even find that there's an account named that? Look how many sevens that is. Look at that. Look at that in chat. That is ridiculous. Why does that exist? Outrageous. Whoa, look at this place, dude. Oh, it's huge. Oh, this is going to be annoying, dude. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so I can hear... Alright, so one of the, the tombs is inside. I wonder if the other one is too. God, this is a really good dungeon though. Look at that in there. What is happening in there? It's got a bunch of computers? Okay. So they made a supercomputer. I dig that. It is kind of parkour, yeah? I'm looking to see if there's any of the tombs anywhere. Because the tombs are really what you want. It's like the most important thing for your progression. In terms of like XP. Because you get 250 for each one. But it looks like they might both be inside. We're not? Wait. Nope. There's one. Mmm. You love to see it. Bunch of Synthite. 250 XP. What? Ads? God, I missed the ads. I missed them, little ham. I'm so sorry. Well, we hadn't started the dungeon yet, so it's fine. Nice Z fighting. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. He had armor, but I didn't even hit him on the first shot. I had to hit him in a headshot in the second one. It's a long dungeon because it took this guy a while to get in. No traps. Guys, where are the traps? Do you think this place just goes into complete overdrive after you pick up the gen mat? This is going to be a phase two dungeon for sure, man. Well, that wasn't a hologram. This has got to be a phase two dungeon, dude. I don't trust it at all. All right, now we've got a little bit of dungeon. That was a homing bullet one. Do you see how it didn't do this angle? It actually went into here. Homing bullets are nasty. 
Homing bullets are really nasty, dude. You can get people caught completely unawares with those because they're like, Oh, it's only gonna go straight! It does not go straight. It curves around corners and all kinds of shit. Just barely, too. Just enough. Or instead of going there, it went all over here because it followed me down the hallway. I think that was a flying guy. Nope. Normal dude. Let's get rid of that cube. That dude's a sniper. See that? He's got the eyes implant thing on him. So they have super long range. Super, super long range on those. the armor. Got his legs. There we go. Where's my other bullet? Where did my other bullet go? Oh, it's in that corpse over there. Alright. This place is nuts. This kind of feels like a quake map, mate. Like, straight up. This is definitely like a quake map. I love this, too. It's a really cool one. It reminds me of, like, old school, like, Quake Arena kind of stuff. You know what I mean? down a level. You see that? Homing. Homing. This guy really likes his homing bolts, dude. Use two bullets on that guy so I gotta go pick him up. Ah, it's not good. It's not good at all. One of the bullets is there. Oh shit. What? 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 Look at that dude. Sniper extraordinaire, man.
All right. All right. Just get close to me. Do it. This is pretty good, man. I like this dungeon. It feels like you're inside of a computer. And it feels good. Like, it's a really, really interesting dungeon, for sure. Oh, dude, there's the thing. Now remember... We still have the exit. What did that come out of? Up there. Smart. We still have an exit that we have to do. We don't know what the dungeon's gonna look like on that exit. Did that blow that up and not give me the XP? Oh, that's rude. That's actually rude. It didn't give me the 250 XP. Boo. Boo. That sounds like a bug, like to be honest with you. Where'd my bullet go? I'm missing, oh there it is, okay. So that's interesting. What is... I'm wondering what this one is doing. I'm wondering what this one is doing. That's a weird... bolt shot there. a hologram. Well, I'm starting to see red light. Are we close? Ooh. Uh Hey there, bud. You wanna You wanna do something with all that anger? Well bye, I guess. <laughs> Where did he go, dude? Sir? Alright, there we are. Damn it, I missed. Now I gotta wait for him to come back again. Alright. Two of those are dead now. For an open beta, it does look really good and fun. Dude, they've they've come a ways since the closed beta, and the closed beta was already really, really engaging. Really? There was, an a, there was a weakness to this entire dungeon the entire time. You see this? There was a weakness to the dungeon. And I didn't even see it. God damn it. I'm almost mad. That's on me. I should have investigated more. I 100% should have investigated more. 
Wait a minute. Eep. Probably because the creator could not clear it like that. No. Uh, you don't have to clear it in order for it to go up there. You don't have to clear it at all. That's not a thing. Doing some pen testing, I see? I know, right, a bat? Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's weird that the devs left the back door. I wonder if that was just a just a mistake, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to clear it. They they just left it in for some reason. I don't I don't know why. This kinda is what it is. You just publish the thing, right? Do I have enough points? I don't have enough points. Ugh. Need more stuff. Alright, let's think. What do we need? We can do that one. Hello, Lucy. That one has a chance to give us two levels, so I'm going to do this one. You can public impossible dungeons? No. The dungeon has to allow the little guy, the little one that walks, to get from the beginning of the dungeon to the end of the dungeon, and that's it. If he has a path, then you're good to go. If the robot doesn't have a path, then you can't publish it. See how that robot's walking around the corner over there? That little guy has to have a path to the end of the dungeon. And if he doesn't, the dungeon's no bueno. Now this looks like it might be a common mistake. Something that a lot of people don't realize is you can hookshot through those. And I'm wondering if that's one of his last rooms and I can just hookshot through the floor without dying. But I'm going to check the whole area first to see if there's any of the, uh, the tombs. We got to get the tombs. That's the biggest thing. Good XP. Oh. There it is. There's one of them. Always check for the tombs, dude. How do you get to the replays? You've got a little console to the left of your uh, entrance. That's cool. He's got kind of like architecture out there. All right. I'm going to try and do this the normal way first, and then we're going to see if we can't cheese through the floor there. What? All right. How did that guy die? Yeah, I want to see how many of these floors we can kill. Another one. Oh, hell yes. However, I want you to look with me. There's that. But there's also that. Hell yeah. How did you meet your maker? Dude, I love this game. I love this game so much. And I love it because it rewards, like, good skill, right? It rewards skill, 100%. What was I just looking at? What is that room, dude? Okay, you're dead. Miss him? I think I missed him. K. 
Okay, those are spike traps. Probably not what I would use there. That's annoying. Fun fact about those, you can you can just do that. You know, you just <laughs> As long as you're hook shotting, you can do it. But I'd like to do the dungeon the way that the guy intended. But he's gotta put platforms underneath that. If he doesn't put platforms underneath that, I get all my bullets back. You know? Oh, this room's gross. This is a gross room. Full of gross. So let's think about this. Is that gen mat on the other side of the glass? Got him. All right. I think what I have to do is just kind of run past, pick up the gen mat and then shoot through the floor like a goblin. You know what I mean? Oh, it got me anyway. Oh, it got me anyway. I tried to grip. Didn't do it fast enough. However, now we have the weakness. The weakness of the dungeon is actually pretty interesting. So, as you can see here... Oh, wait, there's a third. You love getting a third. Holy crap. We love a third. See this? This is the last room. So this is our ticket. That's not the way I wanted to do that. Let's try that again. Thing. Kind of a thing. And we're out. Always put blocks under your acid blocks. Always. Always put blocks under your acid blocks. If you don't, I do that to you. Always, always, always. Two acid blocks will do it. Uh, the other way you can do it is do an acid block and a single block underneath. And the reason why is because two acid blocks cost 20, while an acid block and a single block costs 11. Which is, you, you gotta be efficient about it. Left two animal behind? Yeah. For the next guy, right? Who needs it? Feels good. Feels good. Stinky? No. Efficient. Nobody's doing my spooky dungeon. Just come do my spooky dungeon a little bit. Just a little bit. They who control the cure Boop. careless. Force the hand of nature. Yeah. More points. We love points. Juice them. Juice them. Yes. Follow the juice. Glorious. Do you have early access? No, this is open beta. You can go play it right now. 
Can you cancel the hookshot mid traversal? I think you can. I don't remember There's if you no can. There's no point, Mulling. Right. It's nice not having to worry about cannibals anymore. Trust me on that one. I mean, we do juice you every time I come home, so I don't know if it's better or worse than having a cannibal. I need the upgrade to Fury's Edge. Increases swing speed by 0.1 seconds is like a very big deal. Like way more of a big deal than you would think. It is dramatically huge. Because <clears throat> that causes it to reset faster. You are created too. to protect this sanctuary. You'll be back. Clones need a steady dose, Jen. But also the magnetic Splash. link is a big deal. No problem. You think if you jump it cancels the hook? It might. That might be true. I'm not really sure. Uh, let's see here. What if we did... Let's see what we got here. I want to choose... I think I'm going to choose this one. I think I'm going to do that one. How long is it free to play? I don't know, as long as this open beta is. I love the hell out of this game, dude. Like, when it was in closed beta, I played the living hell out of it. Oh, look! Bombs. My favorite. We love bombs, dude. We love a bomb, dude. You got more bombs? Sir, I would like to buy additional bombs. <clears throat> These bombs were er erroneously not delivered to me. I'm a little upset about it. Okay. We have some interesting bombs. We have a very strange usage of a plasma sphere. We have additional bombs. Oh. We hate plasmospheres. In this house, we hate a plasmosphere. Is that... Is that the room? Look at that. Who does this? Who does that? A gremlin, that's who. An absolute, complete and total goblin. Is that it? Oh! I want it! I want it. Wait. It's mine. No bombs for you. That's just gross. That's just... That's just gross. That's just gross. I hate plasma spheres. Deeply disgusting things. When you put them in tight quarters like this, they're not super useful, is the thing. Uh, you really have to put them in big, big open rooms. The secret thing is over there, but we can't reach it. Jesus. Thank you. I failed that shot and almost died. I know, right? Brilliant aim, right? Brilliant aim. You ever just, like, not have your brain on when you're playing a video game? You ever do that in your life? Because that's basically 100% me right now. I thought that was going to shoot spears at me. That was a spike tra Spike traps, um... Don't shoot. Surprise! I can't do anything. It's a weird surprise. Is 
Surprise, it's nothing. Dude, I keep hearing the, like, the bonus things, and I gotta say, I have to go get the bonus thing. I can't leave this place with this many bonus things around. They're down here, I know they are. Yeah! Oh! Bonus thing. So we're gonna see what the requirement of minimum defenses actually is. Uh... It just kind of says, like, once you add a trap, I think is minimum defenses. That might be it. It's like a certain number of traps, or like, a trap. I don't remember which. Nice. That's the second one. I think there was a third. It might have only been two. Yeah, I'm not hearing another. Time to go. Fun. Yes. Absorb it, become level 10. Feed the fish. I love feeding the fish. I don't understand what these, like, white shinies are in this. I think they probably did the shine layer incorrectly. It's probably a bug. That sucks. It doesn't cage, suck. That's normal. If you are playing a game before the actual get release date, you get owned, right? You're not supposed to do that. So, like, no, I don't. I don't think that's weird at all. I think it's completely normal. That's why I'm very careful about that. Is I only play it after the release date is officially there. And if you're in Australia, it's actually the seventh. So then it's fine. New replay? I don't know if there is. Let me go look. Was there a new replay? No, no new replay. <gasps> Another dev dungeon. Another dev dungeon. People are allowed to play in early access, so they get more time to create content, but not allowed to release them stream. That is correct. Yes. Some people were, were getting physical copies early, and then they were playing those, and then releasing video of that physical copy early. Which is not what you're supposed to do. And then they got that their post remove on 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 Twitter, right? So you don't you don't do that. Like it's it's part of the embargo system. That's pretty normal. Hey. Like I wasn't allowed to stream the closed beta of this game because it had an embargo on the closed beta. Normal, normal stuff. Nothing about that's weird. You thought the game was already out? It's not out here. It is out in Australia. It is out in New Zealand. But here in the United States, it won't be out until. 24 hours from now. About more like 16 hours from now, 18 hours from now. So here's the real question I have. If you were watching um, Excessive Profanity play it, is he enjoying it? Easy any cheats having a problem for you? That's weird. No issues for me. I hear the machine. Where is it? Ah, there it is. There's another 250 XP. Forsaken Tomb. Alright. That's two of them. Now let's take a look at this. Let's see if there's any mistakes. Alright, we've already got some interesting design choice there. Okay. Designed to do exactly what I'm doing right now, that's always good. Let's go around this corner. Really? 
really now? How did he get up here? I guess he climbed. Good to know. I killed a couple more of them. That guy was just bursting with potential, wasn't he? That one's dead. So that is why they had those hooks over there. Or those shots over there. I was wondering why those bolters were there. Didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Sir, you have overstayed your welcome. All right, weird little cube dungeon. Backfired all the defenses there. That was a lot of defenses backfired. You see how much XP I just got? Oh boy. I keep missing that. Okay, he's got armor. And an explosion. Where's my bullet? Okay, there we go. I really can't aim. Thanks. Sometimes I can't, you know. But why? What? Is that going to have bombs in it later? I bet it is. I bet that's going to have bombs. I feel like that's probably going to have bombs. A double shot. I was right. I was right. I called it. I was right. Yeah, no, close call EXP is actually quite a lot of XP. That is true. And we have... That was fun. I dug that. Extracted and stolen. Administered to advisors. Look at all those points, dude. Look at all those points, dude. We love it. We love to see it. Ooh. And a whole bunch of extra points. Nobody's playing my dungeon. Unfortunate. Seek out Bring hope to this world. More. More. Feed it to him. Oh, I'm, I'm like... I'm juicing three of them right now, actually. A triple juicing. Maybe it's four. I might be juicing all of them, actually. Yeah, I juiced them all, dude. Gross. Processing. Oh. All right. Yeah, it's beyond pain. Magnetic link is a really big deal. Humanity's survival 
rests on this project. I think I'm going to do magnetic link. And the reason why is this. I will be able to pick up ammo from 25% farther away, and it's a passive. That is just... It's just, it's delicious, is what it is. You just joined the stream? Thor, I, I juiced them all. Well. Good, good. You're learning, then. You're understanding that I have now juiced them. This is, it's part of the process. The injuicing has begun, don't worry about it. I'm going adventuring, any should we make another dungeon? Ooh. Should we make another dungeon? What do you guys think? What else we got in here? Let's refresh. We're searching for new ones. None of these have 6,000. I'm going to refresh again. Two thousand, forty-five hundred, four thousand. None of these have six thousand. Where's the six thousand? Give me a six thousand. Yeah, you can have a couple of them running at the same time. I don't know how many they allow in the open beta. In the closed beta, it was it was like a limited amount. There's a four thousand. I guess that's going to be the best one we get. So I got to go run another dungeon. Let's go. Oh, that won't even get us full level. That won't get us a full level. That one will. That one will. Almost. Actually, that one almost gets a full level. Let's do that. I skipped the 4.5k ones. Yeah, I mean... I kind of want one that's that's got 6,000, like my current one. 4.5k is sort of... Uh, you know what I mean? You can have 5 active, is that what it is? Ah, oh, goddammit. Give me all the bits. I heard another one, too. So there's a bonus 500 experience right off the bat. That's something to think about when you want to run these. You also get a bunch of Synthite out of those. I think every time they, they drop, like, 45. So you just get, like, a bonus 90 Synthite if you go and find those two things. Should make a super long and annoying phase two dungeon? I don't want to be a dick. It's got to be fun, right? Yeah, I'm raiding right now. I'm raiding. I didn't buy another uh, dungeon because they didn't have enough synthite. All right. Well, off we go. What do you got for me, bud? Ooh, that 25% range bonus is already kicking. I'm already loving it. to see it. You hate his weird little breathing. You know what he is? He sounds like a pug. That's what they sound like. Sounds like a pug, dude. That like, like weird, straining to live, should never have been made by humanity sound that pugs make. It's exactly what it is too true? It is. It's 100% true. Hugs should not exist. They're amazing. They're the best. But they shouldn't exist. They're the cutest animals. But also, humanity made a mistake in building them. We shouldn't have done that. It's like making a dog as a joke, dude. It's not good.
A pet fellow pug guilter? Dude, I love pugs, but also, like, why did we make that? Like, what's what's wrong with us? We were like, what if we... What if we bred it to be broken? Where it can't breathe? And it makes a horrible noise. In fact, all of living for it is torment. And what if, what if we did that as a joke? We, ma we made an entire creature as a joke, right? Humanity. That's... <laughs> That's what pugs are, dude. And it's grim. Oh, it's so grim. We did. What do we expect by crushing its nose? I don't know. It's so weird, right? I love them, though. They're amazing little dogs. They're super cute. But also, stop it. Don't ever do that again. There was something I saw that was really interesting. There's a, um, a group of people that are rebreeding pugs to make it so that they are... Uh, their face is brought out. So it's a pug, but with a face that isn't, like, you know, inverted. Which is where all of its problems come from. So they're rebreeding them until they aren't broken anymore, which I think is cool. That's a, that's a cool thing to do. Unscrewing the problem that we created. And creating healthier animals at the same time. They're made for dog fights? Pugs are not made for dog fights. No. Pugs are made for sitting on your lap and wheezing. They're not a dog fight animal. They, they can't even bite their own face, right? Like, tiny little bite range. Doesn't make sense. It's definitely not for fighting. You shouldn't breed animals for fighting anyway, but also, not the pugs. Not what they're for. Sir? Hello. This dungeon's kind of boring, yeah? Is that it? This isn't, like, an interesting dungeon this time. It's all kind of, like, normal. You know what I mean? Like, the trap placement is just kind of expected, if that makes sense. This room's a little bit interesting. There's, like, nothing in it, right? Yeah, I feel like this guy could have done a lot more with this space. It's sort of just empty. Can you touch these fire cubes for me? No. No. I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna walk out of this dungeon and be like, points. You know, like, probably just points. Is there a way to one can play your dungeon, or do you have to roll for it from all available ones? I think you just have to roll, with it. roll for it. I don't think there's a way to do it any other way, right? Bronze 2, moving up. Yeah, the character design is quite fun. I like the character design. Did anyone die in my dungeon? Self-changing. No, no one died in my dungeon. Let's keep moving on. Oh, it looks like we can do more champion outposts, too. Raid outposts on the map to unlock the champion outposts. So you just keep doing it until you get more. I like that. That's fun. That is fun. Maybe reactivate your dungeon? No, I don't think I need to reactivate it. I mean, it's still active. It's actually overdrived right now. So, is there co-op writing? Yes, there is. You can co-op if you want to. Which I think is fun. Co-op is a lot of... It's, it's honestly a blast, dude. 
It is honestly a blast. Free stuff. But why? But why is it up there? Did he hide it inside the dungeon? I think he might have. Oh yeah, there's the light for it. You can see the light. It must be inside the dungeon. Good for him. Good job creating that. Where's the way in? There we go. Hi. I gotta get that faster aiming, or the faster bullet reload. Alright, we're good. The UI looks pretty clean. Oh, it's super clean, actually. Yeah, I really, really enjoy it. Good! Finally, someone's using the holograms. Oh, I love the holograms. Yeah. Holograms can get really spooky really fast if you do it right. Really spooky really fast. See this? See what's shimmering? Hologram. With nothing behind it. All right. Holograms, but but not like that, right? Holograms, but in the right way. We're gonna wait for this guy to walk over here. We're gonna chop his legs off. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, it's you! Oops. Oh no! Oh, however will I do it? However will I get past this menagerie of traps? It's gonna rip through this dungeon now. That be yet more traps. Could that be yet more traps? Hi. How you doing? That was interesting. I feel like that should have hit him. A little bit of ripping there. Is that going to be the only one in the entire dungeon? I was hoping that he would do more stuff with the holograms. Because the holograms are fun. Is that a hologram? Oh! Not what I expected at all. Interesting little monster on the other side of that. Fun. But for what purpose? Hmm. I feel like... I feel like I'm doing badly at the aiming today. Anyone else think this one's boring? Yeah, this one's kind of rough, dude. This one's not that interesting at all. The last one also wasn't that interesting, to be real. They're just kind of like... It, it all comes down to, like, the design of the of the dungeon creator. So if the... If it's not... If it's not good... If the dungeon creator makes a dungeon that's kind of boring... Then it's kind of boring. And this one's sort of boring, right? It's a little bit boring. And I think it's mostly because it's really... kind of formulaic, where it's really easy to understand where... the next trap is going to be. Which is not... interesting. 
like there should have been something there, right? Yeah, there's no there's no discovery moment in here. There's none of that. You need like oh that kind of thing, right? And there's no there's none of that on any of this so far. This dungeon is just sort of boring. All this stuff, it's like, oh, it's gonna be a thing. Oh no, you know, like that was probably an interesting one there because it was one that was out of sight. But like this one doesn't make any sense. You can see it. You know what I mean? And now it's gonna be the same thing along the entirety of this. The same formulaic location. Like that should have been something there, you know? Boo. There's also no interesting stuff on the walls, so you can cover the walls in all kinds of stuff with this. You can do like moving parts and machinery and like they just didn't do any of it. There's no machinery, there's no anything. There's, this is like the only spot with like anything on the walls. And it's just a little bit of lighting, which is like, okay. Very cool, I guess. The same couple of... Same couple of like traps, the bolt trap and the spike trap. Nothing? Are we... Is this room just empty? Is it just an empty room? Okay. Yeah, that'll get him. The exact same trap in the exact same placement as all the other traps in the entire dungeon. Yeah. I've fooled him now. Man, this guy is definitely fooled. Like 100% fooled right now. I can feel it. very funny. Players are building them. Not all players are great at it. So just count it as free XP. Oh yeah, no, totally. Absolutely. Deleted. More bonus. It's interesting because it actually is still worth rank, right? So like, the rank is still valuable. Let's make sure that our dungeon is still active. It should be. Let me go in and see... Where this guy died, because I think that might be the issue. Yeah, hopefully he learns. He sees what I did and then goes, oh, I don't want to do the same thing. Where did this guy die? Oh, bits. We love bits. Killed by the incinerator there. That's fine. Well, nobody's come in. Actually, you know what I think I want to do? Let's add some decals to this. Let's add... You know what I want? I kind of want some wall stuff. That's what I want. And then we can do... Like a corner thing? Yeah. Actually, no. Do we have a machine? I think I have a machine. Like a computer. I mean, I don't have a computer. There's no computer here. Ugh. Is that old saying, saying of players optimizing the fun out of the game? I don't think so. I don't think that it's players optimizing the fun of the game. You can make ingenious and interesting trap design, which is cool. Or you can make really boring trap design. That one was really boring trap design, and it was also not effective. If you were optimizing the fun out of it, you would make it really ingenious trap design that was incredibly effective or boring trap design that was incredibly effective. That one was not effective. It was just boring and not effective, right? So it really comes down to that. The reason why I'm putting these up in the front is when you go to fight these guys, you have to go to here. If you touch this, this has the splatter bonus on it. If you touch it, it splatters on you, you die instantly. If they shoot it, it splatters on you you die. So, like, these have a purpose being where they are. That is that is part of it. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. I like this. Then we can take... 
Maybe not a decal. Maybe we can do like a like a wall thing. Let's actually do these. That looks fun, right? I like that. That looks more interesting than it was. We get a Thorgen tour? Sure. So we'll check this out. We go inside. Immediately the dungeon has chosen hate. That's what it's chosen. Um, as you can see, this first room is surrounded by flamethrowers. Flamethrowers fire infinitely. You, they start off when you trigger them, and they don't stop. Uh, there's these guys up top, which if you shoot them, they all have these, like, lava things behind them. And the reason they have that is so that when you shoot them, they fall into it, and you don't get your ammo back. Yeah, your ammo's gone forever, which is funny. This one stops you from hooking through it, and if they shoot you through that, it splashes and you die. So, you gotta use grenades in here, that's the way. But, it's designed so that if you throw the grenade wrong, it will fall down here and do nothing, which is deeply funny. Then you make it to the second room, this one tries to shoot you on your way up, so if you try to cheese this, it will try to shoot you. This one will try to shoot you if you try to cheese. But if you can make it into here, you could probably dismantle this pretty easily. But then there's two guys that are there that are trying to fight you. Cook grenades? You can't cook grenades, but you got you can aim them, right? You can aim them properly. This one is set up so that it shoots very far, so the moment you walk up these stairs, it primes. So you have to dodge to the side, and then you die to one of these. So after you get through all of this, if you do, these guys are here. But they move all the way to the top of the stairs at the beginning of the dungeon. And then they stand here. And they shoot you down the stairs. While these are shooting you down the stairs. And I find that super funny. So, it's basically what's happening there. Then, when you pick this up, all of these walls turn into spike trap, spike trap, spike trap, and dart trap, dart trap, dart trap, and then that turns into a dart trap that shoots really far. And that's what it is. So it's a welcome to the dungeon room. And it's exactly at capacity right now, so I can't do anything with it until we prestige it. But I haven't prestiged it yet. And I won't until later. We've got it in overdrive right now. So that seems fine to me. How do you get to replays? So replays, I'll show you is this thing right here, which is currently green. And you hit that, and you can see how it replays. If it's red, it means somebody went into your dungeon. You see only two people have actually succeeded at this. Oh! What was that? Oh, there's, like, stuff in it that I didn't pick up. Yeah, yeah. I could do that. Alphanumeric. The problem is this. I'm at capacity. Top right corner, it says 4,500 there. What that means is I can't put more stuff into it until I prestige it. I don't want to prestige it yet because it resets the health bar of the dungeon. We don't really want to lose that. Where are the... Where's the materials? There's materials in here somewhere. But where? Did they die somewhere weird? I think they might have died somewhere weird. They died in here. Didn't die in my acid cubes. Didn't die in that. Are they died over here? No? It's a little bit weird. Maybe some painted arrows? I can do painted arrows. In fact, actually, let's do this. I kind of like that. That decal there. That's sort of fun. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Warning. Warning. This room will kill you. And now we can do like a... Probably one of those. There we go. 
Like, hey, you should go this way. It's totally not going to be bad for your health. You should just do it. <laughs> that seems fine, right? Oh, actually, what if we did, what if we did this? Now it's nice and clean, right? And then we can take... Maybe there's blood decal? We love to see it, right? That's pretty cool. I like that. Just cover it in decals, man. Yeah, a little bit of bathroom tile, you know? For when they're shitting themselves, which is... What's going to happen in this dungeon, so... Is that actually true? I don't want that to be true, but... But is it? I definitely have an inner voice. Like, 100%. I don't feel like I could function without... Do some of you guys not have an inner voice? Is that a thing? Like, I'm not hating on you, I'm just kind of interested. Sort of want to know, you know what I mean? Alright, this looks cool. I'm digging this. I think this is good. You got the lights here. That's all nice and good. That needs to be upgraded. That'll be a thing later. One of mine tells me to burn things. You mean like your hand, Gurn? I remember when you picked up that, <laughs> that cast iron. As an experiment. <laughs> an experiment in how quickly you can drop it because your hand is on fire. It's an interesting experiment that you did there. Nightmare, dude. I don't even understand what the idea of an inner voice actually means. Like, you actually talking to yourself? Wait, Snur, do you not have one? I can hear myself in my voice talking in my head. When I'm reading or thinking about things or wanting to, like, banter an idea. And I can hear it in my voice. I can also hear it in someone else's voice if I want. Like, it's just an internal voice if you want to have one, right? And there are some people who don't have it, so if you don't... But yeah, it makes sense. For reading it's bad, it really slows you down. That's okay for me, and here's the reason why. I like using that internal voice when I'm reading, because I can make it so that that voice is reading the story to me, and that makes me more interested in the story, if that makes sense. It makes me feel more immersed in it, like you're having like a, like a person read you the story. Yeah. So yeah, no, I totally do that when I'm reading. That was weird. It's in there, I can hear it. I can hear it in there. I think that one's inside. Did 
Did your inner voice get deeper in your 30s? Actually, yeah. When my voice changed, I was like, well, I don't sound like that anymore. So when I was using my old voice, it sounded weird. And then Brian died. Dude, this place has four of these? This is actually a four of these. Holy shit. This dungeon had four of those tombs. I don't think I've ever seen one have four. That's kind of bonkers to me, man. Alright, up we go. Wait. Is there a fifth? Is there actually a fifth? There it is. It's in there. How do I get to it? Okay, so it's it's underneath. That's when we're running the dungeon. You're changing your inner voice to Thor? Do it up, dude. All you have to do to change your inner voice to somebody else, look at a picture of them when you're reading it. That's it. That's all it is. Look at a picture of Gordon Freeman. Right? Do that. Look at a picture of, I don't know, Mel Gibson. And then, like... Or not Gordon Freeman. My brain. You know what I'm talking about. Why are there... How many of her are in here? Yeah, not the silent protagonist. Morgan Freeman. That's what I meant. Morgan Freeman. Don't worry about it. Morgan Freeman. Look at Morgan Freeman's face, and then go in and, and try to do this. Like, try to read something. Like, here, watch. Let me do this. I don't know why I said Gordon. It's probably because I'm playing a video game. find something. So. This. This is what I'm talking about. Let me turn this on. Uh. Read that internally and tell me that you don't hear Morgan Freeman saying it. That is how you change the internal voice. You look at someone else's face that you know, that you know what they sound like. And if you have that internal voice, it will change to their voice. Not everybody has that. That does that for me. That's it. Now, here's the thing that's really funny. If I go and read a book, and I look at, you know, Morgan Freeman first. I look at Morgan Freeman's picture, and then I start reading the book. Morgan Freeman reads me a bedtime story. And I don't even have to pay him. And that's it. And that's how that works. So I'm really happy that I can do that with reading. It feels awesome. Changing your internal voice to, to Palpatine? Do it, dude. Yeah, what's he gonna do? Come after me? Nothing. No, no, that's literally what I do, though. I, like, I can just... You can just have an internal voice change to whatever you want it to be. How many of these are there? This is like the Explorer's Dungeon. This one was made by a dev of the studio. So they've clearly modified it to have more of these tombs, because normally they don't have this many tombs. The most I've ever seen is two, maybe three. Not like... They, we're up to five right now on this one. Which is pretty interesting, honestly. And there's definitely another one down there. Which means I want to go look. Same. 
Yeah, I, I can't imagine not having that. I hear another one. players can actually put a hologram cube on those. I don't think they can. Alright. Dude, there's so many in this dungeon. It feels really good. But I know it's a dev dungeon, so like... I'll never get that in a normal player dungeon, you know? Hey, that one's dead. What do we got? What else is in this? Okay. Is that what we're doing? Is it? The old plasma cube. Let's just, uh, get him out of the way. to see it. Okay, let's think about this. All right. Wait. What? How does that make any sense? Can you give me a... Can you give me a what on that? Like what? What? It doesn't matter how much homing they have. I've never seen one cur What? Is it gonna curve that hard? Really? I call bullshit. That- that was- They don't home that much. Might be a hologram trap? Let's go see if that one's a hologram trap. Because that, that looked a little sus to me, to be honest with you. And by a little, I mean a lot. I don't think these respawn either. No, they don't. Okay. In the foot. I know not everybody has it, but I can't imagine not having it. Because that's... I don't know, it's just how I function, right? That's just how I work with literally everything. So, like, not having that sounds impossible to me. Got him in the leg. Yeah, that was not a... that was not a hologram cube. It just homed all the way around this in a circle.
I feel 100% baited. I feel baited in this moment right now. Outrageous. Outrageous. Got to double tap, make sure he's dead this time. Oh, I don't like you. I don't like anything that you do. I wish you didn't exist. Oh, I hear more of those things over the right side. No, you... The double jump didn't work again. I literally double jumped and nothing happened, dude. That's starting, starting to bother me. I would die without that. I think it's because I swung. I think I double jumped and then swung too fast and just got rid of it. exactly it. You figured it out. I can't believe I have to do that. Again. I can't wait until I have better reload speed on this thing, man. I miss that. Absolutely robbed. 10,000%. The robining is large. There we go. There we go. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's... Don't worry, it's fine. Everything's okay. I'm not attacking you. Because I've seen what happens. I've seen it. You go back to where you came from. So help me. You're dead. And you're dead. You know? Maybe we just... Maybe we just do it that way. Get one of them. And then we are deeply depressed. Because there's a hook over there and I don't like the hooks. That is, yeah, Aphantasia is like a, a thing that I know about as well. I think it's quite interesting, personally. Oh, it's one of the things over there. Why is that there? Why would that ever... Why would that ever be there? I don't understand... I don't understand that trap. I understand a lot of the other traps, but that one doesn't make any sense to me. One of my bullets is down here. It was. How many of these are in here? This dungeon is absurd. Why are there so many of these tombs in here, man? Whoever designed this, your dungeon, this developer person? This dungeon's OP. You're spoiling me. That's what you're doing. All you're doing is spoiling me. Because I'm going to look at every other dungeon and go, there's not going to be that many tombs in this other dungeon. It's not going to happen. It's impossible. 
This one has a ton of them, man. God damn it. <laughs> it was all holog- I stepped on a hologram and the other one was a hologram. They're all holograms. The whole room is a lie. The room is a lie. It's worth it. It's worth it. The room is a lie. Son of a bitch. I can't hit him. You ever just hit a guy like, you shoot like right between his legs, man? There you go. again. Really? Of all the stuff that could happen, bonking him like that. I keep forgetting about this one, too. Yeah, the new Minecraft update is looking pretty dope. I agree. Got him. There's a difference. I don't give up. I will never give up. Ever. All I do is get angrier. And the angrier I get, the more cool stuff that I find in this dungeon. I think I may have lost the bullet down there. Gross. Yeah, that's... That... What? Dude, those things have reach. Holy shit. Yeah, I've seen that becoming, like, more and more of a, a problem. Is... Like, live streamers getting their stuff stolen live on stream. And I think it's horrifying, frankly. Like, I actually really think that's that's terrifying. S someone actually said that usually when, when like, someone steals the, the phone or whatever during a live stream, like, the streamer gets banned and all kinds of stuff, it's not because they've done something wrong. They get banned because, like, Twitch doesn't want anything to happen. It's the same thing that happens if you get swatted on stream. They, they ban you, but it's not a ban. It's like a temporary... It's a really temporary ban. It's not the same. It's not like you banned because you got banned because you did something wrong. It's you got banned because they don't want something horrible to happen on stream. Does that make sense? I know that might sound weird, but that's that's literally what that is. I think this might just be a free one. What the? Let me see if I have any bullets that fell down below. I don't think I did. I think there was only one spot where they could have fallen and it would have been there. That fell down. Any else down here? Any more of these hidden tombs anywhere? Oh yeah, no, Kingdom Come. This, this level is not normal. It's, it's one of the levels that's made by the developers and they've definitely put extra tombs in here, which I think is cool. It's really neat. And it's gonna make me keep hunting for them. Like, I don't even care how long the level takes me at this point. You know what I mean? Because, like, damn. Well, that's good.
That's good. The thing is, is they used to... They used to do it that way, but... A lot of the times now when somebody gets swatted, they just... They ban the stream immediately. And then they get unbanned like a couple hours later. Getting swatted is terrifying, by the way. That's like a horrifying, horrifying thing. And when it does happen, they usually break your door in. And, uh... Yeah, they don't fix that. They don't pay for that. The city doesn't pay for that at all. You have to pay to get that door fixed. Yeah. It's not the best. I don't know where my bullets went, but they're definitely gone. Can one improve performance of the game by forcing older DirectX versions? I don't know. I'm playing it on maximum settings, and it feels fine to me, but I'm also kind of on, a, on like a ridiculous absurd machine. You know, made of... Oh my god, there's another one. How many of these exist? That's a lot. Alright. Something just howled at me and I just instantly ran away. You think it's Unity? I actually don't know what they use. You should probably check the internet. It is fun, and the game is very good. Oh my god, what is up there? Oh my god, it's just one dude in there. True. <laughs> the room is a kill hellhole. Oh, it's awful, dude. Everything is just, it's all, oh my god, it's just a nightmare in there. Absolute chaos, dude. I can't wait. We gotta disconnect the thing. So, the first thing is, I only had one bullet left. That was my big issue. And that definitely was not good enough for that. Oh, God, I hate this. Gotta hit him in the foot. Start that up. The reason why is because they correctly put armored guys in the areas where it would actually ruin my... my ammo preservation. So that's... that's not... So... That is getting swatted because there's, like, a problem, right? You said, like, drug stuff. Obviously, that, that needed to happen, right? Being swatted is what I'm talking about, is when a streamer, like someone in the chat, knows their home address and calls in a fake swatting on that person to do that. So, horrifying, yes. That is a terrifying thing that you had to go through, but it is, thankfully is not the same, but also still very scary, right? Yeah, they don't even care. Like, no matter who, what age you are, they definitely put a gun in your face. I feel like that should have killed him. My bullet went through his legs. The end is nigh, gentlemen. I should probably just die here. I should probably just die. Yeah, that's scary, though. Legitimately. Is this a champion's dungeon? Yeah, it is. It is indeed, which is why it had like 10 of those tombs, man.
Wait, you can actually... Oh, yeah. Yep, they do. So, I didn't actually realize that you can deflect the harpy shots. I didn't think you could because it was plasma. I didn't think plasma was deflectable. God damn it. Ah. Oh. I'm over it. I think my mouse sensitivity is actually up too high. Your grenades can kill you? Yes. They're grenades. Are you going to give up? Hell no. Are you kidding me? Why would I give up? I'm gonna give up just because the level's difficult? Please. So I think that actually sacrificed one of my bullets. Potentially. Why can I not? It was like shift to get that. Unfortunate. Let's see if my bullet fell down the bottom. And it didn't. Damn. Any more tombs over here? Any more tombs? Tomb? Okay, no more tombs. Ever disable mouse acceleration? It makes movements less consistent. No? I've never done that before. I'm pretty happy with the mouse movement right now. I just think I ha I may have it a smidge too high in terms of sensitivity. If that makes sense. I mean, I had to shoot him in the butt, right? Like... There's a hook shot there. Damn it. There's too much bullshit in there, but we have a way through. We have a back door now. Since there's the back door, I can just go around this. I didn't realize there was a back door to this dungeon. But we found it. I think I actually have to get in there first, though, because I don't think I can get under the dungeon until we do that. I think it's sealed off from the bottom, potentially. Yeah, he definitely sealed it off. Whoever built this sealed it off. So... I'm gonna go in there first, and then go down. Am I liking the beta? Absolutely, my dude. I played the hell out of the closed beta, so like this open beta is super fun for me. In the foot. So with this, I missed. 
There we go. All we actually have to do is get into that room there. So what I'm going to do is this. Now that we know that this exists. So there's two things I'm worried about. Make it three, actually. First one is that bullshit. Second one is that bullshit, and the third one is that bullshit. So. Yeet. I'm out of bullets, which is fine. I have the gen mat. And there is no escape. <laughs> so all I have to do now is get back over here. Could be a foolish design flaw. Could be an intentional, right? Could be completely intentional. So far, this place has been pretty good. Pretty wizardry, right? Let's see if there's any other easy ways out. I don't think there are. I don't think there's other any any other easy, easy ways out. Your mom is intentional? Dude, probably. Oh, hi. <sighs> I love that this looks like teeth. I believe we've done it. Damn! Fun ingenious. Love that. That was crazy, man. I dug that. There were so many of those little tombs, man. That was so many tombs. It was like 10 of them. It was like an extra 2,500 XP just from that alone. Like, that was bonkers. Yeah, look at that. 10 forsaken tombs. bonus XP. Have you raided any of them brutal yet? No, I don't think so. Oh. Outpost custodian. As it should be. He got the gen mat though. Wow. Let's watch this dude. Ten deaths, but he got the gen mat. Which means my my dungeon needs to be stronger. Yeah, that's what that means. Looking for holes. Okay. I understand. Yeah, he escaped with it. He got out. <clears throat> and this is the latest design, too. Hey, buddy. He's like, I don't know about this one. Look, see, there's the splats. See the splats happening? Look at the splats, dude. What are the multiple small symbols for? It means that he died basically instantly seven times in a row. That grenade kind of worked. Not hitting that guy with your bullet definitely didn't. Somehow doesn't die here. He attacked... Did you see what he just did? He actually attacked the ceiling thing. He actually attacked the ceiling thing thinking it was a trap, the moving gear. Yeah, he meleeed it. <laughs> that was a good... <laughs> that was a good one.
Pretty solid. Doing all right. Oh. Almost good. He's getting there. He's getting there. He's getting there. He's starting to get it, right? Starting to get there. Yeah, he stands still for a moment because the map's reloading. Oh. A little bit wet. A little bit. A little bit racked there. Small amount. Does he have a limited number of attempts? Nope. He can go forever. I had a dungeon in uh, the closed beta where I got like 50 kills on a guy. Just went ham. F. Even I start to hate this dungeon of yours? That's the point. That's the whole idea, my dude. I think I want to put another bolt turret behind. Well, <clears throat> he kind of made it. He kind of did it. You know? All right. All right. Man's got style. Need to put a turret trap, I think, on the right side there. Is he really just going to sit here and do this? How is he going to get past this, man? How is he going to get past this? Oh. How is he going to get past it, dude? We know he wins. But it's just like, huh? He is getting better at it. He's definitely getting better. Okay, he's learned that you have to use that trap. He learned that you have to use that trap against it. I should make those homing. I should make those homing bullets. Yeah, those are got to be homing ones. Is it Mario Maker style? No, you don't have to beat your own, but you do have to uh, make it so that it's pathable. Which is very, very fine, to be honest with you. The idea is to make absurd shit, and it ends up being quite fun. Ah, there you go. Alright, so he's got it. Everything here is cool. He's doing the thing. What's he doing? Oh, is he going to go back through and clear? Look at that. He's slowly and methodically clearing the dungeon behind him. That's what he's doing. And it's smart. It's what you should do. Smart. Playing it a little dangerous. He is actually farming XP right now. I I wish he would just die to this. That'd be the funniest thing on the planet. You see that? I know, dude. I want to see him die here, but he's not gonna. Alright. Let's see if he can do it. Let's see. What is he doing? He's like, no, I'm going to do it anyway. He's like, I'm going to do it anyway.
All right. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Look at him go, dude. That guy pulled it off. That guy pulled it off. <sighs> Let's think about this. I know how we can make this harder. What rating do you give you? I don't know. To look and see. I don't think he actually rated it in any way. I don't think you can tell. It has plus one brutal and plus one ingenious. So yeah, no, he he liked it. Brutal and ingenious. Yeah, now we got to find out how to destroy that player, right? How do we find out? A, we we got to discover a way that we can stop him from doing it. And I think there's a couple ways that I can do that. There's a couple failures that the dungeon had, right? Let's go pick up all this loot first from all these these deaths. So the first one is like I kind of want to put like this right here worked pretty well. That one there didn't really work. You know what I mean? I kind of feel like I wish we had a block here. And that that block also shot darts. You know what I mean? Like these guys here definitely pose the challenge. Like these little dudes pose the challenge. This one up here didn't really function at all the way that I wanted it to. Like, base look at all. Um, so what if I took this trap? Well, what if I got rid of this? Because this thing was worthless, right? We just get rid of that. And we set this one to be... second wave overshot. So that one will actually go off afterwards. So while he's like, oh shit, I gotta get out of here, they forget that this could be there. And when they do that, they run down this thing and they get shot in the back on the way down. That seems like a better model to me. I'm trying to think of what else we can do with this. These guys work, but having this up here is probably a better choice because now it's not gonna kill them. Yeah. That seems like a good idea to me. And then that also frees me up to go back to the beginning. And take this one and turn that one into a splatter. Because people touch their heads on this all the time when they're jumping. They like go like that. And if you touch it when it's splatter, it'll actually just basically kill you. Like, it just annihilates you. Alright. I think we're good. I think that's probably a good setup change there. I lost one trap out of this, but I don't think that's a bad deal. We can get rid of that one. We can take... Probably do this. And put one of these here. That seems right to me. You know what I mean? And we've gotten rid of a... A torch there. Maybe this can actually be... This? Maybe that works. So we actually have a torch this whole time. So it's like permanent. Maybe the maybe the bolt will actually be better with an overshot. Bolt with an overshot seems like the right way to do it. Like that, right? Yeah. Slope away in the first room. Shooters to deflect names. I could do that. We could do a slope for that, but then they'd be able to walk down. The idea is that we don't want them walking out to the front door. That ends up being a problem. If that makes sense. This here is sort of annoying. That is a problem. 
But there's nothing I can do about this spot, so. So, I put another trap here, because one of the things I noticed is he jumped to the back here. And when he got to the back, he just kind of hung out for a second, like this was a safe spot. So I think in getting rid of that, actually better yet, what if instead we did this, right? That seems like the right way to do that, is to put that on the ceiling. Or put it on the floor would probably be better. Because then this will look like a machine on the ceiling. That'll be fine. And then we can get rid of that. And we can make that one into it. Does that exceed outpost capacity? It does. How much, does those, how much do those cost? Let me think about this. We have to get one. I have to remove one from somewhere. There's got to be one I can remove. Hey. I can remove that one. I can't remove that one. Perfect. Alright, so now everything kind of has a backup trap the whole way around. Yeah, it's all got a backup trap. I think this works. Yeah, it feels super good when people die to your traps. And he won't- they won't necessarily see this. I could even eventually make this one opaque. Which means you can't see through it, you know? Opaque ones, they're- they're solid. Like, you can't see- it. they're not clear like this. You wouldn't be able to see through it. Alright, let's exit that. I think that looks good. It's a good update. Ellie dealing with them grappling through the first room. That's what I'm setting up for the second room. By making it so they have to grapple through both rooms and then kind of setting a blockade there, it ends up being really, really difficult for them to proceed through it. Eventually, I need to unlock the pistons, because pistons slow down grapple spam, you know? Can we see how the last person died? You just watched it. It was already done. Yeah, we already did, man. So I think I can get pistons now. Yeah, this is a part of Minecraft. Definitely, dude. This is this is the Most new look of, the of Minecraft. Most will be in areas yeah. that used to have a high population. That's where the bodies are. So I think I'm gonna go get the piston trap. I have now. forgotten much of my early life, yet my heart burns for it. Because this will cause randomized timing. And randomized timing is a bitch, dude. It is super, super awful. The storyline lore for this game, the world is destroyed by a virus. And you have some kind of, like, chimera that is, if you feed it genetic material, it may give you back, you know, stuff. The, the cure for this. Do I want a suit yet? No, I think I want to keep upgrading this. And I'm going to do something I otherwise wouldn't do in a second here, which is I'm going to upgrade our base. Pretty sure I'm going to upgrade this. I'm going to prestige early. Yeah, I'm going to prestige early. I think that's what I'm going to do. How do I prestige? There we go. Wait, what? You're about to prestige early. This will grant you all your remaining gen mat, plus a bonus of 15%. Refilling your gen mat pool early reduces your outpost lifespan and its potential for more kills. However, you will gain prestige levels and rewards faster. That is completely different from the way that it worked before. 
Oh, so it actually gives you all the gen mat instantly. That didn't work that way before. That is really interesting. So there's a reason to do it. Yeah, the bases always had life. They had gen mat, but you would just lose this if you prestige early before. Now you don't. You get it all, and you get a bonus on it. So they're incentivizing you to do it quickly. That's great, actually. That's a really, really good system. Because before, you just lost it. I was like, my big feedback was like, this feels awful when you just lose this. Like, it feels really bad to just lose this. So now, we get an extra 175 capacity. Nice. And I already have enough to prestige it again, but I'm not going to this time. Instead, what I'm going to do is we're going to go in here. We're going to set up traps. We're going to go to the Death Piston. And I'm going to go right... Where would that one go? Let's think about this. That one would go right there. So what I want to do is I want to set up a Death Piston here. And a Death Piston there. Maybe there. Can you do it there? Can't do it there. I do that one and that one. So what I've done now is this piston comes out randomly. This piston comes out randomly. They're going to keep going over and over again and create randomization in the jump flow, right? Where the person's like, oh god, I don't know when to go through this. Then when they do get through it, this thing's going to shoot, which will be hilarious. And instead of being this... I'm going to switch this, and the reason why is because fire shouldn't destroy these. I don't believe it does. It might. Now that I think about it. It may destroy it. Does it? Does it destroy it? Wait, why is my capacity down by a thousand? Wait a minute. Wasn't it only supposed to increase my capacity by 150? Why am I at 3,310? What did it remove? You see that? How did I get that many more on this? That's got to be a bug. That doesn't seem correct at all. Let's get it like a massive extra. That didn't seem right. I'm not supposed to have that much capacity. No, I'm definitely going to report that. That's not great. Okay, I can't put that there because this little robot won't go through it. So instead, we put this here? We cannot. We can set that. We can set this to overshoot. We can set... Those are good. That can be there. This can be here. So now we have a redundancy there, which is great. Couple of redundancies here, just a little bit, where they won't kill our guys. Put that one there. Put that one like that. seems fine. I feel like it gave me too many. 
on my capacity. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they gave me too many. I think something might be wrong there. Legitimately. It might have made something cheaper. Maybe. Seems really weird, though. Because, like... My stuff seems cheaper. Is it, though? No, it's the same. These are the same costs. It just gave me, like, an extra thousand capacity of this as if I didn't already use it. Like, something is wrong. Looks very claustrophobic, because it's meant to be. That is intentionally claustrophobic. It's supposed to only give you 175 extra caps, so like, I don't know what it did there, but it definitely doesn't seem correct. How's your gen collecting thing so high in the sky? It just spawns there. It spawns wherever it's gonna spawn. And mine was all the way up there. Love to see it. Warning. Room is a trap. Warning. All right. Something about this does not seem right to me, though. Like, it shouldn't have this much stuff going on, but it, it does. It's rather strange. You know what I mean? The hazard in the trap looks misleading. I know. It's very funny. Decals are super fun. I really enjoy them, to be honest with you. I actually added these blood decals on these down here, too. Really, really enjoy that. This seems fine now. I think we can fit actually a couple more in here too. Put it like that.
So we can set up a thing that's like this. Where it's just all these pistons all the time. In the way. Firing off, right? I know, I still have an extra 100 points. It's absurd, right? could do that. You're talking about... Talking about this one? Like right here? You're talking about here? They can still break the smashers, that's the thing. I put a fire trap here. They're still gonna be able to go back around this corner. There's basically nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. What I could do, which would be really funny, is set up a thing right here when they get near it. It is a hologram and then put a bunch of dudes behind it. Like the, the enforcer dudes with the two claws. That would be funny. That would that would be deeply hilarious to me. So I think that's probably gonna be the next update. If that makes sense. Though I, f I feel like this shouldn't have given me this many tools. Like this many traps seems incorrect. You know what I mean? Like suddenly I was able to put all of that stuff in there. The outpost you have built is a monument to your strength and cunning. Like, if we go into this... Look, it says I have 5650 out of 4675. It's totally wrong, dude. Look at that. It's 100% wrong. Now it says building capacity over limit. Their prestige system is broken. It won't let me back out. It says building capacity over limit. Well, let's prestige it again. Prestige it again. Yeah, shouldn't have come back in, dude. Screwed up. Definitely should have abused a bug in a open beta, yeah, it's... That sounds like a fun idea. I love all the grunting pig noises, dude. They're my favorite. Uh, now I have to find all these traps to remove... Oh, wait! It's totally broken. Look, it says capacity 3695 out of 4875 now. I'm not even 800 over anymore. It's... It, their prestige system's broken. Yeah, the prestige system is completely broken, dude. Is it gonna let my dungeon be active? Let me go look. The magnificence of your outpost tilts the balance of power in our favor. That's yeah, very cool. I guess it's active? It's in overdrive, it says. <laughs> That's not good at all, dude. They gotta fix that. We must make an example. I am the sum of humanity's strongest. Neat. Yes. Juice all of my dudes. Steal their meat. Put the meat in the tube. Feed it to my large, weird fish. It's not your game, it's not for you to fix. This is an open beta, and I fully intend to report all of the bugs that I find. This is a game that I like very, very much, and I'm 100% gonna report those bugs, man. Extinction preys on the weak, and you are Always report bugs. But. I know, right? Solinaria, we're gonna be able to see that, though. I'm just gonna wait. Of me coding a solution? No. I'm not here to code a solution. Yeah, it's actually running. Look at that shit. Bonkers. Yeah, I am not thinking of coding a solution. 
Not at all. That's not something I can do anyway, because I'm not working on this game. But I will tell you that I'm definitely going to report it to them, because it's... I'm sure everybody's been reporting it, but I'm also going to report it. Oh. oh, look, it's one of these. Rude. Rude. You killed your own little dog man. I can't even kill the dog man. I don't even get the opportunity to kill the little dog. You've stolen that from me. You've stolen the joy of doing that. You've stolen the joy of killing the small weird dog creature. The weird hook there. Sir? Alright. Hi. Ceiling wiggling doesn't look wiggly. <gasps> Something about that was a little bit terrifying for a moment. I don't know what it was. Shoot that guy in the leg. Oh, crotch shot, dude. That's just rude. I'm just rude. We good? A lot of stuff all over those walls. <laughs> Cute. I wish there was a crouch. I think it's the one complaint that I have. Because sometimes you need an angle that's like a little bit lower. And I can't crouch to see it. You can do like side stuff like that. But like there's no... Like I want to press C to crouch and I can't. Because that throws my grenade. Yeah, every surface was an escape trap. That's true. On that one anyway. <clears throat> Boop a doop a doop ba doop ba doop ba doop ba doop ba doop boop boop Hell yeah. More. More points. More stuff. Bronze three. Grow in power. Grow in power. Yeah, the teammates can't infinitely res each other. Power grip on the wasteland yeah. tightens with each corpse in your outpost. One death, no gen mat. You want to see someone just completely lose it? Is alting crouching? Is that really true?
I pressed that before and it didn't do anything. I tried Control Alt and C doesn't do that. Shift doesn't do that. Because Shift is the, the thing. Is it actually letting you crouch? Maybe something with my settings. Look at him go! He's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I hear the wiggly noise. He doesn't realize it's inside the dungeon. He's like, what is that? What is that? I think this is actually the old version, too. I don't even think it's the, the new version. This is the old version. My man found the oven. And then instantly gave up. Instantly gave up. <laughs> he saw that and noped out, dude. Go to the next one. Weak. Yeah, I know, right? Alright. Alright. It's weird that the replays kind of like wiggle a bunch. I don't think that grenade actually did what he wanted that grenade to do. What is the quest for this game? Killing people. With traps. Because it's funny. That's, that's the point. But yeah, you don't need to test your own traps. You just need to build the dungeon and make sure that the little robot can path from one area to the other. This is so funny, dude. He's about to die, too. Here it goes. He's about to make his move. You gonna do it? He's like, it's now or never. Dies instantly, dude. Dies instantly. <laughs> Just fire everywhere, man. Oh, man. I think he missed all of his grenades. Deeply funny. Yeah, that is su super broken. Something's wrong with the capacity system. Like, something is actually wrong with the capacity system. I'm gonna go in and fix the dungeon so it actually meets real capacity. Because that's not right. That's stupid. They need to fix that. Yeah, look, I'm at 5650. Something's super wrong with that. Get rid of that one. Pick up this guy's corpse. But that's not worth any points. I'm just going to clean up a bunch of things during the ad break. Don't worry. I'm just cleaning. I'm cleaning. Cleaning everything. <sighs> clean, clean, clean. You need to get rid of one more trap. One more trap. All right, I've, I've removed almost everything. I removed almost everything.
I can add one more fire trap in this. And I think that one is good. We've got that death. That thing's still in there. That thing's still in there, so we're good on both of those. I think I need to add one there. And I think we're good now. I think that's it. Proper amount is actually 4875, which we are now at 4850. So that is correct. We now have the correct amount. I'm not going to abuse that because I think it's gross. You know what I mean? No point in abusing bugs like that. Play it the way that it was intended and then let the devs know when something's wrong. It's just gross. You know what I mean? It's just gross. And then eventually, we'll fill this place full of fire and hilarity. But not yet. Not yet. Soon. Funny, but also kind of lame, right? Wish we could have seen that one guy's reaction. Well, I mean, his reaction was to die once and then leave the dungeon, right? I do All not right. know why other chimeras would start this war. Krona might have been a soldier, but her attitude needs work. Oh, we can get bloodlust now? I kind of want to get plating. Plating is such a big deal. Where you do just take one extra shot. You know what I mean? We need it. Okay. Oh, the old successful runs don't really matter much now. And, like, the reason why is because now my dungeon is completely different. We've we've evolved it a bunch of times, right? So since I've evolved it a bunch of times, it's not really relevant anymore, unfortunately. My plan is to keep evolving it like this. If somebody beats the current one, I'll be very surprised. Very surprised. Yeah, a guy did it, but it took him like 10 tries. Um, the next thing I want to get is probably there's an upgrade for the pistons that makes them fire randomly with random timing. And that random timing is a different seed every time the dungeon spawns. So there's no way they can get used to it. And that's the thing, is the current the current pistons actually have a timing to them that's exactly the same every time. Which is not what we want. We definitely, definitely want to randomize that timing, but I, I got to get the points for it. It doesn't look like there's any cool tombs in here. Unfortunate. No tombs guy. I thought it was coming from in front of me. It was coming from the left. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, buddy. Get on you. Didn't want him to fall like that, but he did anyway. But it looks like I still get my bullet back. Worth. Okay. This is like a really interesting unwrapped dungeon. Do you like do you see this? But why? I ain't get any of those. the orange box through.
The orange box does damage to you. When you touch it with your face. So I'm going to try not to do that. With my face, right? Instead, I'm just going to leave. I feel like that's probably the best way to go. I feel like leaving is probably the best course of action. That was underwhelming. No, it just had a weakness. That was all. Room had a weakness. Happens. Speed earning seems the best counter to trap Bonanza until they figure out how to make pistons. Because then there isn't. Is there fall damage? No, but it staggers you. You really, really don't want to fall. If you get staggered, you're like, oh. oh. And then he, like, gets back up like an old man. It's not what you want, man. Okay. Feed the fish? I can't feed the fish. We need more points. We need more points to feed the fish. Hey, it's a dev dungeon. A champion outpost. Yeah, don't be an old man. Don't don't be the old man. That's not what you want, man. Dev dungeon. This is made by the developers of the video game. And we're going to see. Let's see if it works. It will. Let's see if it will. Incredibly imposing. Quite cool. I like this so far. We love free stuff. I love that. Is that it? Is that it? Alright, I guess it's everything on the outside. Let's go climb the tower. You know, just to see if there's a mistake somewhere, you know what I mean? Because, like... That seems like... Shit. It's very tall. Well... It doesn't look like there's any secret back doorway in. <clears throat> oh, you big... Really now? Is that the way into the dungeon? What is happening here? Did I find some kind of back door into this dungeon, dude? What is this? What is this? There's just like a bunch of weird stuff in here, man. Like, what is this? M35, M old man. Can't do anything about that fact. I'm also 35 and an old man. How does that feel? Knowing you're not alone and you're old mannery. Hi, little dude. So I think I got in a weird direction of this. But if we just follow this trail... I don't like this. Not one bit. Oh! What is that? What is that? <laughs> Instantly turns into a wall spider, dude. I don't know what the spikes do. I've never seen that mod before. What is that mod, dude? Alright. This dungeon is highly bullshit. It uses holograms. Bullshit cubes. 
flying lads. Exploding flying lads. More bullshit cubes. Hi. What you doing? Hello. Wanna come down here? Got a present. Splat. Sniper lads. Sniper lads with armor. Let's just see what it... No, apparently I'll get hooked on the ceiling. One second. Alright. This is fun. Got him. Oh, and he meatloafed. Okay. Couple of meatloaf lads, very cool. Whew, okay, that was a homing one. You almost had me on that one, bud. You almost had me. Almost had me. Terrifying. Good use of homing. Homing ones are way more nasty, like the farther you are away from them. So that was a really good use of that homing. What? I don't know how that didn't kill me. I didn't know where it was coming from. I had no idea. That was just luck. That was just pure, unadulterated luck, my dude. 100% luck. Alright. How much more ceiling bullshit are you going to have? How much more ceiling bullshit? None? Are we out of ceiling bullshit? We done? I think we're done. We're done with ceiling bullshit. Down we go. Into the nuclear reactor, as you can see. This only seems slightly dangerous. And this also doesn't seem like it's the way that the little robot went. But, looks intriguing. No. Okay. Okay. Why is there nothing in here? Hi. Yeah, you're dead. None of that. Oh, no. Grapply boys. Never been a fan of the Grapply boy. You know? I don't want to get rid of that. I hear it. I hear it. over there somewhere. I just... I want the points. I want the points. Oh, look at this. What kind of sneaky shit? There we go. What? Oh. There's always one spot, right? There was an entrance. There was an entrance. Oh, and it's right at the end, too. They keep doing that. They keep making, like, a secret entrance right at the end of the dungeon, which I really like, to be honest with you. So, this looks like a phase two kill room of death. That's what that looks like. I'm not happy about this. No. No, I'm not happy about this one bit. However, this looks fine. So maybe if I go up here, into this exact spot. No. All of this is bad. Oh, 
Wait a minute. What if I go... Wigglies over here? What if I go over here in this corner? What? Why didn't the walls burst into flame? What? Where's my cleverly surprising wall death? Well, I guess we'll leave. I guess we'll leave. I guess we'll leave. It was fun. I enjoyed that. Oh. Nice. Nice. Bronze 3 now. I really like the ranking system. I like that. Thoughts on ChatGPT? I think ChatGPT is cool. It's a fun tool. Post, custodian, and look upon the carnage you have wrought. Eight deaths. Eight deaths. I know, dude. The Dagath Ur impression is amazing. The AI being able to be Dagath Ur. It's very funny. Here we go! Hey, buddy. You've enraged them. He's like, I don't know, I don't know about that. I don't know. Oh. I don't know, I don't know about that. I think he missed. I think it went through the guy's legs. Oh god, look at the acid. I don't know. Oh wait, no, he did hit him. This is what we call a mistake. Welcome to the oven! Oh, it's so good. I love the oven, dude. I love the oven. It's my favorite. Send it to me on Discord, dude. I'm watching a man get roasted at the moment. Is this still the old version of the dungeon? I don't think it is. I can't quite tell. Send me on Discord? Alright, I'll check it. I love this. This is my favorite part of this game, dude. It's just watching people get roasted in the dungeon, right? He's out of ammo! He tried to shoot and he has no bullets! It has the block on the other side of the acid pillar? Good then. Yeah, we're good. He's like, come on, come on. Psyching himself up because like I got this, I got this. I'm gonna psych myself up. Psyching, him, psyching. Him. Get a little bit of XP. Psyching myself up. Dude. All that psychic up. Roasted. Roasted. Is this the cheating version? No, we switched that off immediately. I, I don't want to use that. That's not good. I'm not going to exploit a bug, you know. Cooked. Cooked. Well done. Cooked. He's like, God damn. He's like, I don't know about this, man. I'm getting cooked. I don't want to get cooked. He's like, okay, the way to go through is like this. He found cooking room number two! It was very funny. Yeah, oven the sequel, dude. That's exactly what it is. Oh, it's the best. Look at him go. Oh, he's going. He learned to break that. Oh, but he missed that one. He missed it. Oh. It is brutal. It's quite funny. The kiln fields? <laughs> It's the kiln fields now. Oh. Oh. Oops. He got killed by the by the pistons on that one, actually. Because pistons don't break in fire. Which is funny. Now what he could do is quit. 
but he won't. Not yet. He still has two more deaths to go. One more death to go. Soon. Yeah, you skip past well done. He's on the way to congratulations. It's true. It's true. Oh, I think he just leaves. I don't even think he dies again. Nope, he leaves. <laughs> yeah, the moment of reflection after each attempt where he's like, why? Why am I trying this? Why am I... Why do I hate myself in the way that I do? God, I love this game. It just... It's so good feeling to watch someone die in the thing you made. You know what I mean? Yeah, the Pistons are a great addition. Juice them. Juice them for points. Yes. There it goes. There goes the juice. There goes the juice. There it is. Eat it up. Grow big and strong. Gross. Deeply gross. Deeply gross. My friend Grog was playing a different difficult level of Mario and got 190 deaths. It inspired me to code a death counter for our stream. Hell yeah. Chimera Chin loves the juice. No, dude. Look at him, he's eating it. It's like fish flakes. You just put it in the little, you know, the little tank. My favorite part about it is this. They didn't need to do that. It, like, turns to you. And, like, you'd worry that the umbilical cord would get tangled up, but they even put the machinery up there that, like, turns with the umbil umbilical cord so it doesn't get tangled. Like, they thought about that. They're like, oh, that'd be weird. And he thumps. The thump on the glass, dude. Like, it just... A little concerning thump on the glass. It's like, oh. mm. processing is. See you later. All right, you. Forgotten faces, faces of those I loved most. Piston fires at random intervals. Piston that kills anyone who touches the red hot metal. We need both of these. The unstable one is the more important one right now. So we're going to take Unstable, we're going to go back into our dungeon, we're going to add Unstable to this. Do you know if you keep the progression from the beta into the complete game? I don't believe we do. I do not believe so, my dude. But that's okay. Because here's the thing. What you will find out in Meet Your Maker is that it is a player skill based game. Player knowledge and player skill. I understand how to build this dungeon because I did this in the closed beta. So because of that, I am at an advantage now to other players. You learn a whole bunch of stuff by playing this game. You learn how to make traps that are just gross, right? And that's how you should take that. Even if you don't keep your in-game progression, you gain progression as a person, which is very fun. Very fun. All right. This one needs to be unstable. And then this one, we don't have enough points to make it unstable. Which is unfortunate. But now this one is completely unstable, so they won't know when that one's going to go off. At all. Which is deeply funny to me. So they could just get trapped in the room randomly. And each time they go to do the run, the timing will be completely different. On every death. Because that adds to the fun, right? A truly random, unable-to-be-learned timer in a room full of fire and death, right? How do you usually start designing your outpost? With this room. This is my room that says, you don't want to be here. And this is the same room that I used in, um, in closed beta. That's what that was. Alright, so... I think... I'm actually going to remove something from this. That's not what's going to get removed. I think I'm going to remove this for right now. Because I, I really, really want to have this also be random. So we have two layers of randomness, right? You know what I mean? And then we'll add that back later. And I want it to be like this for right now. So... What can we do with that? I feel like... We don't have enough points for that. So what if we did like this, right? There was a guy 
Um, the AI run channel called Watch Me Forever. And, um, very f funny. Really, really funny channel. Where basically AI writes a scene in, like, a 3D model scene and the dude tells a joke and all this kind of stuff. He got banned because apparently the AI went off the rails and said some shit. Didn't know about that. They've apologized profusely for it and they're they're putting in systems to make sure that it never happens again. Yeah. Not good. Whatever it did is... I, I haven't seen it yet, but apparently they got banned for it. So I gotta... I'm gonna wait and see. It's kind of sad. Oh, wait a minute. What if we remove this, add this over to here, and then go to this and realize that I've put another piston in here because I'm a terrible person. And then we put that like that, and then, like here, we put one of these. Because why should why should players enjoy things, right? Actually, we should put it there, because there's already a fire trap on the other side. There we go. That'll make sure that there's no enjoyment ever to be gleaned from this dungeon. Yeah, poor infinite Seinfeld. Deeply upsetting, I know. Greatness forms within me. I hear greatness forms within the Chimera, dude. But no, I, I feel bad. Like, that's... Okay. You gotta tune AI to do all kinds of stuff to make sure that it doesn't do that. And it's rough. Like, it's actually really rough. I think that's the last mod that I really need to get right now. I think that's probably the last one. Oh, we can prestige it. Oh. Uh, I'd always rather be safe. <laughs> I have this deep fear of getting banned on Twitch. And the reason why I have such a deep fear, Zafiroth, is because I don't make any money outside of Twitch. <laughs> I make money when Heartbound sells, and I make money on Twitch. And if I don't make money on Twitch, I stop eating food, which is not good, right? It's one of my favorite copy pastas. That could be anything. There's a lot of copy pastas I like that would definitely get me banned on Twitch if I played them on here. Hey, Rat Lord, look at this. I'm killing things. I'm running through dungeons. I'm finding weaknesses in people's dungeons right here. Look at that. What is that? What is that doing? I don't even know what that's doing down there. But it's, it's doing it. Whatever. What? What is this design? What am I looking at? Why are these here? I see. I see. It was a ruse to make me think something was cool in there. There was nothing cool in there. The only thing that was in there was death. Consider Patreon? Oh, never, dude. I don't use Patreon. I use coffee. And the reason why is because coffee only takes $4.50 a month, flat, and Patreon takes 8%. Yeah. So once you make more than $50, coffee is better. Yeah. Yeah. This one has less death in it. Why am I in here? The next YouTube stream this week? Dude, I haven't done a YouTube stream in ages. Hey, bud. You're dead. I think eventually I'll do another YouTube stream, but to be honest with you, I probably won't for a while, because they're just not ready yet. That's true. Where is my bullet? Where did my bullet go? That man's corpse fell from the ceiling and now I... I don't have ammo. And I want it back. Where is my Where is my bullet? Oh, wait. Wait! Mm, secret fun stuff. That dude's corpse definitely found out in this pit, right? 
cubes aren't pathable. That's true. Oh, he fell here. Nice. Got my bullet back. But yeah, Patreon's cool. Um, I think Patreon is fine. But the thing is, is if you want to make more money based on, like, the, the way that I always think about it is this, right? If people are going to give you money, you want the platform that you are using to take as little of it as possible, right? That's just kind of how that is. So you want Twitch to take as little of it as possible, and their job is to keep taking it from you. Right? Seems, seems accurate. Uh, the same thing is for Patreon. Patreon actually takes 8% or 5% if you're a founder, but coffee only takes $4.50, and that's, you know, once a month. So because of that, coffee ends up being better over time for anybody making more than $50. And Patreon ends up being not good unless you're making less than $50, which you don't want to be on your Patreon in the first place. So it ends up not scaling. Like, your costs don't scale effectively. What that is? Okay. Hey, bud. I screwed that up. You ever just whiff a grenade? I whiffed a grenade. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's a weird way to die. You ever die like that? Just kind of like standing up on your knees in a deeply strange way. Okay, well, he's down there with my gun, or with my bullet, and I'm never getting that back. Hi. That guy's dead. I hear dudes growling, but I don't see dudes. Okay, there's one of them. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, that's cute. Faster, faster, fast. What? <laughs> I didn't even see him. I couldn't see him from there. How could you possibly hit me? You bastard. Outrageous. Outrageous. I'm upset. I feel sniped right now. I do. I feel sniped and rused. The ruse level there was quite high, I have to say. Hi. That's weird. I've been sniped by. It's true. It's true. Oh. Okay. All right. This is fine. Everything here is fine. We'll just. Hi. How you doing? Bye. Oh, he didn't go into the meat grinder. I don't have to go chase my bullet down for once. All right. So. Enough of that. Hello. Got him. The guy who killed me? Gone. Rude. Nice. I didn't need those. Alright, so now... Now I have a little bit of a problem. That was part of the problem. The other part of the problem is I don't know where the other guard is. There he is. So there's one of them. Okay. 
Okay. I missed. You ever just miss? Grenades don't miss. Clever. I missed my god again. All right. All right. It's fine. Everything is fine. I'm not dead. All of them are. Right? I almost died. That seems fine though, right? Almost dead isn't actually dead. It's just almost dead. Okay, that gave me... I have all three of my bullets back. We good? We good. Alright. I've destroyed all the things. I've killed all the stuff. I've obtained all the items. Why is that down there? Who would ever go down there? Nobody. Why is that there? Outrageous. So... This is a little long. What? I didn't expect that. This dungeon's actually really cool. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's really cool. It's actually... It's really neat how many weird bait things they put in here. Yeah, there's a lot of bait in this dungeon, dude. I'm falling for it. I'm falling for it like 10,000%. It's 100% a bait dungeon, dude. You just fall for all the bait, man. Because I sure as hell. And every time I find bait in here, I'm like, oh, that's bait. And then it's like totally different bait than what I was expecting. It's not what I expect at all. Like each time, it's a genius bait. It's really high quality bait. Like 100%. I'm, I'm just impressed. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. At the level of this bait. Good bait. I think I killed two of them? I'm pretty sure two of them just died. I don't know what you're talking about. Never heard of that before in my life. Not once. Wasn't there a trap there before? I feel like there was a trap there. Imagine not falling for Patrick, baby. That guy's definitely dead. That guy's also definitely dead. It's like I thought that thing was gonna blow up. There's my bullet down there. God damn it. That was my favorite bullet. What am I going to do without that? Unfortunate. Now I have to use a sword for everything. Got one bullet back. Got two bullets back.
He made him face the wrong direction. This is totally different bait than we experienced last time, by the way. And I'm a little concerned because it's like uncharted territory now. Oh, there's another one. What? How dare you. How to join the open beta? Just download it on, on uh, Steam. How many of these walls are like this? Is everything in here an illusion? It's all illusions. Everything is an illusion. Trust nothing. The entire dungeon is fake. What do you use for your voice box? Bot? I like that you can silence it. I actually use Streamlabs. I'll make this kill him. There we go. Defense backfire. Uh, yeah, I use Streamlabs for it, and then I use my Stream Deck, where I can skip it, because they have a thing on Stream Deck to skip an alert. And I make it play a sound at the same time, so Brian dies. Like this. Which is funny. Chat murders Brian on the daily, my dude. Alright. Alright. Ah! I was trying to get my, my bullet. I can't get the bullet. Well... I guess... If we go down this way... Deeper into bait dungeon. Not taking that bait. Not taking that bait. I want my bullets. What? But why? What is- What is the point of that? Very funny, actually. Hi. One bullet left. I think this dungeon's running out of bait. What do you guys think? Dungeon's starting to run out of bait. Starting to run out of bait. Jesus Christ. There's a hole here! What's happening there? At this point, I'm too afraid to ask. All right, we're at the end of the bait dungeon. Brian is dead now. You murdered him. He's dead because of you. My guess is this wall is going to get a thing, and then this hole is going to be filled with bait traps to try and get me to use it. I was wrong. Where's the bait? Did they just forget? I was wrong. Maybe they just forgot. Terrifying. Deeply terrifying. Good dungeon. Really good dungeon, actually. Yeah, it might have been just an oversight. Could have just been an unfinished dungeon. I think that's probably the case. Literal backdoor, dude. Nice. Moving up. More rank more rank. Yeah, they'll have a good video. That video is pretty funny, dude. We have some good videos. Let's see what happened. Nothing. 
It's definitely bugged. It thinks- Oh wait, no! We have- We have a lot of videos. We suddenly have... A lot of- Someone got through without dying? No shit. That's gonna- we're gonna watch this. Oh, it's the old version. Oh, okay, that doesn't matter at all. This is like the super old version of this. It looks like a bunch of videos finally just came through. Like videos that have been missing. Yeah, look. When I scroll down and then I scroll back up. They're gone now. Okay, yeah. Yeah, something's wrong, look. Now they all think that they haven't been viewed. <laughs> Little bit of a bug. Upset. Let's feed the Chimera some more juice, weapons, dude. Eat the juice. The yes. Who's getting juice today? Enemy. You. Down you go. Into the juicing machine. We have to make Kool-Aid out of here. There you go. There goes the delicious Kool-Aid. It's happening. You can actually see it fill up the tube, too. Although I think it's going the wrong direction, animation-wise. The top one wasn't new either, no. Nice. Well, there, there goes the camera. enough gen mat in this world. Our only hope is to fight for it. I do like fighting. I do you like know, that. Metamorph is an ancestor of mine. A bit of a prat, though. <laughs> 900? And we can get... Projectile launch speed increased by one meter per second. That's bugged. Look at this. So a powerful electromagnetic bolt launcher, powerful electromagnetic bolt launcher, and a fast shooting lightweight crossbow. They put the wrong tooltip on this one. See that? That tooltip is actually supposed to be for the fa uh, falconic plasma bow. Fast shooting lightweight crossbow. So they copy pasted over and accidentally messed up the tooltip. F. There's a bug. Minor stuff. Minor stuff. Many false sanctuaries oppose us. I goodbye. Fort Cape. Robin Island. Every we gave all of our dudes armor plating. To bloodthirsty wastelanders. What if we did that? What if we gave them armor plating? I guess I yeah, another line of the report list. I report everything. Yeah, everything that I can. That was a long time ago. Magnetic link level two would be pretty nice. Rapid fire level three or level two is only five percent more fire rate, which is not that big of a deal. Oh, we got three deaths in there. Let's go take a look. Let's take a look and see what happened. Hmm. We got one death. Some more parts down here. There's a death. And there's a death. He didn't even make it through the first room, dude. Let's see if we can go see what he did. Because, yeah, nobody's beaten this yet. It is unbeatable, unbeaten so far. Which is deeply hilarious. Very funny. Death What's the last two upgrades to the gunner after the armor? Custodian. I don't know. As it should be. There we go. We're going to watch this guy. You can do, like, magnetics, which lets you pick up your bullets from farther away. You can do attack speed, which lets you shoot more rapid fire, and then you can make one that lets you see your bullets through walls, which is really good. Oh, this guy gave up. This guy 100% gave up. <laughs> he shot one of the machine walls, dude. Those fool people every time. He died to the acid splash. He just stood in the acid splash and died in it. That's why you use that. That's the reason. 
That's the reason. It's very funny. The other reason you use it is if they touch one of these, it also shoots an ass. It was a little embarrassing. It is, but it's probably because he didn't know. That guy just learned something there, you know? And I got extra points for teaching him. Look at, look at him. Look at the hesitation. Look at the fear, right? Look at the hesitation and fear, man. Oh, sure, yeah. You lose rank when you leave a level. You lose rank when you die, and you lose rank when you when you leave a level without beating it. Beating the level actually gives you points for rank. So you do lose rank if you join in and then just go, nah, right? Which some people don't care about rank. They, they won't give a shit. I do. I care. Sure, that's not a player, not a bot? No, it's just a player. They're just new. They only have two bullets, so you know that they haven't upgraded their bolt caster thing yet. <clears throat> Although it is deeply funny to watch them die. It is. There's something about watching someone die in a game that you made to kill them that is brutally funny. Where I can't do this normally as a game dev, because I need... I need my games to be balanced, right? And they need to be fun and make sense. In this one, I don't have to do that. In this one, I can just be a jackass. Which is really, really fun for me. So, my whole thing is that I just... I just make it as gross as possible, and then I watch people die, right? That's it. That's really all it is. I may play this game later when I'm finished with the 200% of the Overwatch Battle Pass. Do it. I love it, dude. I love it. I love watching people die in the dungeon. Right? What is it called? Schadenfreude? Is that what it is? What is... What is happening here? He's just slowly and methodically punching it to death. I've never seen someone move like this, like with no hookshot or anything, and it's working. No. No, that's definitely not tr true. Yeah, there's no... Do you mean the grabbing of the gen mat? Or do you mean grabbing a wall? Okay, grabbing a gen mat makes sense. That was the end of him. He's dead now. That was it. That was the only new one. What if we choose a new dungeon? What is this? Why does it say... F what's the fire on that? Do we know what that is? Do we know what that is? What is that? What is fire? I'm gonna hit this again. I'm streaming. No phone call from you. Four thousand five hundred. I guess we can take the forty five hundred one. Could be desert area. We haven't seen any other areas, but yeah, that makes sense. Let's claim this so we can have two running dungeons at the same time. Time to build. Time to build. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do on this one? First off. Where's my build menu? Delete all items. Awful sound. Very cool. Hey, look, it's all the way up in the... 
Is this the same layout? Is this action? I feel like this might be the same layout. Well, don't mind if I do. Above it up, up, but up, above it up. Wait, but up, but up, up, but up. I think we just have to do three, right? It's just three across. Pretty sure it's three across. Let me do one of those, and then one of these. Man, this is, uh, it's rough, right? It's going to be rough. We're going to have, like, a bunch of these. Good pit, right? Good pit. Let's put some stuff there. That's pretty good. I like that. And then we'll just do... You know? Like some of this. Just like last time. What? What? This seems fine. Some of this like auto snap is a little bit weird. I have to say. It's it's a little strange. Okay, now we need these. This is actually the way that I wanted to do this, by the way. Um that last dungeon would not allow me to do what I wanted to do with it. So, now you're going to see the actual normal setup for this that is not as strange. Which is how this was originally designed. This is the way that I want it to be is like this. So now, now this will be perfectly set up to not have the problems of that other one. This other one definitely had problems. Boop, boop, boop. start my dungeon like this, and the reason why is so that when someone sees one of these, they know what dungeon it is. And eventually, when they see this symbol, they go, nope! Which is very funny to me. Yeah, same design, but deeply improved. That's what we're going for. We have our cool little, like, terrifying dungeon right now. In the way that it needs to be. And then, we have to get all the way up there, right? All the way up there. All the way up there. I really liked that new improvement that I did on this, too. Where it's like, this? This thing is obnoxious. I think this is quite funny, personally. And then I put this... 
Like the bolt shot on the back here. We changed that to an overshot. I like that. I really, really liked that. Kind of have this like that. Maybe I'll put a piston there and a piston here, and then maybe like a blowtorch there. That'd be funny. All right, let's start putting in some traps before I run out of points. Eh, 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 eh. Whoop. And one of those. And one of these. And then this one is random. And that one is random. The thing is, is eventually someone's going to figure out how to beat this. And when they do, my whole design is going to fall apart. But no one has yet, so I'm just going to keep doing this. You know what I mean? This seems like the thing to do until someone figures out how to beat it. And then it's ruined. I can also put this at the end, by the way. Like, imagine... Imagine if I did a whole dungeon of just kind of like lame stuff, and then the last room is this. Would you hate me? I'd hate me. You know what I mean? Like, if you just... That's why I put it right up at the front. It's annoying afterwards. It's definitely tough afterwards, but... I feel like I'm, I'm doing them an, a service by putting this at the beginning and basically saying, this is what you're in for. This is it. This is how the rest of the whole dungeon is going to go. So... Buckle up, right? You know? Yeah, it's not reusing, it's building a brand. I agree. We're building a brand, guys. A brand of... gigantic... Hero cooking ovens is what we're doing. We're building a, a delicious stove. Stove dungeon. That's what we're doing. It's ridiculous, to be honest with you. I love the furnaces. They're so good. What's happening with that? Stop that. I need that one? I do. Alright. We're getting it. This is good. There we go. Now we'll do this. We'll set up this over here. We'll make that one also an overshot. We're going to take some death pistons. Let's put a death piston there. Make that one random, right? You know, as you do. I don't know what I'm going to put there. I'm not sure yet. Should these also just be cooking rooms? Could that... Can we just make this just one gigantic, ridiculous cooking room? And then also... Randomized piston here. And, like, maybe another randomized piston there, right? 
That seems that seems good, right? That didn't seem absolutely brutal and ridiculous at all. Maybe we don't even need this. Maybe we need that. Maybe this isn't even the thing. Maybe maybe we need that. Now it's just oven's room. Good. And then we can take this and just like start figuring out how we get into this. very long long ovens room slightly different design on this I don't know if this is going to work or we're going to find out but now we can actually reach the end right So if I set this up this way, and I just make this really, really obnoxious like this, I can set up traps along the way, which I think would be fun. At least fun for me, right? I should probably make this go out by one, shouldn't I? Because otherwise I'm not going to be able to get the thing that I want to get. Yeah, we need to make this go out by one. Otherwise this is not going to work. That kind of works that way? I think it has to be here. Yeah, that's where it has to be. This is looking good. I'm liking this. We don't need to put anything on the top of that. Need a boulder to fall down? Oh, you'll see. The thing is, is the way that you can actually do this is... Well, that's weird. The way you can do this is actually pretty interesting. So, you can set up a spear trap at the top of this, a bolt trap. And we can make it so that that bolt trap is set up to be second wave and overshoot. Like that. And then all the way down here, we can do a thing like this. There we go. There we go. And just kind of make like a tunnel thing in here. A really simple tunnel thing. Sort of like that.
make this there. And now we have the basis for how tall this is going to be. And I can just keep making this more or less complex as I get more prestige points for this. That entrance room is really the, that's the most important thing. There we go. So now we can dig our way back inside. And I can go into here and we're going to set up some new traps. Let's do probably bolt shot traps. Set them up there, there, there. We'll set this to second wave, second wave, second wave. And then is this... Does that have a second wave? Actually, you know what would be even more interesting? I'm going to do something wild. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. When these are second wave, I don't think it does anything. Yeah, because it makes it so that it's a block before that. We need to have the uh, the second wave with the hologram. That's the biggest one. I just realized this is too tall by one. I think all of those ones work. And now what we can do is we can go and get defenders. We're going to get enforcers. Turn them around like this. And fill as many of these as I possibly can into this room. And then be obnoxious with them. You ready for this? You ready for you ready for these to be obnoxious? See, we can record their AI. And we're going to take them, put them all the way at the top up here, and then cause them to stand guard for every single one of these right at the beginning of the dungeon. So then when he gets up here, there's just going to be a wall of these things in his way, which is really fun. What is this game? It's Meet Your Maker, my dude. A grenade up a ramp. He'd have to land that grenade perfectly. And that's the point, right? If he can do it, awesome. If he can't, F. Okay, impaler there, impaler here. Let's impaler there. Impaler there instead. That'll be good. Um, I 
Let's go check this out. This room is completely set up correctly. This room is interesting, but we have these, so that's fine. Totally random on the floor there for that. And I think now it's just put machines on the walls. Cover the walls and machines. What am I going to do with these wall machines? Let's think about this. I really, really like that. I like that thing a lot. It's really fun. It's interesting because players think that it's like an enemy. Like, sometimes they think that that, that machine is like... I don't even know. They think that it's like a trap and they try to shoot it. Which is very funny to me. fit a couple more impalers on there. There we go. A couple of impalers. Call that one a day, right? The machine blocks do anything? They cause visual and auditory noise. That's what they do. They're loud. They're kind of annoying. <clears throat> and they cause a little bit of, like, visual noise, and it tricks players. <coughs> Because that's the thing. You really, really, really want to cause... Like, anything you can to trick the player. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, if you can do something to trick the player, do it. And you can trick people, like... Just sort of, like, visually... You can trick them. There's all kinds of, like, little noise things you can do. Like, these sound like machines the whole time. And all that kind of adds up a little bit of stress where the player may not realize what's going on just because they're a little bit overwhelmed. So, in some people, it makes the dungeon harder. Like, that's it. They get a little bit more stressed out. And that's sort of what I'm going for, right? It's a little bit what I'm after is... Auditory and visual noise. And we can do that by doing all kinds of stuff. Like this. These all make different sounds. These guys make sounds the whole time. Everything is moving. There's like machinery all over the place. Machinery makes noise. No, I don't think I want to make it, like, slightly different. I mean, it, it is slightly different, but I don't think I need to... I, the biggest thing is, you see this shape with the three things, and you know it's bad. Can you paint over a trap? You can't paint over a trap. That is not a thing it will let you do. And I think they did that specifically so that you couldn't, like, you know, like, cheese. Like, cause some serious, serious problems there. You know what I mean? Because if you... If you were able to paint over a trap, you could basically just get rid of anything, frankly. You just hide stuff. I think we could do that in the closed beta. I think that was a problem with closed beta. Yeah, I think the thing is, is if somebody's seen one of my dungeons before, they're probably going to see the entrance to this one and go, Oh, it's that guy. I'm not doing that. Which I think is funny, personally. 
I find that sort of deeply hilarious, is if I can get someone to just not choose my dungeon because they've seen it before. And I'll know that it's working by the slow decline of players that are going into my dungeon. It's like, wow, no one wants to do my dungeon anymore. I've won. Right? It's That's sort of it. It's like the winning condition for me is that no one wants to do my dungeon anymore. So that's kind of funny for me. Yeah, this shit again. So if I find that less and less players are doing my dungeon, I've done something right, I find out. That's kind of how I feel about it. I do really like this yellow cornering. It just kind of fits, you know, it fits nicely. That one was missing. Okay, let's go into here, into these. And then we'll do some decals. We'll do the blood decal, because we love the blood decal. There we go. Let's psychoanalyze that. I mean, you can if you want to. You'll find that I like making dungeons that kill people. Right? I don't find that to be weird. I like building a dungeon that kills a man. I think this is good. Yeah, this is pretty okay. Got pistons going in here. We've got all the fire traps in here. Let me hear it feels right. Can our little robot go over this? It doesn't have a problem. That's interesting. Cool. I dig that. Trapped in the machine. The machine is bleeding to death. Alright, I don't have enough points to do any of this, so I'm going to cover this whole thing in machine wall. Which is good. It's what we want. And lighting along the floor so that it's visually annoying. We love a good step. Feels good. And I think... I think this is it. I think we're there. Make the lighting a tad misaligned so it makes it extra annoying. Maybe I will. Not a bad idea. It's a grim idea. It's terrible, frankly. But it's not a bad idea. What if I just make it everything really, really bright, right? I just did that. We gotta get this thing up there. Okay, cool. We're trapped in the machine. Machine is good. We like the machine. I think this is... I think we're good. I think this is it. I'm not really going to work on this room yet, because it's not... It's not ready. Right. It's not ready just yet. These are all good. I think we're good there. Finally downloaded the open beta. Have fun, dude. I love this game. It's beautiful. Put it into active mode. No, put it into overdrive. Let it live. Dungeon number two. Dungeon number two is now alive. Now we have two dungeons. Oh, and somebody ran our other dungeon. 
This is how we save the world. One death at a time. They had a duo, and they died 26 times. And they didn't win. 15 minutes of pain. We have to watch the 15 minutes of pain. Oh my god. Look at him go, dude. Okay, we're gonna switch to an open cam. Let's get a res your buddy. One of them's a melee guy, the other one's a... Oh, dead. Let's watch it from inside the dungeon, right? Cooked. Deeply cooked. Reset. Starting again. Very funny. Melee and dead guy, my favorites. I mean, that way they do get, you know, s oh, he, he blocks it, do you see that? Skillful. Skillful block. Yeah, they can only reset the dungeon if they both die, but here's the thing. I build my dungeons with incinerators. And the reason I use incinerators is because those fire infinitely. Infinite firing of the incinerators. Ah, that dude's blocking. That dude's blocking. Incinerators never stop. They just keep recharging. Keep going and going. Ever just get cooked? You ever do that in life? You ever try to try to walk into, you know, a dungeon and then just turn into meatloaf? You ever do that? Look at that guy. He did that. Pretty good. There goes a grenade. Good use of grenade. And dead. Funny. Okay, the reset's happening. Here we go. I can see this game making me very angry. It makes me laugh. I do think the infinite res is a little bit weird to me for like duos. I don't think they should be able to infinitely res one another. Like this, you should be able to do that once. You know what I mean? Am I training AI? No. I'm training real human beings. Real human beings to be better at a video game. To mixed results. Yeah. that guy. He's dead. His body's in the center now. He made it inside the cube. That's where he lives now. His friend wants to get to him. It doesn't seem to be working out for him. He's like, I'm gonna get to my buddy. I'm gonna do oh, he's killed... He's killed all of the dudes. How does he die? How do you end up dying? It's gotta be some way lame, right? The hard part was over! All of the dudes were dead! That's the most difficult part. These guys are the most difficult portion of this. Also, look at these. Look at these, by the way. You, like, have no idea when they're gonna go off. It's obnoxious. I'm 
just gonna watch him fiddle around, dude. What the heck is this game? This is Meet Your Maker. I can finally stream it, because they're in open beta. And I've been wanting to stream this for like months, dude. Multiplayer? Yeah. I'm watching people go through a dungeon that I built right now, and they failed at it, and we're watching a replay. And as you can see, I've got a lot of dudes in here, and a lot of traps in here. And these guys keep trying to kill my dudes and break my traps, but they're not able to do- Oh! He walked into my acid cube. Dead. Dead. But his friend rezzed him, so it's fine. But now he's dead for real. And his corpse is... Somewhere. I don't know where his corpse is. It's somewhere in here. They still haven't even made it to room two. Hello. Get him. Get him. Oh. Roasted. Roasted by the fire trap on the side of the room. You meant to make it deadly or just fun? Depends on what you want to do. I make mine deadly, because I find that fun. I cover them in horrible traps, and I put this marking at the front so people know that it's mine. Oh. You gonna do it? You gonna do it? You gonna, you gonna go in? Nice, nice. Good, good. Oh, dude, yeah, no, it's... They've got some dedication, man. I'm impressed. We're gonna zoom ahead to each one of their deaths. Alright, alright. Oh. Oh, dead to the spike trap. Of all the things you could die to. The spike trap? Oh, they stopped a moment. Here they go. They're not even giving it up even a little, dude. Look at them go. Fails to break. Can they do it? Breaks it. Instantly dies in the acid cube. Alright, let's get close to the next dance. Where are you guys going? Oh, he's frozen. Here we go. That guy died. Where's his buddy? Oh, his buddy's over here. Oh god, he's gonna die in a second here. How you gonna do it, dude? How you gonna do it? If you shoot him, you lose your bullets. And he knows it. Oh, he knows it. Is this live or replay? This is a replay of players who played live. Yeah. We're watching them go through it. This is our security camera footage. From our dungeon. Yeah. We get to see the, their attempt. He's out of bullets. But... But why? Oh, he rezzed his buddy! He rezzed him, dude! And his buddy instantly died! And then he instantly died! And now his buddy's back up. Hey, how you doing? You seem to be alive. Your buddy seems to be dead, though. You might want to go get him. Might want to do that. This corner is too small for two. It's true. It's true. I'm gonna zoom ahead again. We're zooming ahead. Ooh. Oh! Roasted. Roasted, my dude. Alright, zoomed ahead a little bit. That one's well done. A little bit overcooked. How many players can be on a map? Two. Maximum of two. I do everything solo, usually. 
Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Somehow surviving. Very impressive. Although I see right up ahead. You die two more times. Let's go inside and look at him. See what he's doing from here. From the perspective of our shooty boys. What you gonna do? Oh, somehow lives. Somehow lives. I like how the replay is kind of like approximate, you know? What is the incentive to do the harder levels? Once you're in the level, if you don't complete it, you lose rank. So basically, once they're in, they're trapped. And the more that they die, the more that they lose rank anyway. So then it becomes a lost cause. We're like, oh no, I've sent so many deaths into this. If I don't complete, I'm really gonna lose rank now. Which is quite funny. It's a trap, my dude. If you see this on the front of a dungeon, it is a trap. I have made a trap. You don't want to do these. If you see this, don't do that dungeon. You'll have a brutal time. Because I now have enough traps to give you a brutal time. That being said, I'm very interested in something. So, let's leave this. We're going to go look at something. Because someone the managed to complete the dungeon. Your outpost custodian. And I want to see the one and where they, it, they won it. See this? Us. These guys won. How? How did they win? That means that we have something we have to fix. There's something that these guys did that allowed them to beat this. And they did really well. Yeah, those guys never saw room two. These guys beat it. Which is impressive. So I think I'm gonna zoom forward a few times. Yeah, I'm just gonna zoom forward a few times so we can see like... Because they don't beat it till the very end. Like, they don't even get the gen mat until later. Alright. So now we're almost there. They've learned how to disassemble the first room. I just have to go back. Okay, we're gonna go back. Just one so that I can see how they disassemble that first room. There we go. So they shoot this with three darts there. They have all three of their darts on that. It looks like they're trying to disable specifically the incinerators. So they got all three incinerators here, all three incinerators there, and they got three over there with darts. Smart. The incinerators are definitely the most dangerous part of this entire room. He's using his shield. They killed the guys on the right side so that he could go around the left side and break all of the traps. And I think he's going to end up getting his darts back as a result. And he's using his shield to deflect any of the types of attacks that he would normally get from these traps. So slowly but methodically. Smart. It's not co-op cheese. It's quite good so far. I mean, it's a little bit of co-op cheese, right? The monster's the most dangerous thing in the room? The monsters are the most dangerous thing in the room, generally, but when you've taken off half of them, the only thing you have to worry about then is the incinerators, because the incinerators fire, 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 fire. I do think that if you die in one of these, you should only be able to be res once. I think that's my biggest feedback that I have. Infinite res, I think, is a little gross. You know what I mean? Alright, good. They triggered that trap. That's interesting. Everything in this room is destroyed. They're doing this right. One piece at a time. 
These guys are just freaking out. I don't even know what they're doing. Like, oh. In a second here, one of them is going to die. But now they've disassembled the room. They're actually doing a very good job. Like a really good job. Still doing a good job. Roast room. Nice deflection. Oh, got his buddy. Got his buddy down, dude. Thank you, by the way, Jadong, for the prime sub. That's super nice of you. He's got to res his friend. That's good. Res his friend. Now, the last thing that they have to do is trigger off the crazy bullshit end room. Because everything else in here is pretty much dead. Is the demo the beta? Yes. Go ahead and download the demo to open beta. It's great, dude. Oh. Cooked. All right. Now we're into the stairs. Okay. His buddy's down. Oh, he can't get near his buddy. This little dude is chasing after him. I think this guy has a full melee build, by the way. I don't think he actually has a ranged weapon. I think he's full melee. Oh, he's afraid. Look at him. He has fear, dude. Look at his fear. He was able to raise his friend there? His friend died all the way up here. What? That's weird. I don't like that. I don't even think a res opportunity should time out. I think it should be limited, right? Infinite res seems a little silly. One of the mobs at the end died from friendly fire? They do. I actually have to give them armor. That's the biggest problem they have right now. Oh, it also looks like this gets two gen mats. Limited end timeout? Yeah, I agree with that. As long as it's limited. Like, limited is kind of the way. The fact that it's unlimited right now feels a little bit weird. Three lives per player? I'd say only one, man. Okay, they figured this out. Good. They're going to have another death here in a second. <clears throat> Thank you, by the way. Thank you for the tier one sub. It's very nice of you. Yeah, see? Yeah, I don't like the infinite deaths. It's not very interesting to me, is infinite resing. Infinite resing seems a little bit lame to me, you know what I mean? I don't think it should be infinite resing. Yeah. You just canary your friend and then clear it. Yeah, exactly. And that's... I don't think that's good. I don't think it's good for the game. Yeah, they're just resing the whole way. I don't like that that's a thing. I don't I don't think that's good for the game is what I'm saying. Is just being able to do that. <clears throat> you both have to grab one? Yeah, you do. Yeah, it looks like the only people that are beating my dungeon are the ones that are using teams. Which is kind of shit. Right? Because they're just doing the infinite res thing. So that seems like the meta now. Which I don't think that's very good. <clears throat> I think it should be an overdrive versus not overdrive thing. Well, my dungeon's currently overdrive. So like... 
you know, like the dungeon is in overdrive. So I don't know. A little bit weird. Make solo players dual wield? Solo players already dual wield. What do you mean dual wield? The problem is that in co-op, they're infinitely resing each other, which is sort of shit, right? Like, it removes the whole point of the gameplay, which is that you have, like, one life. Like, one death. Yeah, infinite res is not good. I think I'm going to leave that as my big feedback, because infinite res is not good. That's not a good thing. So this guy dies, like, instantly here. And then he doesn't die again for a while. Well. So what happens to him? What does he do? Professional level feedback right there. No, I mean, it's really that, dude. Like, infinite res isn't good because... This entire game is based around the fact that you die in one hit and enemies, you know, you have to overcome the dungeon perfectly. And when you have a mechanic, which is the infinite res system with co-op, it completely undermines that. So it ends up being a different game. It's like playing Minecraft with creative mode, right? Like, that's it. You're not playing Minecraft anymore. You're playing Minecraft with creative mode, which is, that's sort of how this feels because they can just undo all their mistakes. The idea of this is that you have to undo your mistakes by doing it again, which is the whole point. So if they take that away in a co-op setting, it's just not, that's not good. That is not a good thing, IMO. So since that's the thing, I'm probably going to turn overdrive off on these. I think I'm probably going to end up turning overdrive off, most likely. I wonder if the infinite lives is just a beta thing. I would never feel that way about any of this kind of stuff. I would say that if something has, if there is a mechanic in a game and you are currently playing a beta test, tell them that it sucks if it sucks, right? Because you never know if it's like only a beta thing or this is the plan the or, you know, like maybe it's a bug and it they gets through. So like, I'm always going to err on the so side of caution of just, them just tell first. them what it feels bad. And it definitely feels bad. That part feels bad. The rest of the game feels awesome. Uh, when you make a challenge in creative and then someone comes and busts down the back wall in creative, it doesn't feel like you worked for something. Yeah, that's true. I agree with that. Oh. Maybe stop reses when you pick the thing at the end and you'll get one shot to get out. No, I think just one res per person, right? Even that is still good. Still provide feedback. I'm just curious if there's a beta only variables in place. There could be. There absolutely could be. I mean, there's, there's all kinds of stuff that might be missing. Cop is easier already because you're two. Having an infinite revive seems unfair. Limiting one could be the best thing. That's exactly what I think. I think limiting it to one makes the most amount of sense. Because you're already getting an advantage with two people. And you're getting an extra advantage with one extra res. But infinite reses? That's a little ridiculous, right? That's eh, it's getting kind of dumb at that point. And I, I think it undermines the whole point of the game. Two total revives per run? That makes sense too. Or just one total revive per run. Whatever it's going to be. You already have an advantage with two people. Because that means, like, six future. bolts. Six bolts in a dungeon that can get rid of traps? Action. That's a big deal, man. This world together. The few survivors still out there are mostly corrupted from the disease. It's... It's not... You got it. Yes. Bingo. Maybe, maybe, you know what? You know what actually be really interesting? What if they have to use a phoenix pod to res their ally? That would make the most sense. Because then there's a reason to build a phoenix pod. You would get two revives, I but after you use one. your revive on your buddy, your buddy can't be revived again because you don't have another you phoenix have, pod, uh -huh. but he can revive you back. Yeah. Can you pick up the other player's bolt? No, you can't. That's kind of, that kind of doesn't matter. Did you play Dark and Darker? I didn't like the speed of that game, actually, Crundle. I don't like the the swing of that the hammer. You're like, oh. like that. Just it feels so bad to me. And that's going to be a personal thing, right? Like I just don't. 
I don't like the the old man swing, dude. You play the Slay the Princess. No, I've never played that. I don't even know what that is. But yeah, Dark and Darker, I, I, I played a little bit of it, and I was like, nope. No the two Anders are slow. The magic felt kind of bad. The Thief is good because it's fast, right? That's the issue. The Thief is good because it's fast. But magic felt bad. The swinging felt bad on everything else. The Thief felt really good. Yeah, that game is basically stealth and backstabby, and that's it. What if there's secrets in here? I wonder if there's secrets in the open beta that weren't in the closed beta, because there's a bunch of stuff in here. They have new voice lines and things. Let's kind of search around here, man. You have to build your own dungeon? Or are you allowed to just run others? We could just run others. You can just run others the whole time, but I, I built them because I like the building aspect. I think it's fun. A bunch of doors and stuff that aren't open. Oh. It's the weird man that runs on his hands and feet. You hate to look at him. Like, he's gross to look at, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's... I, you're gross to look at, little dog man. Goblino, dude. Yeah, he's creepy. I don't like him. That's why I kill them every time I go into a dungeon. He is the tour guide, it's true. Advisor shared amongst the sank. Take care. All right. So, this dungeon now has 94 more kills. Let's go into it and go pick up all the loot because there's free stuff in there. You're like five little dogmen? More like 50. What are you going to do about it, Crundle? I'm like 50 little dogmen in, in one big suit. Yeah. Terrifying, I know. There's so many deaths. Oh, it's beautiful. It's it's everything I ever wanted and more. Oh god, look at it. Look at it! Look at it! Oh, the loot. Every one of these was someone dying. Every one of them was a guy going, ah! Oh. Every time. Every time one of these things fell on the floor, someone was upset in the world. I gained vitamins from that. Zero parts collected because I'm at max. I'm at maximum parts already. I'm at maximum parts, and I think maximum percent like... Oh my god. There's so... There's just so many. This guy fell in here. Oh. It's just so many of them. Oh yeah. Look at this. They're just everywhere, dude. Every one of these was someone being upset. Every one of these was a, a moment of a guy maybe thinking about quitting the game. Every one of them. This guy thought about it, dude. He didn't. He probably didn't do it, but he thought. About it. This is vitamins, dude. Every one of these is vitamins for Thor. I'm slowly becoming immortal by watching people die in the video game while they play my my dungeon, dude. And I love seeing all of them like right here at the beginning, right? Now, there's so many of them. There's just so many of these. Dear God, man. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> you can just see, like, the infinite number of these slowly increasing in the beginning, and then as they get past this room. Look, this room is also deeply deadly. And then after this room, it's not deadly anymore. Which means our other room is trash. That's right. The other room is garbage. See so now we fix that? Now we fix that. We make a second one, just like this, that's exactly the same. What if we just made three of these exact rooms in a row? What if we just... Just like three of this exact same room... In a line. And they get through the first one, and then they're like, Oh god, thank god we got through that. And they turn the corner, and it's this room again. And it's, it's just the same. It's just exactly the same as the last one. They died so much here. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh. It's just, it's just beautiful. Look at that. Look at it. Just look at it, man. It's just beautiful. 
How many deaths? I've looked at all of them now. That's pretty good. Who's this? Alright. I think it's all of them. Beautiful. It's pretty good. Pretty good amount of deaths, dude. There's one death left that I haven't seen. No. I'm Zoltralord with style. Zoltralord is like a weird photocopy of me. It's true. It's true. He wishes he could be like this. He wishes he could be the level of goblin that I am. Oh, it's so good. Now let's go look at the other one. Let's see where the other one is doing. By the way, I think I'm going to prestige that one again. I think I'm going to prestige it so we can get even more bullshit in there, right? All right. A lot of death right in the beginning, you know, as you expect it, as they learn the dungeon. This one is always funny. What if... What if I got rid of this? I wonder if that would that would improve. I don't know. Because I think one of the things that they're doing is they're using the, like, corner spot to hide. You know what I mean? They're, like, using these to hide. And I feel like maybe... Maybe getting rid of this would make it so that they can't do that because maybe this would hit. I oh, know it's slightly off, isn't it? Hmm. hmm. Acid instead of floor, it can't do that. You have to let the robot move forward. If the robot can't reach the end, you lose, right? That's sort of it. In the corners? You brilliant bastard. I like that. We're doing that. Oh, we're doing that. I like that a lot. That's disgusting. You're disgusting. I can't wait to try that. Holy shit. Okay, hold up. We're 100% going to do that. We are 100% doing that. You're a goblin. Did you know that? Did you know that you're a goblin? How does it feel to know that? Okay, hold up. Here we go. This is gonna be gross. Ready to make this absolutely Power disgusting? Grip on the wasteland More dead! With each corpse in your outpost. What do you mean, two? What do you mean, two? And you got the flag. What do you, what do you mean two? This is like when you watch a speedrunner beat your game for the first time as a dev. And like on round one, like he's never seen this dungeon before. This guy's never seen the dungeon before.
He razzed me at the end. Did you see that? Did you see that? That man razzed my dungeon. The bastard. The bastard. All right. All right. Here's how we fix this. We had more randomness. Oh, I can't let that be like that. No, we can't. We can't let this be this way. We can't. That has to go. That has to be punished. We have to punish. He pun he razzed me at the end, dude. He did a little swirly camera. He's like, <laughs> could it be a viewer? Could be. Could be one of you. Being a goblin? Could be. 100%. That was impressive, though. Even doing that, like, perfectly, that's still goddamn impressive, dude. Like, even doing it in the way that he did, it was still very, very impressive to watch. With that being said, I have to punish it. There's no other way. He literally just walked through here. Didn't give a shit. No. We have to prestige this, number one. Time to prestige it. Yeah, we're going to early prestige. We get a cool ring. Love cool rings. Love cool rings. You'd love to see it. So now... Wait, what the hell? That's not what I want to get rid of. Get rid of that. Randomize this. What's that horrible noise? It's like a weird sound. You hear that? Randomize there. No, we don't want that. Now that I think about it. It's like a horrible noise. Like a ringing sound in the game. I think it, it took one of the noises from the prestige. Like messed it up. Yeah, I'm gonna exit the outpost and go back in. That is obnoxious. Whatever that sound is. Use the capacity bug to end the co op players? I'm not gonna use a capacity bug. Your outpost kills a mother. It's still playing. This is what how is that we sound? Save the world. One death at a time. Whatever that sound is, it's permanent. I, I'm ending the client and restarting it. That is an awful noise. Whatever the hell that was, that shit is awful. You don't hear anything? It, it's like a high-pitched whining noise. That just wouldn't stop. It was like an absolutely horrible, high-pitched whining sound. The moment that I prestiged, it just started and it would never stop. Bomb traps are great. Bomb traps are very good. The problem with bomb traps is if you use them wrong, their chaos kills all your other traps, right? Maybe your headphones can't play it. Could be. Might also be too high-pitched for your ears. Which is possible. Why does it say ready to launch? Just launch. I clicked play. I have a video of a guy going up a dead end to avoid a dart trap. And getting cornered by 10 bombs. That's pretty funny. That is very funny. Yes, Sky Storm King, what's up? Is there something you need? Hmm? Huh? And the horrible sound you is gone. Will be rewarded for empowering me. No, it's back. What is that? And now it just stopped. It was like the... The, like, you're gaining stuff sound, but playing forever. Overwatch is doing a Doomfist plus One Punch Man. That's kind of cool. I dig that. Yeah. It started at first, and then it just went away. So, like, it sounded like it was the, uh, like, the recharge or refill noise that just played forever. Which is not what you want, right? All right, so let's think about this. Let's think about this. We've got a couple more of these in the way now.
Those will stop that from being a problem. That stops that. That guy definitely memed on the dungeon, though. We gotta find a better way to do this. Like, 100%. You know what? Idea. Wait, no. Those have them go up to the top of the room. What if we have them stand here? Because this is going to kill anything that's in the way, right? We're going to do a good old-fashioned body block, my dude. We're going to bring all these little lads to the bottom of the stairs. And we're going to body block like a bastard. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. This is, this is it. This is the way. This is how we do this. The whole football team is here. That's it. The whole football team, man. All right. We've done it. He could grenade, but the thing is, is if he grenades, he has to pull back. Stops his momentum. That's what we want. We want him to grenade. Because he can't run through his own grenade, he'll die. Ah. At a frequency at exactly 8 hertz. It was awful sounding. It was literally like the worst noise. I couldn't handle it at all. Oh, actually, I just realized something. I have enough pieces I want to get okay. this guy. The dumbest raiders don't look up, so position some guards above. Hmm. What if we do this, right? Kilohertz? Okay, that makes sense. Warmonger. And then... We go in there and we put a warmonger in there. We put a couple of warmongers in there, right? What if we did that? What if we actually get rid of some of the archer guys and put warmongers in there instead? And we just make them sit there. And they just wait. Let's go try that. Because warmongers are those dudes that are like melee dudes, right? And they're nasty. They're like really obnoxious. So we can go all the way up here and be like, gone and gone. And then come down here and be like, I want the warmonger, man. And we can just put him... You know, we could just put them like... You're inside of the, the people's room. That's what it is. You just do that, right? Now it's obnoxious. Now it's what you hate. Deep hatred is what that is. You can choose one side. Let's actually... You know... Why stop at two? Why... Why stop at two? Would they get cooked by the fire traps? Yes, but if they can manage to football block you, 
you lose. And that's it. We just need them to be stopped. We need the player to not be able to move forward. And we can put another one here, and then be like, you. Your job is to come here and stand guard. Oh yeah, no. They're gonna die pretty fast. It's not about them dying or not. It's about them being in the way. The moment that they're in the way, this room becomes deeply deadly. And that's the issue for them. That is the whole point, is that this room is more deadly the longer you stay in it. What if we got rid of this? And got rid of that. Can we put another one? We can't. So that's fine. Yeah, that's fine for now. I think this will work. All right. We're good. Yeah, I could do clever trap, avoiding guards. I could do that. Or I could fill the room with football players and stop anyone from getting through. Your outpost kills a mother. This is how we save the world. One death at a time. We're saving the world, guys. This guy manages to get through. So... That's- that was under the old system. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait until we see the new one. Let's go run somebody's map. Interesting. Interesting. Wait and see. Was the other outpost? No, it had plus seven. So anyway, how many of these are there? Are there any more of these? Like, holy crap, dude. There's one of my bullets. There's another bullet. If you want to send it to the devs? Yeah. Thanks, dude. If you just want to take a clip of it, too, we can just give them that. Because they'd want to see, like, what happened around it, not just the isolated audio. You know what I mean? They'd, they'd want to see, like, why that just occurred. The sound itself, they can find pretty easily. Where is my bullet? I don't actually remember where it went. I'm not seeing any blue anywhere. I think I shot this when I missed. Huh. Well, it's gone now. Let's see if this guy's dungeon has anything else going on. game. Yeah, that one's dead. Bye. Couple of headshots there. Oh, this is a weird entrance. Look at this. Look at this like clowns, dude. 
Hi. Is this dungeon legit sent in the class? Is that what this is? What? How did that... What? I'm a little bit mad, actually. I feel like that should have actually killed that. played Wasteland 3? No. I have not. What is this? Rube Goldberg kill machine of hell. Did he just fly into that cube and die? Did that one also just fly into that cube and die? I think there's a lot of cube flying in death. Sir? That one's dead. Nope. Oh my god, dude. That was so close. It was so close I felt it. Like in my bones. The enemies just keep getting cooked. I don't know why. This geometry is very strange. Okay. Okay. It's time to cook. It's happening, dude. We love a good roast, dude. Now that those are all done, there we go. I to get all my bullets back. Interesting little trap room. I liked that. That was fun.
free stuff. I feel like that should be a trap. You know what I mean? Ho oh. ho ho! All right, I've got all three bullets. We're entering a new trap room, it looks like. This is where this guy spent all of his points. Like, 100%. We know that he spent all of his points in here because those are very expensive. Not anymore. Not anymore. Jesus, man. This is so many traps in this room, dude. So many of them. <laughs> this room is just gross. The floor is lava, dude. Everything is lava, dude. That ain't gonna work. I'm gonna need to... I may have screwed up a little bit in the dismantling of this room. Because I'm gonna need to jump over there. Ooh, I got stuck in the wall. <laughs> oh, 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 this room is bad. This room is full of nightmares and bad. A little bit toasty. But now that I got that one, I can dismantle the rest. I just needed to get my bullets back. That was kind of the dangerous thing there, because I didn't have any bullets. But now I do again. All of those are done. I wasn't even afraid of touching that because there's nowhere in the room he could add more traps. Right? You know, like... Whoever built this... Coated every surface in traps. But now I'm very concerned in the way out. 
because there were so many different walls and weird stuff everywhere throughout this dungeon. They could 100% be traps now. It's a fun one, man. Like that. See that? That's a trap now. I remember if that was a trap. Oh. Yeah, really warm welcome indeed, dude. Air fryer. It's 100% an air fryer. That was fun. It's a cool dungeon. Cool dungeon, man. Yeah, I put artistic because the clown entrance, dude. I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. I like that. Is there any bonus for speed? I don't know. The blood spills in your outpost, custodian. And through it, you sustain us. Hmm. Other sanctuaries don't want to Feed the fish. Feed the fish. Extract the, the juice. Of these contributions. The Kool-Aid. Yes. Yes. It's flowing down the tube, dude. That that tube is flowing backwards. That's someone put the texture on the wrong way, dude. That's that's not how the gift goes, you know? Yet my soul remains. It's quite funny. Let's go take a look at the dungeons. What do we get? 30 deaths in here. Not bad, not bad. This one needs a tune-up. This one needs a tune-up. You playing get Graveyard Keeper? Everyone keeps asking me to play Graveyard Keeper. I get that like 50 times a week now. Maybe. I don't know. I keep hearing it's very good. But I do think it's really interesting. When are you going to play it? I don't know. Maybe I will. But you have to remember, Meet Your Maker just happened. Yeah, we're going to do Lava Corner. I'm going to do Lava Corner. Meet Your Maker just became a thing. Harry Potter comes out tomorrow. Like, this week is going to be so many video games already, dude, that, like, I almost feel bad about it because I never, I never get to play games on stream. Like, I only do it once a week usually. And this whole week is just games. Like, this whole week is just games, man. And, like, outside of that, we're working on Harp Out, right? That's basically it. Just one more week of games? No! I gotta make video games that you play. Just play games all week? I'm gonna play games all week. We're, this is the week of video games. 50, 50 times a week from Confidant? It might actually all be from Confidant. In fact, I'm going to Nightbot right now. I'm going to go look up our logs. I'm going to look up the word graveyard. And we're going to say last 100 chat entries. Confidant. Confidant. Since January 30th, I've been asked one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. So I was exaggerating. Six of them were you. <laughs> it's literally just confidant. Now it's going to become a meme. Now you're all going to ask me. It's going to be like the new happy birthday, dude. I might play it, though. Everybody keeps saying it's a good game. And I love supporting my fellow indie devs, like 100%. So... I will most likely play it, but not yet, because we have so many other games to play. Don't you happy birthday, don't you dare. Gross. All right, we need to prestige this bad boy. I don't know, building materials. Wait, what? 
Why does it have building materials? What? Oh. I need 275 of the synthite stuff. Ugh. I think we're going to set this to active for now. Not overdrive. We're going to set the other one to overdrive because the other one's a badass. Three of the top streamers playing Meet Your Maker are German and that just fits. Dude, I noticed that there was a lot of, like, German names as we've been going through the game. And I think that's awesome. That's really cool. I can go in here now. What does overdrive do? It makes it so you get more points when people die, but if they succeed, they steal 300 gen mat. Which is, like, brutal, right? What? How did you... How are they... I've had that happen before, and it's very funny. So you're not wrong. Like, literally at all. Alright, so... Now what I'm gonna do is this. I'm actually going to... Just think about this. We're gonna get rid of one dude. We only need the one. We're going to go down here. Why can't I get rid of that? Game? It's kind of weird, right? Whoever gets this, by the way, they should. Deeply funny. Deeply, deeply funny. But how do we get out of here now? Well, that's not good. Right? There we go. Put that on the floor. No way out of... Oh, there's way out. Okay, that one's good. Those are both done. So now... This one can't be removed. I think it's part of the floor. It's part of the, like, the natural environment. So there's not really anything I can do about that one. Which is... Unfortunate. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about this one. However, these two are now annoying. Which is funny. Can't delete it because there's loot on it? There's no loot here. There's no loot there. It's just an undeletable floor. There are some floors that are like un undeletable. And that's the issue, is that one is just undeletable. Which is fine. I just have to work around it, you know? Although I do like this new terrible thing that we've made. Trap attached to the block in front of it. It was not that one. Yeah, this one is an undeletable block. This is an undeletable block. See? I cannot delete it. That one cannot be deleted. It's because you see that bedrock underneath it? That black stone? That means it's part of the environment. Like, there are certain blocks that cannot be destroyed that you have to work around. Um, that's one. These here, like, see this? They're those. But they're underneath the, the metal. That's all it is. It's just that. So that's fine. We just work around it. Not a big deal. And now these, I'm going to give them splatter. And splatter. So they can be as annoying as they can possibly be. 
And then, what else can we do? What else can we do? Let's think about this. You're playing this game to completion? You're funny. I think that'll be good for now. Let's go to the other one and see if I can't add something else to the other one real fast. Because the other one might be able to get those corner pieces like that. I don't know. I managed to take your advice so far. I cut out soda three days in a row and I replaced it with water. I'm very proud, but it was pretty tough in the first two days. Dude, it feels like you go through withdrawals. It is the shittiest feeling at first. So hell yeah, dude. Power to you. Now we can prestige. You can have multiple bases? Yeah, five of them active, 200 total. I did, it's really weird because now I feel less hungry throughout the day. Uh, that weird? It's weird, right? But yeah, I, I understand. It's totally a thing and it's super strange. Yeah, only five active at a time. You can't activate more than five at once. Which is a good thing. Even, like, having a couple of them running is, is kind of a hassle, man. Like, it's already a lot of effort to do this. People leave, like, an uncovered cube in their bedrock so often? They really do, don't they? They really do. Did the prestige bug out in the cost again? Yeah, it does every time. I just... I just don't use over the cap. I think we're good to go now. Have to check it again. Four death replay for me with delicious vitamins? Hell yeah. Forget the outpost you have created. Feed them the Kool-Aid. Cool. Cool. I keep showing this one. We're going to watch it real fast. The flank guards always work. Dude, flank guards are really good. Flank guards are definitely super good. You set a guard in the back and you have them like run around behind them. And it's really funny. No one expects it. You would make them wait like 30 seconds and then you do it. Let's see how this guy died. I fast forward him a little bit. How are you going to die? Oh, it's going to be funny. Roasted. Let's go for another one. See how he gets in. Okay, he made it up to the next room, and smushed. It's 
really funny. Oh, look at him go! Roasted. Deeply roasted. You know what I need to do next? These need to kill everything that's nearby. So they need to be heater rooms. Because those pistons can actually be heated, which makes them basically deal damage if they're touched from any side. They'll kill you. So if I replace all of these with pistons across the whole room, this room would be way more dangerous. And the angular ones, I keep those as, as roasters, you know. That seems like the way to do this. Unfortunately for this guy, he's doing such a good job going through and killing all of this. But then he dies there. Which is really funny. Yeah, I don't eat very much food anymore because I don't have sugar anymore now. Like, I never have sugar anymore. At all. I cut it completely out of my diet, and I feel really, really good about it now. Um, I lost about 60 pounds. I went from... No, actually, I've, I've lost more now. I went from 260 pounds down to 185. And I'm just at 185 now. And that's basically it. I just sit at 185. There's something just so satisfying about that room. Over how long of a period? About a year. Been about a year. Something like that. Travel to your outpost, custodian. I refuse. And look upon the carnage you have wrought. Instead, let's go to the death piston, and we'll look upon burning piston, which we don't have enough synthite for. God damn it. Keep running out of synthite, man. Keep running out of synthite. Hmm. I was about 260 pounds, man. I used to be. Yeah. And I dropped down to 185, and I have not gained more weight in over a year. It's been over a year. I'm six foot two, by the way. Gotta be a pick of that? I don't know. I was very, very heavy. But I'm not anymore. I had, like, this whole thing where I had, like, necks. I had, like, a million necks. I could do this, and I'd have, like, three. Yeah. I don't have those anymore. Got rid of them. Now I have a singular neck, right? One. Who's this guy? Kinslayer, dude. Oh? Oh? And dead. Well, he tried. That's what matters. He's gonna try again, too. You seem way too disciplined to ever have it get that far out of control. Props to you. I am that disciplined now because I did let it get out of control. And that's the reason, right? So, like... I used to not take care of myself, and I used to just kind of let it go until I realized, oh, I'm going to die. And um, now I am very, very dedicated to it. I weigh myself when I wake up in the morning. I weigh myself before I go to bed at night. I know how much I weigh every single day. Today it was 185.4 pounds. So that's how much I weighed this morning. Um, I make sure to drink two full of these every day of water. And the only type of sodas that I'll drink are these, which are zero sugar, Zero added sugars. No sugar substitute of any kind. It is just carbonated water and natural flavor, and that's it. I drink stuff like this. That's it. The only other thing that I'll have in terms of a sugar intake is if I get a liquid death, the lime versions, which have like two grams of agave nectar as their sugar substitute. So it's not like aspartame or some shit, right? How tall am I? Six foot two. What do you eat in the regular then? Let me show you. Now don't tell Twitch that I showed you this, all right? They're gonna, they'll ban me. But here's my... I'm gonna show this to you. One moment. I have to, I have to turn this on. My desktop there. My tasteful nudes folder. Don't let Twitch know. It's secret, right? I'm gonna show you this picture. This is bok choy from my garden. 
Those are oyster mushrooms from my mushroom farm, because I grow mushrooms myself. And I do oyster mushrooms and lion's mane and shiitake um, and reishi mushroom. This is kimchi that's homemade. So I make my own kimchi. I slice it all up. I do all this stuff myself. Uh, and then the ham comes from the store and the noodles come from the store. And I just take the normal cheap ramen packets and then add all my own ingredients to it. And it's just good, right? And I eat this like once a day. Sometimes I'll eat some trash, right? Maybe I'll go to Wendy's once in a while and just be like, the other day I went to Wendy's and I got like a shitty hamburger. And I was like, all right. And that's my one for the month, right? Rest of the time I eat stuff like this. I try to eat things that have a lot of different foods in it. I eat fermented foods. I eat a lot of vegetables. I grow a lot of stuff. And that's, that's basically it. That's the whole deal. And I love it, man. It's so tasty. It's like really, really tasty. And it's cheap, too. That... That ramen that I just showed you cost me about a dollar thirty to make, the whole thing. That was it. There's just some shiny veggies. Yeah, grew them myself, man. I don't want to ban you from OnlyFans. I know, dude. It, God, it pisses me off. So like, April Fool's Day, like last year, maybe it's two years ago. April Fool's Day, I was like, I'm gonna make an OnlyFans for the joke, like for the meme, right? And um. I was going to make it all of my tasteful nudes fo photos, like all the the ramen that I make. And they, they refused to approve me. They wouldn't do it. So I just did nothing for April Fool's Day that year. And I love April Fool's Day. That's my favorite day of the year. That is my favorite day of the year. And they wouldn't let me do it. Who died? Who died in this place? Pick up some more stuff. It's weird that it says zero synthite collected. <clears throat> I feel like I should be gaining Synthite from this, you know what I mean? Football players, grrr. Too damn tasteful, it's true, dude. Deeply upsetting for me. Alright, those are all done. We got our cool cube floor now. Where's our last death? Oh, he died all the way here. Well, what? All right. Out we go. Why are you like this, Peter? Who made you this way? By the way, Thor, thanks for your words of advice. Applied to a pen testing position. Managed to get to the last three interviews, and they cut me off because of my background. Coming from biology and not anything IT. But it's still more than I expected. And now I can try to get some certs and get some experience with other people to clear HR in the future. Dude, that's great. Red team positions are tough, man. Like, I, I've done that a lot. And if you got through three rounds of interviews with no technology background, you're doing good. It's you're doing to just think fine. Of myself as a clone. I feel the first Emma's memories as if I lived them. You get the hollow cube. What if I get the hollow cube, right? And what if if I got the hollow cube? You know what I mean? I could do some bullshit with a hollow cube. Oh, wait a minute. A bit of arts and crafts for you, custodian. What if we use the iron claw? What if we use the iron claw? I feel like the claw is like the way. You know what I mean? It's iron claw time, guys. We're gonna go back into our dungeon right now. Can you claw someone into the incinerator? Now you know what's up. <clears throat> so, we're going to go back into Belfield, which is our big boy dungeon. And we're going to put in some claws. I need some claws. I also need to stop, like, having phlegm in my throat. It's great. Pretty much fantastic. So what if... What if instead of an incinerator in this one, we just have a claw? Because I'm pretty sure the claw just keeps clawing, right? We could also put a claw like here and there, which would be very, very funny. All 
ideas. You know, just like, because we know the claw goes like, uh, and we'll like follow them. So that would be pretty funny, you know what I mean? Put some claws in there. It won't let me do the thing I want to do, unfortunately. Let's think about this. We have a little bit of points left. What if... What if claw, though, right? Like, what if the claw? What if instead of an incinerator there, we put another claw? Like, we just put claws all over the place that are just so annoying. I think this is the way to do it, man. The claw. Oh my god, oh my god. we can just cover the walls and claws. We can just be terrorists. This whole thing is just a nightmare. We can just... We can just... You know, like... We can just claw. We can just claw. Alright. I think this is good. We've just replaced a bunch of stuff with claws. Created a little bit of mayhem. Everything's cool. It's good. I know, right? There's so many games that have come out at the same time. Oh my god. A death trap and raiders march to the slaughter. 27 kills, my dude. Alright. I gotta see this pain. I gotta- I gotta watch this pain. We're gonna watch these two. 27 deaths. Where are you doing? Where are you going? What are, you, what are you doing? You climbing? Oh, they're looking for they're looking for mistakes. Look at them. Smart. Good. Get some cool stuff. Big vent. Yeah, they're pen testing. That's what they should be doing, man. Get out there. Look at stuff. Right? People make mistakes in the dungeons all the time. I'm I take a long time to sit down and make sure that there's no mistakes in my dungeon. It's like I want to get it. What if I could just cheese through the floor? What if- what if I could just get the gen mat? What if I could just do that? Did he just die somehow? Did you see that? Is there- Is there friendly fire? How did he just die? Is there friendly fire? Can you accidentally melee your buddy? That's funny as hell. Look at him. Look at this nerd. Look at you go. Get out of here. Oh, you just gonna, you just. Alexa, play Despacito. Can't believe that. Can't believe it, dude. You just abandoned that. Can you change the location of the end goal? Nope. Randomized. I refuse to stop it, service. There's nothing you can do. Oh. 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 There it goes. Those two people walked into that room and exited as a hamburger. Now one of them is rethinking his life choices while the other one plays the game. Extra crispy. 
They're also both playing the melee guy. I don't think... Wow, that's... I think you're dead, dude. You might be dead. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get your body up. I'm gonna get him up. He's dead. Oh. Do they have, like, a timer before they can res the guy? Is that... Is that what I'm seeing? Like, is that what's going on? Oh, there we go. Pretty good. Nice grenade. Your friend's dead, though. He did this thing where he became extra crispy. Yeah, ex extra crispy. That's what your, your buddy's extra crispy. Right? I'm going to change these walls right here into more pistons. And more pistons on this side than this one. And then we're going to make all the pistons heated pistons. Which is obnoxious. And then these right here and right here are going to become hooks. Because that's pretty funny to watch. The gym is deeply hilarious to me, is what that is. Like an on-demand delivery roast deck. Like that. What happens when the hook hits a piston? I have no idea. Probably death. Look at that. It's the machine, dude. We're building the inside of a machine. You're trapped in the machine, and the machine is burning to death. Oh, look, our little lad. He's so polite, he waits. Look at him waiting. Look at him waiting for each piston. Look at him go. Yeah, I like those ones. I do enjoy that as well. Well, they didn't make it into the hell room yet. Yeah. It is an engine. And we've built an engine. See, look. Chunk, 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 chunk. And all I have to do now is we got to make it so that these guys are on fire. Which is the next upgrade. Oh, that one died. The other thing I could do is make it so that all of my shooty boys have armor, which would be funny. How's the 10 hours to meet your baker been? Well, right now, I've created a big piston machine, and I'm watching two sad lads walk their way into it while it is actively on fire. It's not really working out for them, right? So let's go watch them for a moment. Here they are. Hello, lads. Welcome to hell. As you can see, it's... It's very hot. A little bit like a big crispy oven, right? Kentucky Fried Teammate. Delicious. Oh! He's gonna get you. He's gonna get you. He's gonna get you. He's waiting to res his body. Oh! Did he just... 
<laughs> he just like wiggled out of existence, dude. I don't even know what just happened there. But it was funny. Wow, that was quick. Kentucky Fried Custodian. That's exactly what it is, dude. It's still KFC. I feel like... I feel like this is quite funny. This oh, look at him. He's trapped. Nope. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. Doesn't really work that way. I just want to... I kind of want to put that out there. It doesn't... Doesn't really work that way, you know what I mean? This guy's doing it, always oh, doing it. And then he wasn't. Oh. Oh. The smushers, dude. There's so many smushers. Smushers and roasters and roasters and smushers, you know. It's a good dungeon. I'm proud of this. Let's go back into it and make it worse. Let's make it even more horrifying. On the oh look, even more people have died. Each corpse in your outpost. Somebody made it through. But he died 12 times. Worth. Alright, let's go into here. And we're going to update this because 69 people have died. Nice. Nice. Yeah, a solo made it. I kind of want to see how he did it. It's probably going to be like super fast pace, you know? Oh my... Oh my god, dude. Just... So, oh, hey, uh, good shout on these like corner cubes of death sadness. I'm implementing those from now on. They're just, um, they're basically like little loot trash cans that are filled up with dead people. And I, I sort of like that, right? I feel like they're, they really bring a lot of, you know, brightness to the place. Really kind of fills it out. So thank you for that. Yeah, body pits, dude. A couple of body pits, you know? So, next body pit that we must have is we're going to get rid of that and get rid of this. And we're going to take this bad boy. We're going to do that and that. And then... We're going to put one of those. Because it's really funny. Like, very... Very funny. And then, after doing all of that do one of these and do some of those and make this one crazy and make that one crazy make this one crazy make that one crazy and now you have a room that's completely random with hooks that grab you when you're trying to get out of it which is very funny really really deeply funny to me and then what else what else can we do do more of this we do another one? Where's this one? That? Another one. And what else? Can this one be piston boy? Can that be pistons? Can we just get rid of... Oh, boy. We can just get rid of... Oh, God. Hey, do you guys think we could get rid of every single one of the spike traps in this entire dungeon and just make it obnoxious? Just make it deeply random, the entire- Look at this. This is becoming disgusting. I think I could put one up here, too. I think I could do that, right? Oh. Alright. Yeah, I'm in. Let's overdrive it. Overdrived. When I get more points, we'll do that. I don't have enough points to do it yet. When we have more... When I have enough synthite to prestige. Death litters your outpost, custodian. I currently have exactly zero synthite, be. which seems bad. <laughs> Did you meet your maker? No, a lot of other people have so far, though. Mostly in the form of fried chicken. I mean, custodian. The other kind of C, right? Why am I getting zero synthite and parts from this, by the way? That's the part I think is weird. 
Zero parts, zero synthite in the bottom left corner. Why? Shouldn't I be getting stuff for, like, killing people? Why is it zero? Is there, like, a daily cap, maybe? Might be a daily cap. Which I think is sort of lame, right? If I'm putting a lot of effort into killing people, I should get points for it. You know what I mean? Synthite is from smashing people, um, as well. So the brown ones are synthite, the blue ones are parts. Which is interesting. This dungeon is already so different. I actually think that this dungeon is less interesting than my other dungeon. My other dungeon is rapidly becoming more interesting. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna have to learn from that. But yeah, this seems fine. We can do this. The other dungeon just has a better machine room, you know? This one has a meat man room, which is funny. Yeah, it's the creator who sets that, so only playable through this raid map's social raid menu. No resources or progression earned. Progression will not be earned. Uh, this one is 100% more gen mat per kill. Outpost active. Players will raid. We do... I'm just doing overdrive on both, right? So it's not social raid. It can't it can't be social raid. Because I, I would be the one setting that. Which is weird, right? You would expect that to be like not a thing. But I definitely have zero synthite now. It seems like there's something wrong. I just don't know what. I've got 11 Brutal, 2 Artistic, 5 Ingenious, and 4 Fun. And then I've got 7 Brutal, 3 Fun, 4 Ingenious, and no Artistic. F. Can you do ponytails? Like with my hair? No. I refuse. I don't like having my hair tied up in any way, man. I just let it out. It's just long, you know? Like, just keep it long the whole time. Wonder how that guy beat the map? We can watch it. I just wanted to change something along the outside here. I forgot to put... Machines. Welcome to the machine. Oh, hey. There's more stuff that equals zero stuff? Yeah, it's zero stuff again. Why is that zero stuff? That feels so bad. Picking that up and getting nothing. That actually feels really bad. I hope they change that. To, like, whatever it's supposed to be. Because it does not feel good. Okay, I'm actually going to try something real fast. I want to say test from from here. And the reason why I'm going to do test from here is I want to see what that room looks like in terms of the randomization. Is it a bug? I said test from here. What? I don't think test from here actually works. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to report it for sure. I am absolutely going to report it. A daily camp would be a responsible dev decision, but it should be communicated better. I agree. I 100% agree. The I think that might be the problem, to be honest with you. And custodians who will work with us. Yeah, your horde is full. Come back tomorrow. That's exactly how I feel about that. Is it it should it should probably tell you that there's like some kind of a synthite cap, if that's the case. But I can go and get synthite from other activities. Oh look, it's got a big heart. Oh, look at that. This is this one's made by the developers, by the way. It's one of the dev dungeons. You can tell because they're like the the champion dungeons or whatever. Which is cool.
Yeah, see, I'm still getting Synthite here. So I better make sure that I get all of that. It shows you that, like, getting those little tombs is incredibly important because that always gives you, like, 50-ish Synthite. Which is no joke. Like, that's actually a lot. Well, you don't lose materials when they complete it. What you actually lose is you lose what's called gen mat, which is the health bar of the dungeon, right? And that's only if you have it overdrive or overloaded. Say wizard game is in 10 hours. Yeah, but it's not. I'm going to be playing it at the normal stream time and that's about it, right? When it comes out for me, I'm going to play it on stream. I'm going to play it at the time that I wake up. Because I know there's a lot of people in the community that want to see it. And I'm going to wait until it's, you know, until I'm at the normal day. Gen mat means gen genetic material. Yeah, and that resets every time we prestige. So that is a thing. I do want to see if they put anything secret inside of this big heart. I don't know if they did. I don't think they did. I think it's just a big, just a big heart. It's kind of cool, though. It's neat. Big man. This is my hole. Okay. What is going on in this place? Where did that come from? Is he up here? Oh, shit. Alright. This place has got some interesting stuff. I dig that. That was cool. Weird angle. I always hate the ledge, dude. The ledge is rough. Which wizard game is coming out soon? The Harry Potter game. Something about that deeply upsets me. Look at that. They used angular walls to make this. That doesn't look like it should exist, right? You know what I'm saying? I feel like it shouldn't exist. It's forbidden, yeah. It's that I love this dungeon. Look at all the weird this is this is cool. Some cool level design stuff. It gives me ideas for other level design. Like I really, really like this. It's just like big and open and interesting. Like it's not particularly dangerous yet, but it I feel like it's about to become. Because there were, like, no traps. Shit. All right. Okay. I understand. Thank you very much, sir. So that one coming a little bit. That. Oh, they hit one of the ceiling over there? Nasty. Nasty.
You know, I don't think that works very well. Just, you know, maybe. This is kind of red. Can you just surround the core with flames that only appear when you pick up the core? There's a delay. There is a delay. So, like, that's a thing. If you're talking about the orange cubes, no, you cannot. Because the little dude can't walk through those. What is that? Well, it worked. What is... Meatloaf delivery. Meatloaf delivery, my dude. Why are there so many dudes up there? Hello? What the living hell? Alright. We're gonna wait. You coming? Did he die? Is he dead? I don't think I killed it. Shit! What? Look at how badly that homes, dude. Like, look at that. That's ridiculous. You have to admit that's ridiculous. The homing on that is stupid. You should've run? No, I wanna kill all the dungeon, dude. I wanna kill everything. I can't just run. Boring. The homing on that is... No, it's not about greed. I need the synthite. Like, I actually need the synthite. So I've been doing it. Doing the whole thing. I do think it's really interesting that, like... Their homing is so aggressive, though. I think it's too aggressive. Personally. I actually think it's way too aggressive. Maybe I'm wrong. But I feel like it's a little too aggressive. Feels like Quake. Kinda. It's very Quake. It's very Doom. It's very, um... It's very Mario Maker. As weird as that is to say that with my mouth. Right. But it is. It's very Mario Maker. And I'm getting XP for all of this, by the way. So. And more Synthite. That one gave me zero. No. I do believe he is dead. So I'm still picking up parts, but that gave me zero synthite there. In a big empty room, a flyer can really mess you up. I agree. I didn't respect the flyers very much, but I think I think I'm going to change that. Like to be real with you, I think this has kind of changed my perspective on them. <clears throat> what? Synth camp per dungeon? There might be. I'm getting XP every time I kill one of these, though, so, like, the XP is definitely worth it. 
And I've only died once, so like, clearing it is kind of what I want to do. I want to see if there's anything secret up there too. Because there may... There may, and I don't know yet, be, um, hidden tombs up there. Which is sort of what I'm hoping for. I think I got him. Son of a bitch. Well, nothing secret up here. I was hoping that there would be. Weird. Where do you see what people said about your outposts? I don't think there is anything. I don't think people can say things about your outposts. They can leave you, like, like commendations. I don't think they can actually say anything. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you just see that inside of the description of your dungeon. There's nothing like, there's no like special menu or anything like that. I know. Wait, February 7th at 10 a.m.? Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Boo. Boo. Because it'll be after my normal stream. I like that. Hmm. Every one of the fires has a faster firing speed mod on? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. 10 a.m. stream? Maybe. Maybe. Because the thing is, is I want most of the... No, not a Eastern. Not 10 a.m. Eastern. I'm... I'm West Coast. You have to understand, if I start streaming at 10 a.m. West Coast, I'm gonna be asleep, man. The PC release is worldwide fixed time? So everybody's just playing on console right now, is what you're telling me. Because other people are playing it on console currently. Yeah, just flip my sleep schedule in 24 hours, dude. I'm on it. Let's go! I'm ready. Bronze 4. A death trap yeah. Feed the fish. Control. Give it the Kool-Aid. Drain the Kool-Aid from my dudes. Oh, this dude's getting Kool-Aid crushed. There he goes. Turned into juice. Again, this pipe is moving the wrong way. Behavior. You might want to look into that. The other ones move the right way, but that one. That one is wrong. Flip it around. 180 degrees. You are not alone, custodian. I shoulder this burden with you. No, you don't. You sit in a tube and eat food. And I bring you that food. And you're gross looking. Deeply disgusting, frankly. Alright, let's see. 
That's a lot of points. I want to see how this dude beat it. Let's see how this guy beat it. What if you started stream later? Like three to four hours later? I mean, I'd have to start at nine hours later if the game comes out at 10 a.m. You know what I mean? Let's see how this guy does it. Let's see what he's doing. So this was the second dungeon before I put the, the machine parts on it. He's trying to play the old, let's throw some grenades, but he's failing his grenades into the pit of lava, which is very funny, by the way. Really, really funny. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fast forward to when he starts dying. Oh, he makes it into the second room before he dies. Oh. He roasts. He turns into a roast chicken. Delicious. Imagine slowly, methodically destroying everything in my dungeon, only to die to roast chicken like that. It's very funny. I'm gonna fast forward through a couple of deaths. Yeah, here we go. This is when stuff starts getting spicy. He died in the pit. Good. Good to die in the pit. What you gonna do? He's only got two bullets. Roasted. Yeah, no clip, dude. Just do no clip. It's fine. It's totally fine. Why do you feed mercury to your fish? Does your fish look like a giant creepy fetus? In a tube, and does it talk to you psychically? Because if so, I would also feed mercury to it. You know? so that it would stop being it. Because it's very creepy. Deeply horrifying, frankly. Oh, oh, oh. The man's doing it. He almost did it. He kind of got there, right? Can you watch through their eyes? Yeah, I can. We just watch it as he sees it, right? And we're gonna. Because now it starts to get good. He wins this one. He's even using the slow sword. What does he die to? He's gonna pick up the gen mat and then die. Oh, is the game lagging? Oh, he got stuck on the floor. Deeply funny. Deeply funny. The next thing I have to do is make it so that those floors turn into death cubes. That seems like the right way to do it, right? Now he's gonna die a couple more times in the first room, I think. Almost made it. And, uh, he's still gotta make it out. Welcome to the machine. That is definitely a problem. I gotta fill up that hallway with a bunch of football players, man. I don't think that worked out. I feel like... I feel like something may have gone wrong there. With his run. He made some assumptions about physics and moving through large bodies. By the way, the timing on those pistons? Random. 
Yeah, it's random, because I put a mod on it that makes them random. And it changes every time he runs the dungeon, so that time he tried to do the same thing, but it didn't work. And every time he goes in here, it will be different. Slightly. As you can see. Yeah, so with this one, Zaphroth, I've designed it to not work for that. And the reason why is because these pistons have the random mo modifier on them. The next modifier I'm going to buy is make it so that when you touch them, uh, you die. Because they're on fire, right? So it'll be the fire mod. That's the next bit. The next bit... He's making it. He might actually pick up the gen mat this time. I think he does. Oh, you know, Zaphiroth, the next mod, <clears throat> if you touch them even a little bit, for like a tenth of a second, you just die. That's it. So they, yeah, I'm gonna get the red hot one. That's the mod I'm gonna be getting. This guy's using the slow sword too, which is kind of wild to me. What I want to get is, you know those, those darts at the ceiling? I'm gonna get the ones that home in on you. I'm gonna get the homing darts. So when he does that, he'll back up and then it'll... Then it'll get him. Yeah, the slow sword is cool, but I don't like it. I like the speed. Quick, quick, quick. Oh god, he's vibrating constantly. Oh, he's got fear. Look at me. I think he actually makes it out on this one. <laughs> I think he actually makes it out. Yeah, this is it. So this room is a lot more difficult now with the new pistons. Because I have new pistons on the sides there. When I bomb, so they fall- I haven't unlocked bomb yet. I'm limited by resources right now. Turn the ramp into death cube? It doesn't work that way. You can't turn- there has to be a walkable space no matter what. No matter what. Otherwise, the, the map won't be able to be published. So you can't just do it either. There are certain restrictions, that's one of them. Yeah, so I think the, the critical failure on that one was that the second room allowed him to get through too easily. So I'm going to make that one a little bit more difficult now. And the way we're going to do that, let's go to Livonia. Is Livonia the one? I think Livonia is the one. That's the one with all the machines now. Even on the way out? Yeah, you can't do it on the way out. No. Nope, nope, nope. You used to be able to do that in the closed beta. And basically people found ways to make it so that when you picked up the gen mat, you were completely surrounded in all directions by lava cubes and unable to play the game. Like, you, you literally couldn't do anything. Funny, but also not right. Oh, hey, I'm getting synth out again. So I guess you get capped until you go and run a mission. Which should definitely be explained to the player more. You know what I mean? I think that probably needs to be explained to the player more. I'm getting Synthite for picking these up now. Because what was happening before is I was just getting zero. Which is sort of lame. Alright. Nothing in my monster pits. Nothing over here. Cool. Those are now set up good. Yeah, what I think I'm going to do is this. We're just going to take those two off. We're going to take these guys.
And we're just gonna pile them up on each other like that. We're just gonna put two of them right there in the wall. I may even make a... Can I make a third one? I'm gonna make a third one. Make four of them. Screw it. Football. Building a football of dudes. Alright, so that should be good. Now I could put lava here. I think I would get in the way of something. Yeah, we could kind of do a thing like this, maybe. But then those guys can't see to shoot. That's the problem. So I really want to get rid of that. We want to keep it this way. And that should be fine. This is pretty good the way that it is. That's fine. This is fine. This is fine. This does all of that randomly. That's good. That's good. That's good. These are all random now. And we've got all these dudes right here in the edge. So the moment that we run through, they're just going to be like, oh no! I don't know if I want to put this here now. I don't know if I want to put that there. I think about this. I don't know if I want to put that there. Let me think about this. Maybe, maybe, maybe. How much is that? Let me think about that. That is 65 for that one. This would be way funnier here. Like a hook there, you know what I mean? Like that, I think is the way to go on this. main lava column could use, uh, can't even shoot through lava cubes. Yeah, these guys can't, but the player can, which is why I put this in the way, so they can't hit that, and then this does fire in this direction. So by putting fire there and a hook there, I think, I think it kind of helps some of this. Maybe we put this back to like that, randomize that. I think that might actually work this way. Fire on this side. Because the reason why is if you have a hook like this, the player can be not right there. The player can be like back here and it'll still catch them. Which is so obnoxious. And that's why I put ones here too. So like super, super annoying. They're like the most annoying it could possibly be. I'm an evil designer? That's the point. That's the entire point, my dude. And we got all these machines in here running this. And when I get the bombs unlocked, I'm definitely going to put bombs up here, right? Like, we're definitely going to make this into bombs, because that just makes the most sense. If it was offset backwards by one block, but they'd still get in the way? No. Actually, what if we make this one an angle? Like this, and maybe can that do it? Can okay, that one do it? Oh, it's because that one up there is like that. Oh, that is obnoxious! Look at that. Whew. Oh, I hate some of that. Right? It's like right out there in the way.
I like that. Make that into fire. Oh, we can't do that one yet. What genre is this game? Uh, the genre of this game is is kill players and laugh at them. It's, uh, it's pretty much the entirety of the game, frankly. Yeah, it's a dungeon builder, like a level builder, like Mario Maker, mixed with, like, Quake or Doom. It's, it's pretty great, to be honest with you. So we're... Currently, I'm trying to make my dungeon even more obnoxious, which is sort of the way that you play this game, is just slowly but surely becoming an, an awful goblin, right? And, um... My goblin powers are increasing, I think. I think that I'm becoming even more of a goblin than I was prior. Which is pretty nice. I like that. Like, I can just do that now, right? Pretty good, right? Sort of, sort of good. Want to play a game? This is the game I'm playing. Alright. Leave that one in overdrive. It's good. It's spicy. I love it. The grapplers are pretty nice. Is it multiplayer? Do you kill NPCs? This is all multiplayer. And people have to run through my dungeons. Oh, are you talking about like multiplayer, like I go and kill a player? No. It's you raid someone's dungeon, they make a dungeon. They raid your dungeon, you raid their dungeon. Right. That's kind of, that's what it is. And you can do it with co-op. So you can do two buddies. Diagonal walls create really slim hallways. Yeah, but that actually prevents you from putting, like, like, traps in certain hallways, which is not really what you want. Looks like I got zero synthite from one of those. Yeah, some of these are giving me zero again. I do believe that this seems to be working. That's quite good. Where does he go? Does he go all the way down? Does he go up? Okay, we gotta see what this looked like. I'm gonna be honest. I wanna see what this is like. You know, Soy said you, you were dreaming about making invading other people's dungeon type games since 2003. Sad you gave up on your dream? Don't be sad. You can always make something cool. There's nothing stopping you from making something amazing. None. If, if you want to make games, go to develop.games. Do exclamation point website. Yeah, Little Ham did it. I make a website. I've been in the gaming industry for almost two decades. And I made a website specifically for people to learn how to make games. That dude went ham. Did you see that? Holy crap, dude. You ham goblin. Look at him go. Holy shit. God damn. Dead. Watch this. Turning the game down a little bit, it's pretty loud. So it only looks like he's clipping like that because unfortunately you're in replay mode. And replay mode isn't the most accurate. It doesn't look like one. I mean it's not it's not so bad, right? He died right in the beginning. <laughs> I 
I love when it all goes wrong, right? It's pretty great when it all goes wrong. My man's is making it. On this one, he makes it. Let's wait for him. How does he do this? How does he do it? Okay. I'm gonna play it from his eyes. This is what he sees. <laughs> he got hit by the back shot. He got hit by the back shot, dude. Oh man, the back shot got him. He was home free, man. He never makes it again. That's the closest he got. That's the closest that he got to surviving. Oh, my dungeon looks infuriating. Thank you. That's very lovely of you to say, little ham. I agree. Oh, well, it's noon, so in any case, as much as I love this video game, I need to sleep, because if I don't stop playing this video game, I won't sleep, and that would be a problem for my organs, my real human organs would probably have an issue, because I'm a human being, so... I'm going to have to find someone to raid, and I don't know who it's going to be yet. I have no idea, because I don't stream at this time of day, literally ever.